Konnichiwa, minasan. This is Gray from Wakazashi's Tea House over in Japan. How are you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? I'm trying not to laugh. Nosferatu is making me laugh in the comments saying he loves this cool Zoomer intro. What are you saying, Nos? I thought I was a boomer. Anyway, great to see you. We have a lot of people in the chat. Shelby, best opening. I thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's my first one. I need to make a new one because I need some variations, but you know, give me some time off work. Wait a minute. I just had like 10 days off. Oh, what am I doing? Great to see you. Your Barmy's here in the chat. Of course, we have Purple Valkyrie who's here and she's going to be on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Who else do we have? KC, Charlie Chats. Great to see you. Whooper Trooper, who has become a Wakizashi Tea House Dojo member. Thank you so much. Also, Dempsey. Dempsey joined the dojo and Zach's my good friend. So thank you for that. That means I can make a couple more stickers, I think. A couple more emojis. So... Anyway, before Grey blathers on too long, let's see, make sure I've not missed anybody, let me start bringing people in. Bramable! I think we got a Nerdporeal raid, is that right? The Drunken Porial raid, so cheers to that anyway. I've got some uh, wolf burn scotch here to celebrate, you know, because we've got to go Scottish for, for Highlander. We've got to try and do Christopher Lambert's Scottish French accent. Here's Salty Texas. If it's not Scottish, it's crap! <laughs> this is such a good movie. This is such, and, and this is yet another case. We say it, but uh, buy things on physical media. Buy things on physical media. I am so glad that I have this and a bunch of other 80s movies. Gray, you were talking. You were having problems finding this streaming in Japan, the first Highlander movie. Yes, I could get copies of Highlander 2 and 3, but we don't talk about those, do we? Yeah, <laughs> we don't yeah. talk about those. <laughs> Great to see you, Salty. Thanks for coming on. Um, I know oh, it's, it's always enjoyable when you've got a fantastic movie to watch. Yeah. And I tell you what, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I'd forgotten how bloody good this is. It's been a while. And we'll get into it, but my God, I miss 80s cinematography. I miss 80s music. I miss 80s pacing. It's gonna yes. And I miss hot 80s nudity, too. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube version I watched, it was cut, Salty, because I was like, did they actually show anything in this film or not? Oh, yeah. Bring on the other speak, guests. I don't want to talk yeah, about Speaking of nudity, yet. sorry, I'm blabbering away. Speaking of nudity, let's bring in the fantastic, the wizard like, the incredibly bearded Blair de Blair. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. How's it going, guys? Very good, very good. This is, um, is it one of your favorite 80s movies by any chance? Yes. I love this movie as it came out. I was right in that zone of age where, you know, swords and, you know, everything. And it was. The guy who did it, Russell McKay, was a big uh, MTV video director of the day. You can tell. You can and tell. And this was his yeah. first movie. And yeah, you can totally tell this is not like a movie. It's like a a video. It had a lot it of had... the tropes. It had a yes. dude it had the, yep. the flying birds and the and the wet cement and the dollying <laughs> shots and the mirrors and the smoke and then of course the, the boobs fades. the boobs backlit and it was like yes yes oh yes, my yes, god yes. I missed I missed the backlit boobs that's too bad um, speaking I'm of totally boobs I have a very special yeah. guest all the way from the UK we have the one and only Purple Valkyrie how are you doing 
Good evening. Mine may or may not be backlit. I'll leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> Got Nosferatu saying he's missing the hot, salty nudity as well. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay, so Purple, um, I guess, I can only guess, yeah, this is one of your favourite 80s fantasy movies, is that right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I watch this every year and I forget every time, one, it's a much longer film than I remember, and two, mm. it is so good, but you're absolutely right, it is shot like it's a music video. But uh, before we, we talk about the film, could we wish one of the cast members a happy birthday? Because it was yes, birthday we can. yesterday. Yes, where are we? Let me get a, yeah. let me bring up a photo. Can you bring? Can you introduce that purple? That'd be awesome. Yes, indeed. So yesterday it was the birthday of Clancy Brown, the oh, yeah, right. himself. He was sixty-four. It's better to burn out than fade away. That guy 64. was legitimately scary oh as hell God. in that movie. Yeah, he was. <laughs> It, it was iconic, and I remember seeing this for the first time as a kid uh, on VHS because I couldn't get in the theater to see it. And this was 85, so I would have been 15. But watching this movie, you were literally on the edge of your seat. There were so many moments that were made by that actor. I don't know who else could have delivered some of those iconic lines mm. and scenes other than him as the Kurgan. He made it. And when he's driving that old lady in the car and says, Mom, <laughs> it's perfect. Who else could have done that? So that was one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie. I was uh, laughing my, I my head off at that. I, I just, I, like 15 year old me was like, who doesn't want to do that? Who doesn't want to <laughs> do this? I still want to do that, you know? Oh God. And we were talking last week when we were going, uh, talking about time, uh, time bandits and how good it mm -hmm. was to have a villain that you could kind of get behind. And he was just a bad guy. There was nothing redeeming about him. Yeah, exactly. This guy's just an evil bastard through and through, <laughs> you know, no redeeming qualities. No understanding them, you know, none of that crap. It's just, this, this guy's just bad. <laughs> I've got one of my favorite photos from the movie of him here. Can you guess this part or remember this part? And it's not the greatest quality, I'm afraid. Here we go. I just love this angle. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my Candy. name's Candy. Of course it is. <laughs> Candy. Candy, are you okay? What happened to Candy? Do we ever find out? Uh, she survived. She talked to the desk clerk, remember? She, she came she in. She left. And then she left. Like, she left. Candy said, you're in some weird stuff. Says, Don't ever talk to me again. Don't ever talk to me. I love oh that God. scene. She, I mean, just like, of course you are. She yeah. walks in and goes, I'm Candy. <laughs> he goes, of course you are. <laughs> It's got some of the best lines, hasn't it, this movie, in it? Some of the one-liners are, are just uh -huh. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And so I, he was I'm, sure. I'm, uh, Casey, I'm looking Charlie up nudity. Chats. Sorry, I'm looking up nudity for Gray. That's why I'm quiet, guys. Go ahead. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's why you're uh, Casey, Somebody's Charlie Chats you. talks about how uh, the transitions. We are talking about that a little bit, how the transitions from the time, when they mm. go back in time and forward, it's not jarring. It, like, really works. You know, when he's uh, watching the wrestling match in the beginning, and he flashes back to you know, when he was still mortal, the wrestling that they were doing back then, you know, and then yeah. you see he kind of like wakes up from it, you know, after a little while, and then that's when he leaves because he knew he knows that the other guy's there now, you know. But yeah, those transitions were really well done. It was. They were very imaginative, especially the one that you mentioned at the beginning, where it goes up through the the ceiling of the the parking lot and then into the. the yeah. The, the, yes. yes. It's so good. That, yeah, it was so magical, you know, that all of a sudden, you know, woo, you're in Scotland and 15 whatever, and, you know, they're marching across <laughs> the bridge. 20, and... 23, whichever way you want to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the same. Yeah. Scott. Scotland. That's right. Let's bring that up. Yeah, that was purple. I, I noticed that as well. I was trying to capture it, but again, I had a really crappy quality version, so I couldn't. But what a beautiful transition from that that crazy scene in the parking lot, the parking garage mm -hmm. where they were fighting with swords. The guy had the sunglasses on while he was fighting. Oh, that was so funny. Um, and then it just went up. The camera lifted up, and you saw suddenly the the green hills of the heather and the mountains of Scotland. Fantastic. 
It was. Well, None of the, the shots in this film seem like they're wasted. They, no. They're all there to tell the story. No, I mean, it, it, and just watching it, it, take, it takes its time in an 80s way because the pacing was different. But this movie, again, I hadn't seen it in a while, have it on physical media. The transitions in between current day and 400 years ago are perfect. Mm. There's no mm. displacement. You don't lose the immersion in either world. And as the story continues from when young Connor McCobb cloud riding out to battle to then get stabbed by the Kurgan and then, you know, they chase him out with stocks on and his his girlfriend wants to burn him. Um this, <laughs> this it, it just goes right back. It just goes right back. You never lose your suspension of disbelief in this entire thing mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, that porn was so here. jarring. Porn, porn bot, porn bot. Oh my god. Nosferatu, uh, attack them. Attack them with your you. vampi- vampiric <laughs> teeth. That'd be Speaking awesome. Speaking of porn bot, Gray, check your, uh, your Twitter <laughs> DM. Because I found you what you were asking for because you didn't get to see it. So, yeah. <gasps> Thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> this will be quick. I bet you this will be quick and short. Oh. <laughs> Purple Valkyrie, what what is your uh, what would you say is your favorite sequence to this? Is it the beginning, the middle, the end battle for you? What's your favorite part of this movie? For me, it's it's the part where he's with Heather. It always makes me cry um, when that song kicks in. Who wants to live forever? But the choreography in this is so tight, and you, I, I think from what I can tell, it is the pen, uh, principal cast doing most of it. It seems like it, especially uh, the final battle between um, McLeod and the Kurgan. But yeah. if that's the case, it is very impressive. What about you, uh, Blair? What's your favorite part of this movie? I kind of like the parts with he's with the Ramirez. You know, he meets him oh, yeah. and then he's, you know, tutoring him and ex- trying to explain how things work. You know, the whole running... <laughs> Running on no, the I, say, I said Gray another one, so you know, just in case he didn't finish, so we can we can carry the show. But, sorry, <laughs> go ahead, Blair. <laughs> but yeah, just you know, him and the Ramirez, because Sean Connery isn't in this movie a lot, but when he's in there, he totally steals the whole movie. Yeah, and it looks he's... like they're having a great time too. Exactly. You know? <laughs> he looks like he's having fun. He really does. I don't know the backstory of this if he was a pain in the ass or not, but I did look at some production photos and he seemed to be smiling. You know? Yeah, yeah. You like that, Greg? Do you like that? There is Sorry. actually a, a a reason why um, they had Sean Connery. So apparently he he only had a very tight schedule to film on, and he actually bet the director that he wouldn't finish in seven days. Um, <laughs> but uh, he did, and uh, Sean Connery earned a million dollars for his week's worth. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Mm-hmm. It's nice, good work. If you... <laughs> oh yeah, Greg, you're muted. I'm muted and I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, he was awesome in it. He lights up the screen with his Egyptian, Japanese, uh, what else was it? Spanish, Spanish. Scottish <laughs> accent. Absolutely fantastic. He really adopted it's... that Scottish accent when he got there. It was impressive. Yeah. 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 What yeah. about you, Gray? What was your favorite part of this movie? What was the favorite? Was the beginning, the middle, and the end? Were there a series of scenes? What is it that stuck with you? Even watching it now. <sighs> It's difficult because when I was younger, um, as Purple was saying before, the the Rebecca getting old and dying scene that really got to me. Like that was that was just beautiful. Yeah. What else? I don't know. The Salty and Blair and Purple. What did you think of the fighting in this? I thought the sword fighting was pretty, almost Excalibur like. It was very brutal. It was you know almost clumsy. Yeah. You got that the feel of weight of the weapons, apart from maybe the samurai sword. Beautiful yeah. and, and very realistic. Yeah, it looked like they were really beating the yeah. hell out of each other. Yeah. 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 I mean, especially with the long swords or the claymores, depending on what your definition is of those things, yeah. uh, especially the heavier wrought ones. The sword that the Kurgan had, it, Purple Valkyrie brought this up because uh, we were t- talking about it, we were watching it, was the Kurgan sword, now that he's broken it down into segments and it fits in a briefcase, you know. Mm in the real world would that actually work okay and for me i think it was it's the suspension of disbelief if you're going to believe that that there are swordsmen running around who are immortal who can only die by having their head cut off by other immortal swordsmen and then lightning comes and boosts them then i think you can survive the fact that 
that Kurgan has a collapsible sword, you know? <laughs> I'd agree with that. It just looks it just looks very strange when he's there. He's pulling the parts out and slotting them together and then especially later on in the film when he lifts a, a, a pretty big dude up on his sword and impales him. There was yeah. so much of so much of this was the way the New York City was in the early eighties. It was a hellhole. It was a mm-hmm. gang infested hellhole. Uh like it is now. But you know, somebody came in and cleaned that up. Uh, now it's going back to the way it was. But New York was gritty. Nobody went to New York. It was dangerous. It was crazy. Um, and that mm-hmm. this being set in New York City, it's funny because they were talking about your in the beginning. Sean Connery says we're going to all meet in a faraway land in the future to have this showdown. And, and the first thing that went through my head now that I've watched it at this age is, my God, it's just like the Nostradamus prediction of the new city you know (laughs) it's the same thing going into this movie so i just maybe that's me reaching but i i just thought that was cool so nosferatu with a comment salty saying i wish mcleod would cut off salty's head so he would shut up nosferatu (laughs) what are you saying (laughs) it's gone quiet now (laughs) it's gone quiet (laughs) no i almost said something i almost (laughs) said something i probably shouldn't say on your stream i would have been said with love but i didn't say it but uh yeah, I can shut up. That's fine. You know what the most important thing is, by the way, guys? Here we go. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> yeah, that scared me when I was a kid. I was like, oh, fuck. It's terrifying. Me too. I thought he was terrifying. I really did. He's a great performance, you know, but when he was like sat with his feet up in the church on the pews like this, you know, oh man, he just like exuded menace. Shaved head and a... Uh, the safety pins, pins in his neck. Pins, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> scary. So funny. He was like, "I'm in disguise." Well, I <laughs> love, like, I, I love what he does when the nuns walk by. He's like, "Happy Halloween, ladies!" <laughs> 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 yes. Oh man. And then he's like, Fancy "All serious nuns." This is a humor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, it's good. It's really good. Okay, um, I haven't even given a quick summary, but everyone knows this film, don't they? It is a 1986 fantasy adventure film directed by Russell Mulcahy. Whatever happened to him? Yeah, he really... Did he ever top this? Did he ever reach the same heights as this movie? What's his name? Russell Mulcahy. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I've forgotten. I think that's a no, then. (laughs) Let me check the porn porn sites. Hold on. Let me. Uh, <laughs> no, there he is, Russell Mulcahy. So he was an Australian director, and his work was recognizable by fast cuts, tracking shots, and oh. neo noir lighting. He also likes oh, yeah. wind blown drapes and wind blown everything. As Gray mentioned, he directed many music videos in the '80s and worked in television since the '90s. He directed the films Razorback in '84, Highlander, and then he did. Resident Evil Extinction. Oh. Wow. Well, there no you way. go. So he's still yeah. working, kind of. Yeah. yeah. A few years ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So should we give a quick summary? Um, what is good about this film? We talked about the best scenes, but why is it you like this film so much and why do you think it's it's held up and it's aged so well? You know, despite the 80s synth synthwave music, Salty, which I know we love. We love that. <laughs> so um, let's go from Purple first. Purple, what is it that you, you like so much about Highlander? I think it's just a timeless story. It's a very simple story. Uh, mm. But it, I don't know if it's a film that's... Uh, kind of quintessentially 80s you know you've got the hero you've got the villain you've got the the strong female character that isn't obnoxious which is I, I really really miss it had a fantastic soundtrack it's got great choreography and as you said I think because of the director's background in music videos a lot of the transitional sites just look amazing you know they still hold up to this day and it wasn't too over the top with special effects there's a little bit at the end which um, some people might say it's a, it's it's aged badly, but I think it looks great. Yeah, it went crazy at the end, didn't it? That, that I'd forgotten that scene when it went really mm-hmm. kind of almost Douglas Trumbull trying to be two thousand and one Space Odyssey at the end. It's like wow. <laughs> okay, Blair de Blair, how about you? You know, it's like one of the uh, perfect synthesis of all these different things. It was you know mm. Scottish culture, it was sword fighting, it was supernatural, you know immortal people fighting over time 
they had Sean Connery, uh, you know, mm. I, 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 and then Queen doing the music, you know. Oh my God! Yes, it just pulled it all together and made it do its special, unique thing that I just still love. What did you, uh, speaking of the music, I know the famous track is Who Wants to Live Forever, but what did you think of the Princes of the Universe, that one? little, It's a little bit little bit cheesy, a little bit camp, but... I remember that but... back in the day. I remember that yeah. song from back in the day. I mean, they played that on the radio, believe it or not. I don't know where yeah. it charted, but they did play it in FN radio, along with Who Wants to Live Forever. So, you yeah, know... It's kind it, of magic... Was... Queen was not as big here oh, yeah, in the United God. States as it was in the UK. You know, I mean, yeah. we all know, we all know, we will rock you and all that type of thing. And Bohemian Rhapsody, we talked about it last week. But you know, I mean, th this was avant-garde for the time too. I mean, mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. was not your standard type of a movie soundtrack. But I think mm -hmm. that's part of what makes it timeless instead of timely. Mm -hmm. This just movie just feels like. Everything in this film works. All of it is exactly yeah. the way it should be, you know, including the Queen weird soundtrack, you know. Mm. And that part where he's driving, and then you hear Frey doing the New York, New York. They never released that. I wish they would. That was so good. But it yeah. was like so ghostly, you know, him, you know, <laughs> it was just like a total send up of it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that's become kind of part of the, the magic of the film, hasn't it? This That particular song that people mm. remember. And they said mm -hmm. that they'd released the soundtrack because it says so in the uh, in the credits. But that song was, a fifth, in quotations, lost. So nobody knows yeah. where it actually went. I remember that soundtrack because it was only available in 85 on vinyl or cassette. And I remember seeing the vinyl soundtrack. And it, you know, that didn't have New York on New York on it. It has, a, it had a lot of uh, the or the, the instrumental music, which yeah. is fantastic. And then some of the Queen songs, like "Who Wants to Live Forever" and other stuff like that. But I think it was that '70s last week who was talking about how they there's they could they thought they lost the New York New York part. Yeah, like, it was never released. It was yeah. never released. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to hear it, you gotta watch the movie. No. Yeah. Cool. But That's one cool thing about at all. the the sword fighting, you know, especially in the the very end scene, all the sparks, they actually ran electric cables up their hands into the swords. No so way. So when they would hit, that's where all that sparks came from. These people almost got electrocuted. <laughs> that's you know, awesome. You remember that floor was wet? Yeah. You know these guys that car batteries running up their fucking arms. You know, doing this simply to <laughs> like nuts. That's quintessentially eighties. <laughs> Is this dangerous? Eh, maybe. It'll be We're fine. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fine. And by the way, guys, though, Zax was shouting out. He loved the scene at the. Well, it opens with a wrestling, a wrestling match, a wrestling show. Um, I just yes. wanted to get this photo. Look at this. What well, I'd forgotten it opened like this. So yeah. cool. Rock and roll Express. <laughs> yeah, it, Blair Blair knows all these guys, by the way. We were talking about wrestling before we went live, so. Yeah. Hail to Al McNeil, says hello from Sicily. Well, hello to you. Hey, you the, nice to see you, man. Great. T. Hillam, T. Hillam 29 says, one thing you also get from Highlander, just as immortality can be a blessing, it can also be a curse. It's true. Yeah, Very especially true. when um, Heather dies. Yeah, wow. she was a she was a very bonny, buxom lass. Speaking of eighties gratuitous cleavage, that is uh, <laughs> that that is a scene that many young boys paused on uh, the age. <laughs> she was definitely a step up from his previous crazy girlfriend. He kind of yeah. touched a bullet there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah really. really. How fast did she flip? How fast she flipped when you? Oh, you know, he's a, he's the devil. He's got the devil in him. Burn oh. him! She, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> Wow. Reminds me of an ex-girlfriend. Anyway, where are we? <laughs> My ex-wife, actually. Yeah, yeah. So Salty, sorry, I haven't got to you yet. What what would you did we say like what why is Highlander so good and what has made it age so well, apart from, you know, some great scenes and aw awesome synth music and a queen soundtrack? Well, I you know, part of part of the question is because I was fifteen when this movie came out. Right. Um, like a lot of 80s movies, they imprint on you. And like Purple mm -hmm. has talked about in Blair 2, we had clearly defined heroes. There was the hero. The hero had the hero's journey. We had women. They were strong, but they were also 
feminine. We had bad guys, and they weren't like, oh, he's bad because his daddy beat him. No, it was bad. He's bad, and he's going to drape your girlfriend, and you need to cut his effing head off because he's bad. And that's, yes. to me, why it sticks. Now, were there a lot of tropes in this that were maybe used in 80s action movies, fantasy movies, things like that? There was a training montage in this with Sean Connery, for God's sake. So good. So good. All of these things are steps to making a good movie. It didn't copy something. It just... All of these movies from the 80s, and, and would you consider Highlander a B-movie of the 80s? I actually would. I actually would say it is yes. the, one of the best mm -hmm. B-movies from the mm. 80s released. So, you know, I loved movies like this. Beastmaster, Krull, you can add, oh, you yes. can go on and on and on with everything that we got at that time. Uh, Buckaroo Banzai, which we should watch. Uh, yes. The Buckaroo Banzai film at some point. Yes, but Masters I, of the I, Universe. Yeah, Masters, Masters of the Universe. He man, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Lady Hawk, reason, which we already did. Lady Hawk and Time Bandits last week, Solly. So many 80s fantasy theme mu uh, movies. So and weird. they, again, why did they work? Hero's Journey clearly defined roles. Women were beautiful and strong. No, there were no chicks with dicks. There was no transhumanist <laughs> bullshit. None of that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. No, no, I'm just laughing because it's funny. It's Salty's catchphrase, ladies and gentlemen. Chicks with dicks. There we go. Uh, trademark. Yeah, trademark. But I just, <laughs> you know, I, I, I love this movie for that reason. And you go back and you watch it and it really stands up. And, and the other thing, too, is the characters we see on screen in this movie are human. They have human reactions. They're surrounded by other humans on the screen. Yes. It's something that look at look at the Rings of Power. Look at what they did with Witcher Blood Origin. Look at like Batgirl. These characters are saying dialogue. They're not acting with other people. They're not moving a plot forward. They're just talking to fill up time. And that's why I love this movie. Like I love Connor McCloud. I mean, I love all of this. I I had a little tear in my eye when Heather died. You know, it's because it's the real human condition. Yes. Fantastic. I met this Fantastic. guy. I met this guy. He was He's a great convention. character actor, isn't he, Blair? Go for it. Yeah, Tell us your was, story. He was in um, oh God, uh, House of Dragons so was much. the first one. Um, Game of Thrones. He no. was the first watch commander uh, of the, uh, the Black Watch, the Wall. And he oh, gets killed by one of his people. Aged, aged yeah, because he's older now, isn't he? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. He was in he was in Braveheart, wasn't he? He must have been in Braveheart, the flaccid yeah, yeah, Phoenix's yeah. favorite movie ever. <laughs> he was, uh, but he was. That's when I met him. Was when he was doing that show. It was really cool. The oh. picture of me wearing a kilt next to him because <laughs> I wore my kilt to the con. So, oh, but that's yeah, he's cool. The tall guy. He was in uh, Train Spotting too. He played Ewan McGregor's dad. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's he... right, dude. Oh my god. He's been in so much. Go on. Yeah, he's like a really quintessential Scottish actor. But yeah, he was really uh, he's really cool when I met him. It was just Hail a quick photo thing, but Hail to Al McNeil. He says Buckaroo Banzai, you took the words right out of my mouth. That movie's crazy. It's a great graphic novel from the early it 80s. Is. You know, and then of course you have a young Jeff Goldblum in chaps and a big cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> This movie, oh, Han, we, we have to watch this movie. It's insane. It is absolutely insane. Yeah. Hong Kong Cavaliers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's another one I haven't seen in years. So, yeah, that's yep. a great, great call, Salty. Okay, let's stop sharing this one. Here we go. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, isn't it, for the movie? Um, why do you think it went wrong with the sequels? Was it, it was oh, Russell God. Mulcahy, wasn't it, doing two? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know what you're talking about. There's what, only what one sequels? Highlander. I, I, Ray, <laughs> did you get a head injury? There are no sequels. No, there's no sequels. Very many, many, yes. I remember watching that thing coming out of the theater and whatever, 90, whatever it was, and just shaking hmm. my head like, oh my God, they fucking destroyed that movie. Oh, you no. Know, this, is, this is back before streaming services thought about fucking shit up. They, they hmm. fucked that yeah. up right there. And I was like, yeah. oh, my God. God, I I was a uh, fresh no I was a sophomore in college uh, mm. and my buddy had a pickup truck that only had a two seater but there were like eight of us so it was winter 
And so all of us laid down in the back of the pickup truck, freezing our ass off, like in our winter parkas, <laughs> riding down bumpy roads in like rural Ohio to go to Columbus to the movie theater to watch this movie. Like we were committed to this. We froze to death. And then all of us piled into the theater, couldn't wait to see Highlander. And suddenly it's aliens and climate change and <laughs> God. <laughs> What? I haven't seen it. You know, Confession. I've never seen it because I, I just heard it. Don't spare, you know. spare yourself. <laughs> don't do it. I heard it was don't. it was the wasn't very good, shall we say? Being polite. They, they really no. took this concept and kind of ran with it because I didn't realise that there were so many sequels and not just film sequels, but there were television spin-offs and then there was an animated series as well. Oh, the animated series was weird. Is it for a kid mm-hmm. show? Yeah. Guess what, kids? What happens at the end of every episode? Somebody gets their head cut off. I, I I couldn't get into the TV show. I know Mm-mm. it went on and on and on. I liked the TV show. Really? I liked it. I, I liked it. I, whatever. I heard it was good. No, it's okay. It. I just couldn't get into it because I mean I just couldn't, you know. And I wanted to because there were so many episodes of it, you know. So, but then again, I never got into Babylon Five, and now the hate's going to start. Yeah, I never oh, could get into that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't either, right Sully. I didn't. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, Highlander this, three was better than two, says Tehillim oh, twenty nine. Yeah, totally. If they had just done Hi- Highlander three right after Highlander, it still would have been a bad sequel, but it would have been like you know serviceable, mm-hmm. I guess. Go ahead, purple. I was going to say, do you think that Highlander is the perfect example of when to leave a film as it is? It's mm. pretty much it. Yeah. It tells the mm. story. It doesn't really need One to go done. any further. It's done. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like Gladiator, like Gladiator, <clears throat> except that they've cast the Gladiator lead now. I have a video coming out tomorrow on that. You know, because we don't need guys, another Gladiator sequel. Yeah, guys, I'm sure you already know this, um, but it, it was it was a bit of a box office flop. It only grossed 12 million worldwide against a budget of 19. So at the time, that was a pretty big budget, wasn't it? Like 1986. Yeah. It was a yeah. big hit on VHS, though. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the it. crazy thing, and, and it, it's what it's a. And Blair, I'll let you answer because you probably and you and I are doing Vulcan Mind Mold. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was it was like one of those eighties things where theatrically it was a flop, but you know what? Guess what? There's now a secondary market. Yes, this is where Blade Runner made all its money. Mm-hmm. That's and exactly where I was going to go. Yep, the first Star Trek movie was a financial flop at the box office. But then it went huge on video, so it got a yep. sequel. Yep. So yeah, That's this was the age of the video cassette coming mm-hmm. in and making movies that flopped at box tops, but then they made the money at the rentals and buying them. In those VHS tapes didn't cost ten dollars they were 80 to 70 dollars new in the yeah, retail were... market back then that's that's 2000 uh wait, wait, it's uh 1985 money so it's probably close to 200 or 150 dollars to buy a copy of a movie back really then. wow really no it was expensive to buy I, my dad bought indiana jones it was 80 dollars wow. 80 dollars no yeah yeah that's why everybody went to video stores because then we yeah. could, you know, really afford yeah. and then to you buy one. Copied them. You got another VCR and you <laughs> yeah. recorded them on yeah. another tape. Slaved it. <laughs> you know, like cassette it, tapes back in the day. Remember, yeah. we had two yeah. cassette yes. tapes, and you copied and gave your friends the Metallica yeah. album because that's what you oh, did. Oh man, yeah, big cassette yeah. tape fan here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got just let me shout out Norinrad82 in the chat who's been saying he watched the TV show, said he thought it was great, watched every episode, and the TV show went deep into the lore. I think um, Christopher Lambert was in the very first one, as far as I, I know. He just was the first one, and that was it, yeah. He established that there were two Connors, Connor <laughs> McLeod and Duncan McLeod, and they were like clansmen, but they were two separate people, you know. Duncan. Oh. And then he came back for one of the movies. After the TV series ended, they did some movies. And Connor killed Duncan because... Oh, my God. Really? Duncan Good. couldn't... You know, no, no, it was the other way around. The TV series guy killed oh. uh, the movie guy because the movie guy couldn't do it. He was done. And he okay. gave his power to his clansmen so he could kill the guy. So, whatever. Wow. It was a pretty wow. shit one. Shit movie. Connery took <laughs> took most of the budget of the, of the original movie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I think I, the rest I, I, of it I, went I, on the dialect coach. 
for Christopher Lambert because he could barely speak English when he started the film. Well, they made fun yeah. of him in the movie. But mm -hmm. That's kind of a funny Nash accent, Nash. Where are you from, you know? <laughs> All over. So the, it was. Woman, <laughs> the woman who plays uh, Connor connor's love interest current time which would have been 1985 the character's yeah. name is brenda she's mm -hmm. a uh a, a criminal uh forensicist <laughs> forensics guy well zax isn't wrong i was thinking that too zax <laughs> yeah that was the 80s wasn't it salty that was yeah. the blame 80s. it up blame it up. blame it up blame it up blame it up like a, like a built-in yeah. price for removing yeah. your coke budget <laughs> yeah but the the love interest of of the Highlander of Connor McCloud in the eighty five, uh, her name is Brenda. She works for the police department, you know, whatever. Mm. Wrote a, just happened to write a book about swords, whatever. But she was he was played by an actress by the name of Roxanne Hart, mm -hmm. and uh, Gray can attest to this. She has nice boobs. Uh, sent you the the uh, nudes uh, from the movie. Roxanne, Spirits. sorry, you can take. But anyway, um, it it, it it's. We were trying. I was trying to figure out what other movies had she been in. Now she is a famous stage actress. She did a bunch of work on Broadway, oh, okay. and she did a couple of B tier movies later in the '80s, and then appeared on some B tier television shows as well. But still yeah. continues to be a successful stage actress. So um, she was 33 when she made the role, but we talk often about the the you know the masculine heroes of the 80s but she was a very strong feminine a very capable strong feminine um character in this movie and without it i mean she actually distracts the kurgan at one moment hits him with a lead pipe you know when connor mcleod <laughs> had his sword taken away and the kurgan just turns around and is like, you know and then allows connor to get back in the game but that's the thing about when they talk about like uh you know we've never had strong female representation we've never had this we've never had that you can add a character like this now she's not the center of the movie but this woman didn't take any shit she didn't take any shit from connor no, no. you know she stood up to everybody she stood up to the kurgan um and saved the hero's life kind of an important role in this movie in my opinion yeah exactly that's crazy uh, you know no. She wasn't the damsel damsel in distress. She wasn't right. weak and stupid. You know, yeah. she was very capable. It's just yeah, she was feminine. Yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't like a guy trying to be yeah. a guy. You know, no no chicks with dicks. No. Yeah, right. salty and glare <laughs> purple. Like um, it's mad, isn't it? It's crazy. And with what's going on at the moment, they're trying to basically program people into believing this this never happened. There, there weren't characters like this in movies before twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah, it's Lawrence deliberate. The first. Yeah. yeah, but we got to be careful what we say, don't we, about that? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I'm not worrying about it on my channel anymore. My, they're going to take my channel anyway, so it's fine. But oh, uh, you'll just, be right. Just, just look at what they're doing with The Last of Us on HBO. I mean, they could have cast a feminine girl to play. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ellie, and uh, instead they chose to take a a girl and make her look as much like a little boy as they could. Mm -hmm. Now, is that an accident? Is that an accident? Okay, let's but transition. You guys are right. To, <laughs> let's transition to, we were just speaking about feminine, of course, feminine characters, strong female, but feminine characters. How about a strong masculine character? And what do you think about this costume for Sean Connery's character? Oh, that That's is. That's bitching. <laughs> purple, is purple, the... take it. I, I think I could pull that costume off. That's not no. nearly, <laughs> it's not even in the top three. Most flamboyant oh. costumes Connery's ever worn. I think worn, Salty could pull it off too. I go shopping in something that looks like that, pretty close to that. Um, the the peacock <laughs> feathers are purple, and the hat has a big pin. It's a big pimp hat with a big feather. But uh, no, Connery Connery's looks pretty good too. I think you know? it's awesome though. I'm only joking. I think he looks brilliant in this movie, and you know they kind of make a joke of it, don't they? With um, Christopher Lambert's character say, you know, like what what you dress you dress like a woman or something, and he's like, yeah. no, you know, <laughs> yeah. look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish peacock. Spanish peacock, with emphasis on the cock. <laughs> this, is a, this is a guy who's been around oh. for over two thousand years. He's very sure of himself, and then he's dealing Absolutely. with this guy who doesn't know that he's an immortal, but he takes it on himself to to teach him the ways to to kind of give him this uh, advantage over the Kurgan, who he knows is probably going to wipe everybody out. Yeah, and purple. Don't you think? Like, despite his age, which I don't know what it was, without looking it up at this in this movie, he looks great. He looks great, doesn't he? Sure. Oh, he does. Well, yeah. If his sword came from six hundred BC, BC, 
you know, and then this, when they met, was the 1400s. That would have put him at 800. So we could just say a thousand years old, maybe. If you've not heard Salty, they've changed. You can't say BC anymore. You've got to say BJ, and it means before Jennifer. <laughs> all I heard, all, 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 all I heard was BJ. BJ. I, was, <laughs> was, I know, and I was like, Gray, what are you doing? I don't. I didn't don't, think this through. You stay in the closet over there in Japan, man. We're, oh my just, god. <laughs> Anyway, where were we? I love that. Anyway, this scene. Were we? so we're you were talking <laughs> about BJ's. You were talking about no PJ's, salty. You misheard. You know PJ's pajamas. Obviously. I'm still in my pajamas. Obviously. Maybe. Yeah, I need to get okay. in my pajamas. So, um, as like Purple brought up before, it's I think it was either yesterday or it could be still today. Um, Clancy Brown's birthday. He was so good in mm -hmm. this. What a great character. Um, thinking about other movies he's been in, him I saw on, on that post I shared at Twitter, Amazing. someone was saying he could have been a leading man. Maybe he should have been, but instead he chose maybe to be a fantastic character actor. Shawshank well, Redemption? He was in yeah, yeah. 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 A Animal House in the beginning. He was in Animal House, uh, remember? Was he? Yeah, he, he was, he was with, Niedermeyer. Uh, he was Niedermeyer who was in the no ROTC way. that was <laughs> drop and give me 40. You remember that? With... Um, I the only one that remembers Animal House? He was in there. He was really good in there. And then, of course, the uh, Twisted Sister music video that came out. We're not going to take it. That's it's worthless Brown. and weak. No, it no, no. That's a, nope, that's a different actor. I know who really? you're talking about. Really? All right. I'm going to check this out. It's not that I don't did, doubt you. but uh, he, he did a lot of bit parts, but I think the parts that he did, he took them because he knew he could do something with the character. But I, I agree. He, he could have one... been a leading man. Yeah, he um. So in the picture there, where he's uh, you see his shoulder, that was with Sean Penn. It was in a movie. either in a prison. They're in a kid's prison. Oh, he played one of the um, guys giving Penn a hard time, and a uh, cellmate of his made a cassette that blew up, and it blew up and almost killed him. It no took way. Care of him in the movie, yeah, he was in the movie. I was he wrong. Was You're right. Blair, you're right. He was, however, in Buckaroo Banzai. Can you guys believe that? Oh, he, was, he was in Buckaroo Banzai. He, uh, he was in Moonwalker, Blue Steel, <laughs> Pet no Cemetery 2, Dead Man Walking, Starship mm -hmm. Troopers, of course. Oh, yeah, that's um, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was in Finding Nemo. Oh, yes, no. He was a terrific voice yeah. actor. Yeah. yeah. And, oh yeah, he was uh, Lex Luthor for a long time in the Justice League yeah. stuff. Yeah, and Green Lantern. Yeah. yeah, in SpongeBob, which yeah. I think is hilarious. Oh he yeah, that. my God, he's Ted, yeah, Patty. voice acting. Okay, <laughs> a motion captured him for Warcraft for Black Hand, if you can mm. believe that or not. Yeah, and he's also in uh, John Wick Four. Oh, yeah, he was in a really good movie called Laramie. It was made yes. for HBO. Yep. It was about yep. the um, Matthew Shepard killing. Oh yeah. And it was about Laramie, all the people in Laramie. Not nothing. Had, Matthew Shepard never even appeared in it. Not even that picture. He played okay. the sheriff of Laramie, and uh, he did a really great performance in that. You know, he was in Dukes of Hazard. Oh, he was in one episode of Dukes and Hazard. He was in uh, used to watch that man. He, he too even many had it in the Roscoes, UK. If when I was a kid. <laughs> too many. Nice Rock to. No, it was not Neverland Ranch. <laughs> he was called Bad Boys. Casey Charlie Chats got it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Where... highlighting that comment. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Where's Nerd Poriel? He was in Star Trek Enterprise as well. He played, uh, <laughs> played Zorbel. Ooh. Somebody don't, don't, don't tell Nerd Poriel. Somebody said Star Trek. Where's Napoleon? Where's Zax? Come on, guys. He's probably Come on. passed out from. I do remember that movies. episode he was in, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I apologize. I didn't mean to confuse him with the other guy from Animal House. I thought they was the same dude, but it wasn't. He's been. He's like a prolific actor. He's like in everything. Yes, yeah. but it's it's this role that always you know springs to my yeah. mind when yeah. I see him. It's just got that iconic look, and you forget how big he was, you know, especially when he was younger. Yeah, he's he was a tall, tall fucker. But he's very broad. Is he bigger than Salty? 
purple. That's the question because salty's huge. That's what I've heard. I've seen on video. Salty's Ladies. bigger. <laughs> hey. He was also <laughs> in the Mandalorian. If you guys can believe that or not, he was no. in the Mandalorian chapter no six, the prisoner. He played Berg. Hey, Monkey Jeebus. What's Don't up? I remember it. Monkey, great to see you. And great to see everyone who's still here. Let me shout out KC Charlie Charts for some great information. He was saying, yeah, Rawhide from Buckaroo Banzai. Great. We have to watch that movie next week. We just have we to. Do. I've never yes. watched that film. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's insane. <laughs> It's it's kind of everything 80s, maybe not as much as you want it to be. We'll just say that. So, yeah. Yeah. Shelby say Napoleon's liver's gone now. Is he still going that stream or did they finish? Wow. <laughs> maybe they're still going. Yeah. Whooper Trooper, I was here trying to clean my room. I just hear Salty is bigger. I've seen it on video. Yeah, oh, that's it, isn't it? It's going to get clipped. Oh, my God. What the hell did I miss? <laughs> Okay, guys, that's pretty good for the um, wrapping up the review, isn't it? I think we've covered most things. Anything else you want to bring up about the movie we might have missed or you want to shout out? Sherry, how are you doing, Sherry? I think it's just one of those films that people either they, they've they watched it once and then they've forgotten about it. But yeah. I think once you watch it and you really sit down and realise what a good film it is, you kind of recommend it to people. And I really do wish it had just been a standalone. It had just been a yeah. one and done. Because I think they kind of took away from the original film by diluting it down and trying to mm. you know, eke off how um, what a cult following it has. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. the The other thing I like is because I was 15 when this came out. It has all the cars I remember people driving as a kid, and like my grandpa had one of those big cars with like the eight foot hood in like the six foot trunk, <laughs> you know, and uh, it was a Ford Mercury Montego, pea soup green, you know, vinyl top, you know, windshield like 18 feet wide. And so I just, I loved seeing that because I think one of the coolest scenes of this is when they're in the bottom of Madison Square Garden after the initial battle takes place and Connor McLeod beheads the dude in the suit who can do backflips, which is weird, but okay. <laughs> but he beheads him and then all the cars start exploding because of mm -hmm. all the electrical energy that's going. And it's just, I just, I love that. It's like right. gratuitous 80 violence and it's perfect. So, yeah. Mm. I like, we didn't talk about the very, very end, the prize. No. The prize, the prize. He now can have a normal lifespan. He can have kids now, mm -hmm. but now he can read the minds of everybody on the planet and you know bring people together and get all the idea good ideas and yeah you know yeah. that was pretty interesting i think because i mean again context and blair you tell me what you think of this this is my theory is that because we were in the middle of the cold war then in 85 the oh, idea yeah. was about the cold war it wasn't about global government and eating bugs and owning nothing and like <laughs> it was it was about how do we stop the conflict between the soviet union and the united states and it's funny because here we are in 2023 and essentially it's the same conflict which is let's be really mm. honest about it it's kind of the same thing except the soviet union is owns all of our politicians now you know what i mean and they're destroying us from within but you know back then you had good guys and bad guys you know, and mm -hmm. uh, that's how I took that. What did you guys think about that? Yeah, they, they were really going to have peace, you know, planetary yeah. peace. You know, everybody, all the little divisions against each other, we brought broken down because yeah. he could read people's minds and, you know, know when people are full of it or just scared or, you know. But um, but then they did the, the TV series. The prize then to that was that, the winner got to have sex with the woman and their kid would come back and become like the messiah or some shit. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, what sucks about this is mm -hmm. in, in purple. I mean, what do you think about that analogy I made? I mean, what did you think of him at the end? And in, 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 remember when he's, he's, it's almost like he's surrounded by those ghosts from Indiana Jones that are circling around him. And there's some of those faces I mean, it's all hand drawn. Look, really scary. And he's like, "I can know everything. I see everything. I am everything." Like, what did you think about that? What did you think that meant? I really liked it. I took it as in he's taken on all of the knowledge from hmm. all of the previous um, ones that have died. So all of the their um, experiences, all of their 
uh, personalities are being drawn into him because he is the last and obviously the Kurgan was yeah. the, the the one to take out but I, yeah. I like that scene I think it, I'm not sure Salty you might be able to um, confirm it looked like it was rotoscoped um, it looked like it was uh, rotoscoped. I don't yeah. know, but but I loved the hand drawn spirits mm -hmm. like that were circling around him. It was and they got their hands on him, like holding them yes, up, like you know. Yes, yes, yeah. It's you know, it was a lot, it, a lot of practical effects on this. And the other crazy thing is is where that fight takes place. Silver Cup Studios, a roof in New York City. Was this just a made-up place? No, Silver Cup Studios is an actual mm -hmm. New York-based production facility where several television shows and movies uh, they're responsible for them. Not you know, not the least of which was Mad Men, uh, mm -hmm. the unfortunate thing called Sex in the City, a whole lot of things that have been shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who wants to watch a show about a woman who looks like a horse? Just want to say that. But but it's a legitimate <laughs> place. It was a legitimate place where they were actually fighting. You know. And that final sword fight was so epic. Like I said, they had electrical cables running in their hands because they could yeah. do the sparks. But then, you know, just the pacing, it was like, you know, they started here and they like swooped, you know, from one. It was like, you know, it was like mm -hmm. it was in motion, the whole thing. You could tell it was a music video. Somebody had been doing mm -hmm. music videos because, yep. again, it had all the tropes. It had the backlit windows with yep. two-tone yep. lighting. And then you had the wet floor that showed the light from the windows. And then yep. you had the crazy electrical spark things. And then the camera was on a dolly that went yeah. in um, like an oblique so that it started from that perspective and kept turning like that. And it was like, this is totally a music video, you know? Yes. It's so fucking awesome. It was beautiful. And, and it cuts his head off and says, there can be only one. All of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Everything explodes. Well, that's it. The music throughout that final battle, it swells as he gets the upper hand. It's so, yeah. so good. And one thing that I've forgotten, I, you know, re rewatching it, is how many things they actually blow up. There's some great explosions in this film. <laughs> there are, aren't there? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. It's very uh, pyrotechnical, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, you could tell uh, that total 80s thing, you know, we're going to blow shit up mm -hmm. everywhere. Yes, and I remember reading somewhere, and I tried to find it to confirm it, that the scene where he takes out the um, one of the final guys, the, the, the black gentleman that McLeod talks to on the mm. uh, bridge, um, that explosion was actually much more powerful than they initially meant it yeah. to be. Yeah, they blew windows out and got, got yes. in a little bit of trouble. Yes, they were only supposed to like lift the, the manhole covers and then everything blew out. And that was actually filmed in London, not in New York. Yeah, yeah they, they did that a lot in the 80s. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that, that seems to be a, you know, a trait. Let me just shout out in the, in the chat. Mitchell Lawrence, think it's the first time here. How are you doing? Great to see you. He says, um, I preferred the Highlander series to the films. And Blair the Blair, you were talking about the series before, weren't you? How they, yeah, they did explore great... the lore a lot more. Yeah, they go a lot more into the lore and how, you know, whenever you kill an immortal, you gain their experience and knowledge. So as they're riddling down, they become more powerful. Um, mm. but yeah, the, the series, one thing about the series is they filmed part of it in France because it was part of the French production too, but they filmed it in Vancouver. And it was one of the first times we saw Vancouver being substituted for Seattle. And they actually had a name for it back then. They called it Seacouver because it was no set in Seattle. They had American license plates, but it was in Vancouver. It was the same thing with um, Grimm, the series of Grimm. They did a lot of shooting in BC, too. And they did some stuff down in Portland. But can you blame them? Why would anybody want to take anything valuable to downtown Portland? So, yeah. Yeah, but the, the series is really good. Uh, they explored a lot of different aspects. Mm. You know, they had Mythos, like the very first immortal. Uh, the four horsemen were actually immortals. Mythos wow. was death, Kronos, and then they had the other two guys. That was really cool. Uh, the Witch of Endor was in there. She's an immortal. No way. Uh, yeah. It had really great lore. For, the TV series is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, check it out if you can. Sounds like the TV series is worth watching more than the sequels. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. It is. That's why I've heard. Watch, watch this movie. And then watch a TV series. I have, a, I, have a, I, have, I have a legitimate question that, that I don't think any of us want to answer. But I have to oh. ask this. Do you think they're going to reimagine 
the Highlander originally? Do you think they're going to replace the mythos that of Connor McLeod, especially in this movie, and remake it? Henry Cavill is still doing this, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I was wondering. Is this still on or not? I don't know. I would heard it. it. Three, what was it? Three, I think it was. Yeah, three. Yeah, three years ago was the first time I heard rumblings of that. And now mm-hmm. everyone's talked about how he's not in the DCU. He's all Warhammer 40K. He's not going to be James Bond. And, and his name was attached to this. And it's like, I didn't hear anything, you know, since then. I remember him reading a book about Scottish history mm-hmm. around the time it was announced that he was involved with this. But yeah, I haven't heard a peep about it since. So Not recently. No, I've heard nothing. I wonder if it's kind of quietly died like so many other things do, you know. <laughs> oh, we I'm, got an update. I found an... Go ahead, Purple. I was just going to say, honestly, as much as I do like Henry Cavill and I think he should be in a lot of films, I don't think we need a, a reboot of this, no. especially if it was a straight reboot. This no. Highlander film, it, it's pretty perfect as it is. Yeah, just leave it alone. Don't fuck I agree. With it. I agree. Why is it, you know, is it because they can't think of any really good original ideas? I mean, there are. No. There are still good things made out there, but they're usually more indie, aren't they? Independent films and yeah. TV. Yeah. So why why remake everything that was good in the 80s or whatever, the well, 90s or 70s? Part of it is to take the hero's journey out of it for a modern audience. And when they say oh. modern audience, they mean Gen Z. They're, mm. They want to take away anything that involves ethnicity, gender, mm family yeah. nationality away from any of this and turn people into what they want which is just basically they want to replace our western mythos which is why we're getting the shit entertainment that we are yeah right their, there casey yeah casey the, charlie trans- chats five dollars that we'll see connie, connie cloud so yeah mm. not connor well i do have an update I, we do have an update on the Henry Con, uh, the, the Henry Cavill thing. So the first time we heard about this was in 2021. It was announced that Henry Cavill would be in a remake. Since then, information has been sparse. But in an interview with Collider, yes, everyone bet your life savings on what Collider has to say. The director <laughs> behind this shared a short, short but positive glimpse. He said, quote, fans of the cult film will be happy to hear that the Highlanders remake is closer than we've ever been. And the quote from the director is, quote, we're in the process of tweaking right now. I think we know what we want. More importantly than anything, we know what we want to make. It's in the creatives. We know what we're trying to make. It's just a matter of getting to the point where we feel, okay, this is is it. Let's go. So that's the update we have. Henry Cavill is still involved in this. Wow. But... um, Thanks for that, Salty. And um, speaking of Dempsey's comment, men were still masculine back then in the West. Speaking of masculine, here is Zax. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Zax. I made it just in time. <laughs> um, Great to see you, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks for thanks for having me on. I love this. I love this movie. Yeah. 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 Um, I will, But I'm going to say this is going to be controversial. Oh, it's it's a difficult it's a more difficult movie to pass along than I expected it to be. Because really? I, with your kids? Yeah, I watched it with my when he was 16. Oh. And he was like, I got a lot of side eye because and <laughs> looking at it from a from a perspective of someone who doesn't love it already. I yeah. could understand where he was coming from with some of the stuff he was questioning, like the a lot of like the things like, why is that guy doing backflips now? Like they're in the middle of a fight. <laughs> he just drops his sword and does a bunch of backflips away from where so he funny. knows the guy is down, right? And so, if you think about it, Henry Cavill's a good example. If we, The Witcher, the first episode was was great with that sword fight in the, yes. in the alleyways. And if Henry had dropped his sword and did backflips, you know, Sh- Sh- Shad would have had a fit on Shadversity about that, and True. we would have been like, "What are we watching?" True. And and True. so I come hey. to it from a place of love. Chill, and you get yeah. into it and it's a music video like i think salty had said that already it's yeah, a music video experience the film yeah. and so for people who aren't conditioned for that it's a right. tougher sell than i expected um it is it is interesting though the amount of bat flicks because they had gratuitous backflips in blade runner <laughs> too remember that you're yes you're right you're right I mean, it was just like a thing like look we, we can hire gymnasts look yeah you know, she could you know? almost do that pris uh, daryl hannah couldn't she yeah. i mean she couldn't do the backflips but she could do some of the gymnastics and she looked yeah. like she could yeah, it's funny because now people are more conditioned to YouTube, TikTok type videos. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were conditioned to like MTV videos, so that's why it really worked on Gen X. But they, you know, like Gen Z were looking like, okay, this this mm. is a little weird. But and, and I got the well, sell it to me. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, it's awesome. <sighs> but, but like, why is he doing this? And why do they have to fight again? And and the prize is he gets to die. I mean. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I got it. I got it. But if you break it down to someone who, but like all the other, like other stuff we've covered and talked about, translates much better, because it's a straightforward story. This was more of a music video. It was an experience, and it's, true. Mm -hmm. it's got like you really want to see it in a theater with like big sound surrounded by the screen and, um, maybe not in 4K because some of those lightning effects don't really, <laughs> for me, didn't stand up super great. Like they they kind of reached for the stars with this and i appreciated that on a video on vhs maybe more yeah. so than how did it look uh, on the like really crisp version a hd version because i haven't seen that i had a crappy youtube version i've <sighs> got this on dvd but a 4k upscaling uh dvd player to mm. 4k tv so Ooh. you get film grain but i gotta tell you it actually looked great i would not want this on blu-ray this is one of those things that you don't need on blu-ray i don't i agree but in, you know, uh, upscale from DVD, maybe there was just enough, you know, blend so that it looked fine. But there was nothing that was glaring, really. There was nothing glaring uh, mm. with the effects on this. No, especially Hail to the Courtney. Shots. Sorry, hail to Courtney. Go ahead, Burp. Courtney. Shield Wall Dragon's here as well. Uh, wait to see you. I think we had, we had a bit of a sudden raid, guys. It, it went up from 12 to 18 people watching. Oh. Sorry, Purple. Go for it. You were making a point. Oh, no, that, that was it. Sorry. <laughs> So, Zach, um, one thing we talked about earlier, we were kind of surprised that this was almost two hours long, which going back yeah. to the 1980s, and you know, 86 for a movie, that was quite unusual, wasn't it? And actually, so was Time Bandits, speaking of that, yeah. guys, we did last week. So, yeah, interesting. It, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was a bit long, and there was, like, Christopher Lambert playing a Scotsman was a... That... <laughs> He couldn't I speak mean, English when he started. <laughs> but I, so I love fair play. <laughs> but I, and, I, and I really, I love Sean Connery in this, even though like he's Scottish playing a Spanish guy. But I don't care. He's just it's got awesome. so much charisma that yes. it's that it works anyway. So yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, it was one of my favorite movies growing up. Um, and it, the sequels were the sequels absolute garbage. But at least it gave us the quickening. So now we can attach that to any bad sequel, like from forever on. The There's only one God. movie, dude. There's only one movie. Electric really. Boogaloo, The Quickening. Those yeah. are the best sequels ever. I'd rather watch. Every, I'd rather watch every bad breakdancing movie from the '80s than ever watch <laughs> The Highlander Two ever again. And there were a yes. lot of bad breakdancing movies from the '80s. I, I remember I the third one being better, but I don't remember why. Yeah. It was it Mario one. Van? Was it Mario Van People's mm. performance? Is that what uh, cemented the? Remember. Do? Yeah. yeah, and I'll never watch it again to find out. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had the drunk stream just ended. That's why we had a little bit of a raid. We're trying to get Nerd poorly in here. He's not. He's not on the floor, is he, guys? <laughs> Zax, Nosferatu, uh, is he? <laughs> it might be. Three was better than two because it completely ignored what happened in two. It, it... Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's probably it. No, I, I, I have... no. no. I have a question though. So, Purple, um, I'm no biologist, but I think you're a woman. Were you able to relate to the to the men in the story and to the Highlander and Connor McCloud, or were, did you feel shut out by this toxic male masculinity yeah. in patriarchal representation? <laughs> oh goodness, no! I thought Connor McCloud was a fantastic character. You can see it in his love for Heather, the way that he stays with her even though she ages and he's immortal. I that scene, especially when mm. she passes, always makes me cry every time. And then as his life extends, he doesn't want to love again because he doesn't yeah. want to feel that pain. Yeah. Yeah. Do, does he start to love again, guys, towards the end with um, the, I've forgotten the character's well, name, the, the 80s Brenda, character? Yeah. Brenda. He's, Brenda. He's, he's, getting, he's getting it on with Brenda and then he's making out <laughs> with her. And, and then he's wearing a pink shirt with a white sweater making out with her in the Scottish Highlands. So I assume that is a happy ending. What's crazy is what happens to Brenda after this movie. Now, if you follow the logic of the, the non-sequel second movie, she died because ma climate change kind of a thing happened. And she was exp the Earth's... Um, oh, God. Uh, what was the... Uh, 
what was the thing that was being depleted by aerosols, Blair? Do you remember? The ozone, ozone. layer. Yeah. It was the ozone. So oh, Heather God. got radiation <laughs> poisoning because the ozone layer disappeared. No. Really? Uh, that is actually <laughs> the plot of Highlander 2. That's, That's actually right. it. So she died, and she's and there's this whole scene with with Connor McCloud talking about how she was taken from him and all this other nonsense. But the third movie says that she died in a car accident mm-hmm. in Scotland in Ooh. 1987. And then Blair, mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell the TV show says about her. Oh, salty, so. wait a minute, just to interrupt. Did you say radiation? Did you guys say radiation? It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> Why I did, Gray. What a perfectly timed segment. <laughs> Thank you. I brought it up like three times. <laughs> just, just smoothly watch that segue. All night. You just watch that all night, dude. Seriously. So good. Yeah, yeah the TV show didn't say anything about Brenda. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kind Connor, of forgot about Brenda. Uh, he was in the very first one, and that was it. Then it was a Duncan McLeod show. Yeah. The nice yes. thing about an upscaling DVD player is you get to see all of her curves and her beautiful mm. body. So, because oh, yes, 80s please. movies always had sex and they, they were always had a little bit of a, a nudity scene. Sorry, or two. Purple. Didn't mean to run over you again. <laughs> These days, so we all get is um, nudity from men, don't we? We get some, you know, uh, bare tops, sometimes some bare, bo- bare bottoms too. But whenever it gets to the women, it's just like, no, you don't even get a little tiny hint of cleavage anymore. What's well, we going making- on? We were making fun of it on Wheel of Time, watching it with Nerd Poriel. That not only oh, yeah. are the, not only are this a no nudity, but the women are ugly as hell, and they look like mm. men. I mean, like they look like they look like some of them stopped in mid transition, and it's like Jesus Christ, what am I looking at? What are you right, doing? I'm really sorry, I interrupted. I just rewatched the uh, the sor- the warrior and the sorceress, the da- uh, David Carradine, yeah, the eighties thing. The lead woman runs topless the entire movie her tits are on display the entire movie what movie it's called the sorceress and the war the warrior and the sorceress done like that. i need yeah. to find that there's even a ch- there's a part where they bring in this exotic dancer and she has four boobs Ooh. boom and boom she looks like a you know like a dog you like all the teats going down the and no. uh, so like yeah, lizzo so like Lizzo, pretty. Much. Yeah, but but she's a good looking person. Purple, but, uh, are you okay? Purple, are you okay? Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Oh, hello, ladies. Uh, do you remember this photo? I do. Oh yeah. <sighs> Is that purple, that was nineteen nineties, wasn't it? Sorry, or two thousand? No. Sorry, purple. Two thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave this on the screen. I'm gonna oh. go dark and mute for a minute. I'll be back. Go from. Large, medium, and small. That's that's a nice. <laughs> Are you getting like purple? You you sound fine. Do you want to drop out and come back in? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, a couple of Canadians there. I just want to call that out. I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, did. the thing about this was is they were feminine, but God, any of them could kill you. Like, especially not just the Cylon. Well, I guess they're all Cylons now, like in the end, right? But it's like any of them could kill you. Spoilers. You do not want to screw around with any of the. Oh, okay, fine, dude. This shit's it's been out for yeah, a Salty, years. that makes them hotter to me. The fact that they can kick yeah. ass and, you know, take I've you heard out. That. I know. I know. <laughs> Is it just me? Is that- in- nope. Not at all. <laughs> well, the, o- the other thing that made them incredibly desirable was the characters they played and the acting they gave. They weren't just like, you know, uh scene decorations you know what i mean these women mm-hmm. had powerful characters and they were powerful all in the right sorry i didn't mean to talk over you zax no no i wasn't i had nothing to say i'm good i was talking yeah. to shewell who says i'm downloading that movie that uh that blair brought up and i'm saying he's, he might not be wrong <laughs> me too i'll be right back guys here we go yeah yeah, yeah. but i mean it's out good, of all a these good women, idea. it's a good idea I mean, out of all of these women, it's just, I mean, again, I mean, we, when, when did BSG, the reimagining come out? Was it 2002? I think the miniseries came out. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of us were hesitant to, to embrace this. We didn't know what they were going to do with it. And my God, gender, gender swap Starbuck was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, uh, you know, Parathrace, um, amazing, absolutely amazing. Because they just do that. Yeah, they didn't just gender swap her. They made yeah. her fucking badass as hell. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know. I mean, Star Starbuck in the original 70s was kind of goofy playboy. You know, the guy who played face on the A-team was the same one. Dirk Benedict. Uh, Dirk Benedict, yeah. And... But to take it and, and give it to a relative newcomer in, I can't remember her name now. I'm getting Stream Brain, the actress. Um, Katie Sackoff? Stream Brain. Stream Katie Brain. Sackoff. To give it to Katie Sackoff, she just. What was her name again? No, Get it. your kit off. Get your kit off. Oh, <laughs> sorry, never mind. No. I wish. Uh, just help me shout out Mitchell Lawrence with a comment here. He says, I always love the scene with a sexy ladies dancing in The Running Man. Another great 80s crazy mm. B-movie, like fancy movie, yeah. with the music playing. And now we're living it. And now, now we're going to go watch that tonight as yeah, well. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Looking good. Okay, everybody good? Um, we can keep going or we can we can slowly wrap things up if you like. But Zach's just got here, so we've got to start the party. Well, yeah, I want go. to ask Zach the same question I ask everybody else. Zach, what is your favorite part of this movie? I mean, like, oh, in yeah. seriousness. Like, what is the, is the beginning, the middle, the final conflict? Like, what is it that you like best about this? I so. like the final fight with Kurgan. That yeah. was a mm -hmm. great, oh, great so sword good. fight. I liked, I, I liked the beginning part, too, where he before he realizes he's immortal. And uh, I, I liked that whole feel um, just because I like that that style of, of film, you know? Yeah. Like it, it reminds me of Braveheart, yeah. essentially. Yeah. yeah. Even though he's French. Yeah. Wow, who's drying their hair? Not me. I don't, <laughs> don't think me. It's not me. No, I don't dry my hair. It was purple. No, she went and knew. Yeah. Um, so but, going on there. That was my favorite part. Like I liked, I did, I liked the final face off because the Kurgan is such an effective villain in yes. this. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. And he, and he's what brings that intensity to that final conflict more more so than Connor, who a good a good character and all, but it's the Kurgan that people I think really take home from this. That was um, can I yeah. that, that was that was the key to this. I don't think if you had if you had a weaker or softer or um, shittier villain, I don't think I don't think that people fall in love with it as much. Yeah. Oh, good night, Nos. Sorry, Nos is gone, and great to see you. Uh, what was it? Al McNeil, mate. Thanks for joining us from all the way from Sicily. That's great to see you. You're Cheers. A Wonderful here. to see you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll it. do the Buckaroo Bonsai and definitely come back for that. Yeah, definitely. That'll be awesome. Um, Sheila was saying it definitely wasn't Blair the Blair with a hairdryer. What are you trying to say, <laughs> Sheila? Purple, Purple, try it again. You sound good now. You sound good now, Purple. I was muted. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, maybe Purple's got some audio problems or internet problems. She says she's going to drop. Before you go, Purple, please shout out what you've got coming up. Have you got any woo-woo coming up soon? Um, probably not this week, but uh, hopefully it will pick it up in, in, uh, in the future. But uh, thank you. Thank you, Gray, for having me. No, of course. And that last stream was awesome, Purple. It was a really good stream, wasn't it? The, the last woo-woo stream. You got a lot it of people was watching. Fun. Really good comments as well. Yeah. Yeah, well in done. purple, your audio sounds great now. But yeah, yeah it's fine. I, now. I'm very lucky to get to work with purple every Wednesday. We do the Wednesday, the wild, weird, wonderful werewolf Wednesday woo show, and uh, yeah, we had uh, about fifty people watching, which is big numbers for channels our size. So it's a lot of fun. Cool, you know? that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. great show. Thank you, thank you, guys, and uh, I'll uh, I'll be in the chat. All right, okay, nice one. Thanks, Purple. We'll speak to you soon. Just shout out um, a super chat from Your Barmy for five dollars. Thank you so much, mate. You can, if you want to drop a message, just drop it in the chat, and uh, I'll highlight it later. But I really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. It's really weird getting used to this, Zach Salty Blair. Like, oh yeah, I can't believe like being monetized. It's unbelievable. It's all down oh, to you, you guys. Right. You worked. No, for no, no. It. You did nothing to do with no. this. No, no. You always had it. It's just YouTube. You had to jump through YouTube hoops, dude. So yeah. yeah, through hoops and living in Japan, like with crazy time zones. <laughs> That's probably yeah, why. Right. But it's yeah, it's great. Zone. And not just yeah. that to to have you guys coming on every week. Well, you know when you can. That that means so much because this is my main live stream of the week. It's limited to weekends, so I do it. You know, every Friday night American time. So yeah, it's great. You know, my final thought before I'll split is I don't really think that anybody else could have in my experience in going seeing this in 85 as a kid i don't think yeah. anybody else could have been uh connor mcleod I, I cannot imagine this movie with another actor i can't right. now who was popular at the time you had kurt russell you had uh who the hell else um 
you know, you had uh, who was in a bunch of '80s movies? You, you, Rocky. I mean, could you have Stallone in this? Stallone. No. I mean, <laughs> Chuck who the hell, Norris. No. Chuck Norris wouldn't have worked in this. I mean, it, it wouldn't have worked. It needed to be a nobody, essentially a nobody, if we're honest about it, to mm. to to play this role. Yeah. And there've been a lot of great movies where that's been the case, where you need to have somebody who doesn't bring other action star Mm -hmm. status Mm -hmm. to this because we were able to look at him not just as a sword fighter ass kicker but has this like romantic tragic lead in a story because that's really what this movie is is it's a role it's a it's a romance it is a action story but it is not all about sword fighting Mm -hmm. and it's that's why i think this movie's great really so yeah he got a lot of it. He got a lot of stick, and he still does, doesn't he, Christopher Lambert? But what I heard is that Russell Mulcahy saw him in um, the Tars and the Legend of Grace. Grace, oh, yeah. remember that one? So oh, he just yeah. got him. He thought he had um, he had a really magnetic like character. You know, very per- his personality was there on the screen. He was, he was vibrating almost. He was vibrant. So they had to kind of teach him how to speak English. But I thought he did okay. You know, okay, he's not yeah. got a Scottish accent. But how many people who aren't Scottish can pull off a proper convincing Scottish accent? True. True. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. also played Raiden yeah. later in his career, so he pulled off Japanese as well. <laughs> True, Daniel San. Thank you so much, Salty. Oh, before you go, more. what have you got coming up, Salty? I don't know. Uh, I'm making. I'm dropping videos about every day. I dropped a couple of good ones. I dropped. Did I drop two today? I You're dropped dropping one bombs, today. bombs, baby. Yeah, it's the Last of Us, and um, I'm going to be doing a response video to somebody who called me out in my comment section, not to reward trolls, but to say why I said what I said. Because okay. uh, if we're going to play this good. game, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm not going to give that person the spotlight, but I'm going to address certain things. But it's interesting. The Last of Us, I did my first video on this back in March of 2021. Druckmann said it was going to be nothing like the game, significantly deviate. And now everything is significantly deviating. You can look at the cast list, look at who's in every episode. And there are characters like Marlene from the game who are in seven episodes of a 10 episode season. It does look like Abby's going to be in this. It looks like Riley, the lesbian relationship with Ellie, is going to be in this as well. Yeah, baby. Uh, and then they're going to focus episodes. <laughs> remember, you remember the, the the crazy Frank guy that they, that uh, has the shotgun and Thanks, um, Courtney. they go and Good they night, find Courtney. about the middle of Thank the game. Courtney. They're going to focus on his gay relationship with Bill, who's nothing but a skeleton in uh, Last of Us Part One. So yeah, if you're into that kind of thing. Is this show's for you? I'm not. So yeah, I dropped that video today. Great, sure. thanks for having me on. And Blair, it's great to work with you. And and Zach's uh, dude, as ever, dude. It's nice to it's nice to stream with you, man. So good to see yeah, you, everybody. Have a good night, and uh, yeah, fight the good fight. I'll see you guys later. Thanks, Bye, Salty. Salty. You take care. Good night. Here, Salty. Uh, ah. Mags is here. She was saying earlier tonight she hates Canadians. So I'm still kind of a bit. <laughs> she did say that. Yeah, I thought she didn't like maple bit. syrup flavored whiskey. You know, a little bit, a little bit hateful, but I don't feel that was really deserved. But I mean, what am I going to say? I'm Canadian, so I guess I have to apologize. I'm sorry you hate. I'm sorry you hate me, Megs. I'm sorry you hate me. Don't worry, Zach. Everyone hates me because I'm from the UK, and now I'm living in Japan. There you oh, go. <laughs> you're the worst imperial of all time, Greg. You have oh. really perfect combination. And I still have my head on my shoulders. It's amazing, isn't it? Unbelievable. For now. <laughs> yeah, for now. That's cool. Aldan as well. Aldan was here before and he popped in again. Ha, 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 ha. Laughing at that. Hey, Aldan. Hail, mate. Good to see you. That was a fun nice. whiskey stream earlier. And I think, I can't believe, like, Drunk Porio, like, what, two hours ago, he was he, he was forward bound, I felt. And for him to have pulled this out for this long, uh, you know, kudos to Drunk Porio. Mags, I'm not mm. surprised she, let, she can drink. She's a whiskey mm. champ. Her and Pips. Blair, how about you? Do you like the occasional uh, scotch or bourbon? Uh, I'm more of a vodka guy. Oh. Uh, but, I, yeah, I like a good uh, yeah, a good bourbon from time to time. I, vodka was my uh, my poison when I first started getting into it. A friend was a big fan of vodka. He introduced me to different kinds like Russian and, of course, Polish, which I didn't know. Polish vodka was really good. I can't remember Didn't, the names. I think they invented vodka, Poland. I think oh, Russia really? stole it. Did. Russia stole yeah, it, Zach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that wouldn't yeah. surprise me, would it? Not at all, no. 
He got a second win, says Shieldwall for Nib Portal. It's a shame you come on. I tried to say, come on, man, come on. It's like, I haven't seen the movie, I haven't watched it. Like, um, recently, I've probably seen it before, but that's okay. He never stops you, Zach, does he? No, not, <laughs> it, in fact, it encourages me if I've never seen it. I love to do views for, reviews of movies I haven't seen. I'm joking. Me too. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it, no problem. But yeah, I did watch it. About it. We're up and it was good. It was good. It did hold up apart from the crazy 80s fi- uh, effects, you know. I was, yeah, I was really into the movie. It pulled me right in because it had good performances, convincing characters, you know, and it was funny at times and a bit crazy. And it had a real uh-huh. villain. You talked about that, Zach. It's a proper villain, you know, you, you could love to hate. That's what it's about. And watching that film, you're thinking, I mean, there's really no way he's going to beat this guy. You, you don't feel that he's... And he has to really earn that victory, and yeah. it's not a given, and he's just a strong villain, Kurgan, and uh, they let him be badass the entire time. Mm-hmm. They don't have him apologize, or he doesn't, he's like, you don't feel sorry for him, he's terrifying, right. like yeah. he's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, he's a proper bastard through and through, and... Exactly. It's great. <laughs> That's what we want. Well, being honest, do you think um, he really would have lost the final fight? Come on. No. No chance, yeah? No chance. I don't think so, no. I would have bet on the Kurgan. Yeah, me too. He he um he had a different a weird career Clancy Brown after that because you would have thought that he would have really I think you guys covered it a little bit earlier, but he would have exploded after that. And he, yeah. he really didn't. Yeah, we talked about That's how he's weird. like a character actor. Yeah. He he should have been more of a central player, but no, he um he was in a lot of great things. He just he was never the star. And that voice too. He's got the voice. Yeah, he's done a lot of voice work too. Um, yeah. He's got a hell of a voice. It's fantastic. It's uh, yeah. It's a great, great voice and very you know big guy, very tall as well, muscular. It said that in the. I shared a tweet before Zach. It was saying that basically um, he he should have been a leading man, but he maybe not chose. I don't know if he chose or he was kind of pushed to be a character actor. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm some great performances very memorable character actor i think you that know... like this similar uh, similar to like star wars sorry blair was um like the darth vader character to luke it was there's no way he's going to be able to to beat him mm, the entire time right. watching it no matter how he trains you see him get smacked down and so you know he, he has a redemption in that film but this one there's no redemption for the kurgan but it's um it's the idea of going into that you really want the hero to win but you you're not really sure how he's going to do it. It's not a mm. it's not a foregone conclusion how it will happen, and so it really it pulls you in the entire time. Do you know the guy um, from Smallville who played Lex Luthor? Um, he also did the voice of the Flash in Justice League. Michael Rosenbaum. Yeah, he oh. has a, like a, a video podcast, nice. and uh, he had uh, the Clancy Brown on, and he's talking about his oh. career, how you know certain things. Like the uh, Shawshank Redemption, he read, he screwed it up big time. He thought, for sure, all right, I blew it. They don't want me. No, they wanted him. It was fine. They flew him out to Ohio. And, you know, he, when he was doing the read through, he didn't think he got the part. He thought he was just like a, kind of like a stand in to do the read through. Mm-hmm. But he all got right. it. So he talked about that a little bit. Now, you know, he did like a lot of, he's a, you know, Captain Patty or uh, Crabby Patty and, the uh, SpongeBob, right? And yeah, you know, he talked about his voice acting. How you know how he did a lot. Of, it was pretty easy for him to do that. Now you know, he seems to be more of a voice actor than an actor actor. But he did talk yeah. about his career path a little bit. It's pretty good if you ever look it up. Uh, yeah. Michael Rosenbaum does have a YouTube channel, and he interviews all these different actors and actresses. So it's a, it was a good one. His uh, his podcast, I think, is called Inside of You. I've, I used to listen to it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's Inside okay. of You, Gray. <laughs> ladies oh my yeah. god yeah we've got shield wall saying um he was a great actor maybe better served as a character actor would he have been in as many movies and shows if he was a leading man yeah um, probably not so probably not yeah yeah you know you're mm-hmm. if you're a character actor you get a lot of work and and really he could be a leading man in like a if we're looking at like a military style film you could maybe see him as that in that role, but he's not going to be doing romantic comedies. No, not typically. No. Casey Charlie saying leading men fade, but character actors always have work. True. Great point. Mm-hmm. 
like Michael Ironside, another great character actor. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, also Canadian. He was there everything. In the eighties. Yep. No, yeah, he does a lot of voice work too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dan Trejo. Yeah, he's wow, over two hundred. A lot of shit. Yeah, he was, yeah. Heat. he was a great character in Heat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great movie. Yep. Okay, Aldan then. Asked should we good? About, should we? Um, um, should we? Oh, sorry. Eldan was. Uh, Eldan was asking about uh, Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan. Okay, to the panel. Have you watched any of it yet? I've seen it. I liked it. I watched the first two seasons. I started season three. Um, I, I I I enjoyed the first two seasons. Um, season three so far so good. It, yeah, I recommend checking it out if you haven't. It's there's good stuff on Amazon. You just have to find it. I'm yeah. the same same as Zach's. I've watched the first two and I, I just started three. I haven't I've only got to the first episode, but yeah, I enjoyed it. So it's good. Amazon Worth. seems to do these the Jack Reacher, Jack Ryan, Terminalist. But then their fantasy shows are fucking abysmal. Oh God, why is that? The killing fantasy, know. aren't they? The murdering it. Look at the, the films we talked about in the '80s. So good. Mm -hmm. I think because they're actually doing the fantasy ones, and the other mm -hmm. ones they have other people do, and they just buy. So they are not yeah. fucking it up. Like four E uh, Warhammer Four K is not going to be made by Amazon. It's going to be another company. So there's a chance. Yeah. Ooh. We have a chance it'll be decent. We, we do because be Henry's involved in his his girlfriend's company. That's the producing the the show. Uh -huh. So it's not like he's he actually like he literally knows who he's in bed with here. And I don't think he, I, I don't <laughs> think he literally he does. I don't think he would make this choose to do this if he didn't they didn't have a shared vision of some kind that he was okay with and who else can we trust better than him with this franchise? This is kind of his thing. Yeah. I think we're on good footing with that one. And Amazon Guys, may have some been. say, but hope they don't have they're not actually making it. That is a big distinction, isn't it, Zach? Yeah, good point. Mm. Um, just want to shout out Mitchell Lawrence again. Um, we've talked about this before, Zach, so I don't know, Blair de Blair. Really recommend Tulsa King. I keep hearing Stallone's good things about it. Yeah, check it out. It's really good. You know, it's not, I'm not saying it's amazing, but it is good, solid, like entertaining drama with a an aged Stallone who can still, you know, he can still fight, can't he, Zach? Yes, he can. But, Gray, I'm going to time you out here for a second because we have a Mags in the chat who wants to be on the show, and she's been drinking whiskey all night. And you're not I'm, jumping on that immediately. And I know you want to end the show. I'm not but... going to end the show. I'm going to send the link. Can you guys vamp for two ticks? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I am going to be on Salty Nerd podcast tomorrow at noon. Oh, yeah, say that, yeah. About that. That's my first time doing anything with those guys. Um, I've been a, been a member over there for a long time, but uh, going to be on there, with, I think, with um, Odin is going to be there. Yeah, the I saw podcast that thumbnail. I have never worked with any of these guys, so it'll be interesting, and so I'm kind of excited. Different. It's pretty cool. I, I see a lot of their stuff. So when they were doing the Buck Rogers TV show, they would do episodes about it. And my favorite is one though they rip on the space vampire one. <laughs> I've never seen. I've never watched any of that really. Buck Rogers oh, only a, a little bit. So I know great. I should. I'm like a horrible sci-fi fan. Oh, it's it's that. right up our alley then, because Shieldwall makes a good uh, topic about here about. Uh, Cowboy and his girlfriend ever break up. That would torpedo the whole thing. That's right. Yeah. And eventually, like, let's face it, she's probably gonna go crazy at some point. It's, it's yeah. That's a thing. Um, and so he just but Henry Cavill <laughs> is so he's like he is so steady that I think he could ride it out literally, maybe metaphorically also, but I think he could any storm because this is his vision and also i've said it before but i think this is his big his last big shot he's almost he's 40 and or i'm going to be over 40 if he's going to put a few years into this this is his big leading man age and hello mags i'm going to stop talking how are you <laughs> mags how you doing hi it's it's like a 1 30 a.m my time but i'm wide awake <laughs> you have been just firing back the whiskey all night and you're still here Ooh. <laughs> i'm still alive and it's so funny because i'm like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> but i'm still i'm still like that's the thing i i don't i get i get more tired more than anything else most people go like Blah, and i'm like mm. no i'm i can i can tolerate it but anyway um we gotta vamp a little bit more folks so what what were you talking about zach i didn't mean to interrupt you there 
I, I forgot what I was talking about when you showed up. <laughs> We're talking about uh, this is Harry. Doesn't matter. Harry Cavill's last shot at real. Well, you were talking about being on stream with Odin and who else? A uh, podcast guys and Salty Nerd tomorrow at noon. Okay. Yeah, it's noon central, so that'll be interesting. But you, what was your? F I missed the end of your show tonight. So what was your <laughs> what what was your favorite whiskey, and how did it line up with Pips and Drunk Poriel and of course Brumble Bowl? It was actually Angel's Envy. And if you look at the bottle, look at the look at this. It, there's wings in the back of the bottle for angels. Oh wow! You see that? Yeah. See that, the etching right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is that so? It's, what it's, is, a, it's a it's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, and it's finished mm -hmm. in port wine barrels. So that's my favorite. Oh yeah. Out of the six that we did, and then the second favorite was the Red Breast, which is an Irish whiskey. Mm. Go on. And. <laughs> <laughs> and then the I actually um Pips actually converted me to scotch, which I'm not a scotch person at all. So the first one I can't re quite remember. I, I'm gonna have to um you know text him or whatever and just say, hey, can you send me the the name of the the bottle, you know, the, the whiskey that you sent? But it was um it was a scotch whiskey and it was good. It had a very smoky flavor and uh, it was gr good with cigars. So I, I enjoyed that. Um, that. So those were my top three. Um, unfortunately, I did not care for the Canadian blend. I know you didn't. I, I heard that. <laughs> it's, and... it's, it's, it tasted like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and as someone who's never drank rubbing alcohol, what did that taste like? <laughs> I never drank rubbing alcohol <laughs> either, but I know I know the smell up in my nostrils, and it was like, oh my god! As soon as I smelled it, I was like, what in the world am I smelling? It was not good at all. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, Dax, can you give us? So, you were the only Canadian in the chat, and I'm like, mm. Dax, can you please give us something else that's up there because we may not have access to Canadian mm -hmm. whiskey. So please, because <laughs> I don't want to have that again. That was terrible. <laughs> Well, it's like Pip says, it's all like mostly a lot of it is Crown Royal and it's uh, rye whiskey. It's not corn. Why whiskey is it up, Crown up Royal up there? I don't know. But the, the one that the, the most famous one, it's called Northern Harvest. It's actually from the area where I live. <laughs> and that's uh, it won a bunch of awards a few years ago for rye whiskey. So I don't know how that compares with corn whiskey, but like we don't uh, we don't we don't do the corn well, if you come if much. you come to America at all, Zax, a bunch mm -hmm. of us are going to have to. Uh gonna have to give you a, a good show let's just put it that way you're gonna have to teach me a few things about whiskey for sure but i would i'd love to try but here like i've we've talked about before it's really expensive up here to get anything imported um even look because it's canada's right so we have to give blood to get anything shield wall <laughs> shield wall says max you have to chase it with maple syrup uh, that that was that was the problem i needed some maple syrup <laughs> injected i was so disappointed with mm. the whiskey there was no maple syrup at all in the whiskey and i was like because i am i'm um just like pips like i'm very well aware like i've i've tasted whiskeys I've, I've done this sort of stuff before and let me tell you i didn't taste any maple syrup or anything maple in the canadian whiskey and i was so disappointed do you want to hear what I think, Meg? Because I think that Pips, who obviously hates Canadians, <laughs> he he's the whiskey expert who picked the whiskeys. <laughs> really? So is, do you think it's possible he picked the worst possible whiskey he could think of <laughs> to turn you against us? <laughs> I look, I love my Canadian. Friends. I know my Canadian friends. So I mean, it was well, so terrible. And I was like, my 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 when he when he showed me on screen, and I was just like, yes, there was no. There was no maple syrup injected into it. It tasted, it literally was not good. It tasted like um, rubbing alcohol because I could smell it up my nose. It was terrible. I was like, oh my <laughs> God. And then and then later when he revealed it was Canadian whiskey, I was like, oh my God, everybody in this stream is going to hate me because now I've already, I'm, I'm already having this face like, did terrible. you have the bacon, the bacon flavored one? He's no, asked, he didn't have any bacon flavor. Asking. I need some bacon with this whiskey, y'all. I need it's some not bacon Canadian with it. If it was... No bacon and syrup, and I don't know what you're drinking, but Zach, can you recommend, by the way, because um, in in the liquor stores in Japan, where I live, mm. it's a small town. It's very limited, yeah. but there are a few Canadian whiskeys. Can you recommend me a, um, a decent don't get, one? Don't don't get Canadian blends. Blends not, not are expensive. not they're not that great. I'm just saying. Our whiskeys are so good. I drink vodka. So <laughs> that's uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> that, I don't. That tells you something, right? It does. But in the states, <laughs> or when I'm traveling, um, I love a good whiskey, or even like a dark, a dark rum if you're in the in the Caribbean or whatever. Ooh. Really good. But here, it's uh, here. It all tastes like garbage. I don't know if they take like the good quality liquor and they put rubbing alcohol in it before they ship it to Canada. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, it tasted it's... like rubbing alcohol. There was so much, like, I, I could I could feel it up my nose. I was like, oh my God, this is like, you, like you smell, rub, like you put mm -hmm. rubbing alcohol on for whatever reason. It's like, what mm -hmm. the heck is this? It, it's one of those things where like, I've bought the same product <laughs> here. And I've, after I've brought it over the board, I want more of this. So I go and I pay way more for it here. And then I get it, and it tastes like crap. It's not the same thing. It looks the same, but it's it's they've got to add something to it. So, we, yeah, it, they want Mags. To I have a um, sorry. I've got a clip. I've got a clip for Mags. Uh, this is Ooh. a question <sighs> going to you, Mags. Are you ready? Here we go. Uh -huh. Drunk. Drunk. Just bring out the pipe. Cake and fine wine. If you don't leave, we'll call the police. Balls. We want the finest wines available to humanity. We want them here, and we want them now. Miss Blenner has it. Telephone the police. <laughs> Love that clip. <laughs> you're drunk. No. no, you're not drunk, are you at all? You, you. To be fair to Pips, he was only making you have a very small, basically just yeah, tasting he, measures. I said had... British measures, Blazax. Really stingy <laughs> British measures, like this bloody. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you, as a, as as somebody who is a quarter Irish and probably is a is a little bit stronger in her blood on the Irish, this is nothing. Like this is like this does not affect me. Having six of these does not affect me. Like it literally doesn't. So it's really funny. But um, <laughs> those are baby uh, bottles. What is that? Yeah. What is like? What is this? This is Come like. On. This is, this is terrible. This is like literally. So like, if you get like a regular shot glass at a mm -hmm. at a at a at a, um, a bar. Yeah, like this is literally like maybe a shot glass in a little bit, basically. It's nothing. Maybe. Yeah, and I've and I've <laughs> lasted far ramen. longer. <laughs> Are you street ramen <laughs> drunk right now? Shield wall, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> She's you not. Need, you need to drink some water, honey. Shield wall, do you do you want to come on, mate? I'll drop you the link. Yeah, if you, you do. want to come on here? Yeah, I, I'd be lying. Fight. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed that Mags isn't more drunk right now. No, because I can't be. I'm just more. I just for me, I'm just more tired because I've been up since like whatever, and it is like one thirty in the a.m. Mm. for me. Wow. So it's like, you know, I'm I'm a little tired and everything, but it's kind of like this is alcohol does not affect me like this. Mm -mm. I have a high. I have a very high tolerance. That's, That's the a problem. Challenge. <laughs> Did somebody Boy. just die? <laughs> That wasn't me. Oh. That was my house. Somebody dropped something. <laughs> oh, no in. worries, no worries. I thought uh, Max had fallen over. I'm, I'm <laughs> checking Twitter at the moment. I can't find Shield Wolf for some reason. Let me find um, it. Um, I can... Um, hold it on. Fixed your cough, I'm... Mags, too, a little bit. For a while, anyway. Uh, a little yeah. bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me tell you. This cough has just been terrible. I can't stand it. It's just annoying. Um... If I chug 10 of those, I'd probably die. I don't have much of a tolerance, so... Um, Gray, if you want to, um, I can send. I've got the it. Link. I've got it. Thanks. I've got it okay. now. Here we go. Okay. I don't it would be a come funny hour. You're welcome. <laughs> but anyway, so it it was it was really fun. It was really fun to to explore different uh, whiskeys. Um, I actually Pips actually uh, converted me to a Scotch. Mm -hmm. So that was something because I've never been a Scotch fan. I I. I have tried different scotches before, and um, they've—I've never really—they've never really tasted good. They always tasted like trash to me. I don't know how else to des describe them, but he—it's um, really Cuddy hard Stark for me to go ahead. Go ahead, Blair. Yeah, the only scotch I had was Cuddy Stark, and it tasted like Keebler, Keebler Elves fudge or some shit i got sick on it i just never wanted to drink it again oh no so i've been ruined the um... what's up everybody how's it going oh, shield wall. Wall. Hey, shield shield wall. Wall. nice to see you man so blair talking about keebler elves is kind of funny because <laughs> like don't you control them all <laughs> no. come by come by shield i wish uh... yeah so, Megs, your ancestors are rolling over in their graves right now with you loving the scotch. I I wouldn't say I love it. I just enjoy it, Too and late. I could get a bottle of it. It's just, but you know what? I think I probably uh, uh, 
betrayed six. a lot of money. Hey, Six! Hey, yeah. how you doing? I think I just hit puberty there when Six came in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you grabbed your balls or something <laughs> when you said the name. <laughs> six! Yeah. Um, Do you want to come on? Six, you want to come on? Are you okay in the chat? Just let me know. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, it was funny because when uh, we're doing the surprise because doing it with the 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 bottles without any like names and just the na and just the numbers it's it was actually really interesting because i was like wait because i because i know pips had put a scotch in somewhere so i was like is this a scotch because i know he was trying to trick me because i know he knew that i didn't like scotch very much so mm -hmm. it's really funny yeah, I, missed, that. I missed something. Did he mail those to you, or? Yes, he okay. actually has. He actually has my personal um, mailing address. So. Uh, yeah, I remember you saying that. I was like, "Ooh, better be careful there, Max." I know. It's like he's like he, Max was trustful enough for me to actually. Say yeah, I think Pips better be worried about the return address on there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh, 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 caramel corn. Oh, that's good. Okay, no problem, Six. That's good. You're always welcome. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah. So, Shieldwall, while we have you here, and Mags, have you seen Highlander? And if so, what did you think of the movie, even if it was many years ago? Oh, yeah, I saw it when it first came out on too, VHS, yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, everything from the 80s. Uh, prior to about 86 I saw on VHS and it was usually like second generation um yeah what's in the box? sorry just laughing at Dempsey yeah <laughs> what's yeah, in the box Mags but, but it was a it was a good movie um I'm you asked water, before, before about yeah sure <laughs> it's vodka it is sake. water look at that that's sake. water <laughs> yeah exactly so, yeah sake yeah but uh <laughs> you asked before about um like what my your favorite part of the movie was yeah mm -hmm. as a kid i liked the part where the where they uh i think it was his second kill it was like in an alleyway or something like the the guy had the he was like a um a, an old veteran and he had like the mac 10 or yes. whatever oh, and then that yeah, guy got that. yeah that guy got killed and they were doing the investigation and the one guy was reading the paper to the investigator he's like what does the word incompetent mean? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hot dog vendor, yeah. Yeah, and he was, yeah, he was like giving what that guy the business. Baffled. Baffled me, yeah. Exactly. It was another great scene yeah. of many, so, so many good scenes. As a kid, it just, it made, I don't know, I laughed at that. I thought it yeah. was a great movie. Uh, the Kurgan was a real threat. He never stopped being a real threat. He never had mm -hmm. like a change of heart or. Oh, he's reformed now, or any of that kind of crap. Um, the Scott Scottish Highland part was great. Uh, yeah, um, I, honestly, though, I wasn't really a big fan of uh, uh, Sean Connery's character. I mean, he was cool and all, but I don't know. It seemed kind of weird. To oh, me. really? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. Maybe I didn't buy the whole he went to Japan and got a katana <laughs> thing. So that samurai sword was dope, though. Wait, looked at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody wanted one. How many yeah, non ninjas did that spawn? <laughs> <laughs> there were so many good movies in that decade, though, that had that kind of stuff in it. It's insane. Oh, there yeah. were a shit ton of ninja movies back then, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Were you on that stream, Blair? I think um, that seventies did a did one recently mm -hmm. about the the canon the canon movies. It. Yeah, the nineteen eighty oh. ninja boom and the kind like, yeah. kung fu boom. Yeah, man, I, I used to watch those. In, in the UK, of course, on VHS. I wish I was in America because you could get like magazines with ninja stuff in. It's like, oh my god! Oh, they had all ninja magazines, <laughs> all yeah. ninja shit. You could like mail order all that crap. Mm. You know those uh, the boots with the splayed toe, the tabby had, boots, shooting can. Yeah, I oh, had man. throwing stars. Um, <laughs> every every wanted a katana. We thank God we didn't get our hands on one. We probably like, I've, I've thrown open. I've thrown ninja stars. Ooh. <laughs> Really nice. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I have. Yeah, see, yeah. that's what I said in the chat before. I was like, "Where in the hell were were girls like this?" <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> she was cars and collecting uh, you know, Pokemon <laughs> cards and yeah, I have, and stuff. I, have a, I have a Pokemon card collection from like the nineties. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, what? Why is Pikachu so fat? 
Because I drew him. <laughs> Leave him alone, Sheldon. Oh, oh, I can't. Well, wow. I couldn't see it very well. It was, it was like reflecting off the thing. I thought this it was... is my, this is my holographic Charizard from the original set, right there. Yep. You. <laughs> where you're you with the stars. collection? What? Where you're throwing star collection? Nerd, I, I, Max. I, nerd. I, I, I need to get that, but um, actually, it's really, it's really funny because I actually have. Hold on one second. I actually have. There's an actual. There's a certain Pikachu from this collection, from the original uh, uh, game cards collection, where there were two different Pikachus that were uh, printed. One was with rosy cheeks, and one was without rosy cheeks. And the oh. one with rosy cheeks are is far rarer than the one without. And I actually have the Ooh. rarer version. Is I can... that? Could you sell that and buy it? I'm house? not selling that, Zax. Yeah, Don't even sorry. think about it. Yeah, so, so see this chat right here. This is a real nerd because there is no way a fake nerd would talk <laughs> about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Where's Whooper Trooper when we need him? He'd be Hold going on one crazy second. right there. Yeah. It is. There it is. Right. Okay. Uh, let me just make you a solo. Here we go. So yeah. there's the Pikachu. You can't see it very well, but you can see a little bit of pink in the in the um, mm. the cheeks right there. Pink cheeks. Yeah, okay. I like I like pink cheeks. Zach, yep. how about you? <laughs> <laughs> if Whoopa Trooper was here, we'd have to pause it till he finished. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what he no. said. So, <laughs> yes. I mean, yep. But yeah, so I have a yeah I have a lot of holographic cards. I have a lot of no original way. cards from the from the back in the day. Like I have Mew. Um, What's your address again, Max? <laughs> Stop it. I have, Guys. I have, I have Raichu and Dragonite right here that are holographic. Yeah, it's really cool. Keithy Chow saying, nice, Mags, nice. Look at those. Yep. They're awesome. Yep. And guys, while we were talking about, um, where are we? Ninja movies? Just let me drop I'm a sorry. very I didn't quick mean to do clip. Really. That's all right. No. Here we go. Were they flashing the Illuminati sign then, Zax? <laughs> Shokasugi. Like... Is that who that was? Um, yeah, it's selfless, um, shameless plug here. If you, like Zax and Wooper and Dempsey, if you join my channel, you get to use Shokasugi emoji stickers. Just saying, there we go. Let me test that. <laughs> Let me take that for a test drive, Greg. <laughs> Thank go. you so much. Um, do you think I used to love he... those. Um, sorry, go for it. No, 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 go, Greg, go. The Shokasugi movies, he did quite a lot. I'm sure Blair knows, remembers. He was um, mm -hmm. a Japanese, I don't know if he was a big actor. Maybe he looks more like Kabuki, you know, with the whole eyeliner thing going on there. The Kabuki mm -hmm. actor, maybe. But he did a lot of the 80s canon ninja movies. Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, Ninja oh, 3, yeah. Yeah. Pray for yeah. Death. Wow, man. Go for it. Anyway. They're just awesome. Yeah, I used to always rent those because you had ninja action and there was guaranteed to be boobs. 100% <laughs> in any of those yeah. movies. Yeah. So Boobs. it's like a, it's a win-win. You could take that home, you're good. You're good <laughs> yeah. Or something Ninja. with old Adrian Barbeau in it. Yeah. Oh, God. oh, well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Martial arts um, and boobs. Sorry, yeah. Max. Oh, Max, you star. You didn't need to do that. Max. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Okay, I've got to drop another click now. Here we go. This is for Max. <laughs> Early. Thank you so much. Do you guys think that Sean Connery could have played Connor McLeod? Or was if he, he was younger? If he, yeah. Yeah, yeah. if he was younger, he could have definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been awesome, Zach. Yeah. Great suggestion. If he was but, like Dr. No Age or Darby mm. McGill and the Little People, which is great, yes. movie, by the yes. way. <laughs> uh, he could have even been not even that. Like, he. He was yeah he was too old for sure at that point but even if even a little bit older Connery is he's a pretty great Connery and Mags yeah. just wow gifting subs oh, really and, yeah oh my god membership I, I, it's not showing up yet for me let me check <gasps> thank there's, you gifted there, five Wacky Zashi T has memberships there's one more out there so if y'all can hit that allow gifts uh, yes. up there that would be great. Oh my god! Oh uh, yeah, when did you get gift subs? I didn't uh, know I could do that. 
It must have just I, happened because you, you, you can I, only you can only do you can only do that on the computer for whatever reason. I used to be able to oh. do that on mobile a while ago, <clears throat> but you can't do that you, for whatever reason. They took that away, so you can only do that on on um, on, uh, on the wow. computer. And I'm on the computer, so I became a member, and therefore by me personally becoming a member, you can allow you can start doing gift, oh. gift memberships. So if you hit the little dollar sign, you can do it. The, there's three things. There should be sticker. Super chat and gift membership. Yes. I don't know why they're not, they're not showing up on Streamyard. I can't. I can't highlight it. But thanks so much. So nice. I, I, I can, I can, I can um, highlight. It's a Clint, uh, Clinton. It's a trunk. Clinton Mr. House. Clinton, Clinton House. Jake Huston, Angry Canadian, and Probable received Bravo. the gift. Gift subs, and then uh, Shield Wall of Dragons also accepted. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I had to hit the little thing, but this is like the third Oh my one god. You are you're trying to up me, yeah, Mr. I, TT. I, I was gonna I was gonna say that, but thank God Tickle Trunk is here to back me up as a fellow Canadian after what you did and you said <laughs> about our people earlier tonight, Megs. Thank you, Mr. Tickle <laughs> to my rescue. That's all right. He gave her the business in chat already. Thank you, Mr. No! Tickle Trunk. I really appreciate <laughs> it. No, I no, I already explained it to him. I was like, Oh my god, this your your Canadian plan was terrible. <laughs> He doesn't drink anyway, so it doesn't matter. He, he gifted 10 subs, Gray. No, you're joking. No, you're he serious? did. Yes, oh, my God. Did. I'm missing it all. I'm just sending the link to that's, Brahma. That's because, I don't know if Brahma's still up, mate. You're welcome. That's because I told him that I was on with you, Gray, so that he's showing up for me. That's what oh it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true. This yeah. is amazing. I can't believe what's going on, guys. This is unbelievable. What to do, uh, Zach? What do that... we do? How do... Uh, you got to play a lot of clips, a lot of ninjas. Maybe I've done, nice ninja. I've done my ninjas. Let me, let me drop the Highlander one because it's a classic. Who ever gets Gandalf. tired of Clancy? Clancy Gandalf. Brown. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> so good. Mm. I must have missed Max. Oh, Mr. Tickle Truck is calling me a double woman now. Okay, gotcha. All right, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you a personal message here. <laughs> say. So... Did he hear what you said about us earlier in the, in the other show? No. Canadian Whiskey's weak, says angry. No, I didn't. No, look, I defended y'all. I said I love Canadians. Leave me alone, Zach. Stop it. Stop trying to create drama where it doesn't exist. Now you're accusing me of creating drama? Is that because I'm Canadian? You, you would accuse me of that? It just never ends with you. <laughs> Never Good for you, Miss Tickle Drunk. I don't oh. drink. Yeah, well, you're probably the the wisest of all of us, apart from Blair de Blair, who's been very, very. He's not sober that here. wise. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mister Tickle Drunk. Uh, I am now a member. Thank you. Awesome. Use those stickers, guys. Go uh, for it. I've only got four, but I think when I get more than uh, well, more than one member, which I do now, I can make some more. I'll make another four. Thank you. I, I think I was your first member, Gray, wasn't I? You were. You're the That's first what member. She said. Yeah, it, yes, I was his first member. That's the where first I was going, Meg. Jump first and the biggest. Jumped I had to I'm use a biggest. bit of KY jelly, you know what I mean, to uh, oh, accommodate. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, What's happening? <laughs> Stumbles back to bed, <laughs> Mr. Tickle Trent. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, because he's Eastern time zone like me, so, yeah. Well, everyone's a member. Yeah, I know. There's literally like everybody that that's a <laughs> everybody in the chat. Now. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was only that's six amazing. people here, and now there are yeah. nine. Well, that's because oh, they know it? that there's free memberships being. Given. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on down. That's awesome. Oh wait, those are bagels. Ah, oh, damn it. And so to tell you, so look, look, there was there was somebody in chat earlier who was like, "Mags hates Canadians," and I had to correct them, and I say that's misinformation and fake news. Hold on. Fake news. And I'm like, I love my Canadians. Excuse me. It's just their drinking was terrible. I mean, we just want to get drunk and get it over with. So it's okay. Well, why don't I just give you the bottle? Damn it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Plus beers. We do a lot of beers up here. I like beers too. Me too, I can, Zach. I can, I can do a lot of beers myself. Hey, How Zombie Box Reviews in the chat. How you doing? Hail, brother. I think he's from Sc black. Scotland as well. Well, definitely the UK. I think Scotland. So we were talking about Highlander before. I bet he's got a fantastic Scottish accent. Oh, hey, look, there's Ginger Ninja. Oh, oh. angry Canadian. I'm not a Leafs fan. Get out of here with the Leafs. 
<laughs> Ginger's not showing up. I can't find him. The comment's not here on the stream. You have some reason. Or, well, uh, he got gifted a membership, so maybe you can get him and not be online. I don't know. Oh, yeah. If he, uh, yeah. So, so what players. happens is sometimes it could be that you could you could be listening, or you can. You oh, don't he's have here. To, he says you don't hey, have, well. You don't have to be. You have to be listening at all. You could just be. You could have already allowed gifts. Like mm -hmm. you could listen to a stream already and and allowed gifts like during a situation. But then you can be like, because I've I've been gifted membership and I've not been listening to the stream at all. Like any like a certain stream at all. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I was gifted a membership. Okay, you know, it's just it's just a matter of you. The user has already allowed the gifts, but you may not be there when it happens. So. I know that happens on Twitch. <clears throat> I'll log in and to watch something, and I'll have, hey, you've mm -hmm. got, you know, and I'm like, all right, I don't even remember getting a membership to this person. Guys, yeah. we've got a question from Mr. Tickle Trunk. Why is American beer like making love in a canoe? What do you mean by in a canoe? What does that mean? So, what? Zax, what is it? Mm. Zax, you're in the you're the interpreter here. What does he mean by in a canoe? Well, well, it's a bit cramped and a bit and kind of rocky, and there's a good chance you're going to get wet. So. <laughs> Ginger, what are you saying? You want to get rid of my membership? That's terrible. So sad. But the thing is, it's not going to be easy easy to slip in. I mean, sometimes you're going to have a rocky road. <laughs> what, at the first, canoe? Maybe at first, maybe, <laughs> but once the canoe gets rocking, no I mean, but it might be a single canoe. You might not have a two person canoe. So how is that going to be comfortable for that? That's more fun. More fun. You have to get more creative with positions and plus balance, right? Or well, there it is. That I mean, there's 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 a lower lower body balance workout going on. And, and I want to say for the record that sex in the in the lake is overrated. So don't do it. Stay in the canoe. Wait, Zax. Does that mean? Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> How about sex minute. in the sea, Zax? In the wait, sea, in the Japan you, sea. Wait, also overrated. Is, is there a story here? Oh, there's, 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 of course, there's stories, but I can't share them on Gray Stream because this is PG content only. Oh, it's not showing. Sorry, Mr. Tickle, it's not showing on the um, stream yard. <laughs> it's not showing the, uh, the punchline. Hang on a second. I, I had to approve it on YouTube. Here we go. Where are we? Oh, my God. Yeah, so you're saying the lake yeah. is like the champagne room? <laughs> okay, because it's fucking close to water. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for that. You already got it, didn't you? There we go. KC, you got it, mate. You got it. There you go. You had to do it again. You had to do it again. Gotcha. Tickle drink. Uh, he's not wrong, though. There's some There's some pretty crap beers out there. Oh, God, yeah. You guys, yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah. This is a good one. This is um, Japanese Suntory Premium Malts, the Diamond Hop. Listen to that. Diamond Hop. How good does that sound? That actually sounds really cool. <laughs> Nothing like uh, going, going out and having ten pitchers of Centauri malts between <laughs> six people. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. I mean, I I like going out to uh you know um, brew pubs or whatever and just getting pictures of whatever was distilled that day or whatever that distilled, you know, at the the pub itself. So I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> get, get a nice dark, thick stout. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Just let's address this comment from um, Capitano Cavalry Manche. I know. I'm sorry, mate. We we discussed the movie for oh the first God. the first hour. I think it was, wasn't it? The first hour was. We got a, a little distracted. I'm sorry. Highlander, yeah. and then yeah, uh, then Max came on, and uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, never <laughs> it's, heard about it's, it's my it's my fault. No, I'm it's sorry, not. Y I'm so glad fault. you're here. I'm joking. Um, yeah, no, it was Zach. Zach started, isn't he? Zach came on and started like saying the picking on me because I'm Canadian, and that was it. Yeah. There we go. Now we're here. We're the world race platform. I have, to, I, have, I, have to, I have to say this. Uh, Mr. Tickle Trunk is right. The Canadian booze mags tried to use imitation moose. That's why it was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it tasted yeah. like it tasted like literal uh, imitation rubbing, moose. rubbing alcohol. It was so bad. It wasn't good at all. <laughs> It wasn't the good stuff. It wasn't really good. It was Canadian blend, and it, it, poor Pips, he was trying to find, like, a Canadian alcohol, and it just couldn't, he didn't when, have access. Uh, how far into the stream was it that you tried that? It was, it was, okay, it was, one, two, it was um, number three, so it was the third uh, t taste test. 
So a lot. So the taste test was probably like an ounce worth. So it was like in these little bottles. So and then what we did was we did like half of the bottle, and then we put like some we put some water in it. You know, like a drop in water, and then like a little splash of water. So it wasn't like you try to do different tiers of the taste testing, and it was still shit. Well, I mean, you <laughs> poured, like. poured it out into like a, a glass or something, right? Oh yeah, I actually um, yeah. I actually poured it in like an actual whiskey glass. Okay. Yeah. Because I was gonna say maybe he just sent you straight up rubbing alcohol. No, it no <laughs> it smelled it smelled like rubbing alcohol and it tasted like rubbing alcohol it and I hate, it, it was terrible. Let me just put it that way. I love that's why I was like let me clarify. I love my Canadians out there. So please, you know, Zach, do you know of anything that's better than this? I, yeah, the beer. <laughs> Come have some some night like really give me a good stout. That's what I want. Um. I think Ginger Ninja's asking. I, I love a stout. I love a good stout and a nice porter. So, so, as well. so basically, if I give you a Guinness, a Guinness, you'll be fine, right? Oh yeah, I like Guinness. The thing, okay. I went to a port tasting. Gorgeous mags. Gorgeous oh, mags. Uh, okay, you'll forgive him because the gorgeous Magitech mags is here. It says <laughs> Cabideno, Cavalryman, Che. You can't forgive her, Che. She didn't hate you. You talking Dempsey. about Guinness? Sorry, Dempsey, here... check your um, Discord, mate. If you want to pop on, get your Discord. <laughs> so here in Milwaukee, they have a Irish Fest during the summer, mm -hmm. and they're, they're the grounds of the Miller Oscar Mayer thing. And you can't get Guinness there; they won't sell it. It can only have oh, really? beers. Are you serious? Yeah, Irish Fest. There's no Guinness. You think okay. riots would break out every fucking yeah. year? Wait, the, but we have a. Okay, so hold on one second. There's a. In Maryland, there's an I we already have a Guinness Guinness uh, brewery going on in in Maryland. Why can't so there's a distribution company here? They should yeah. be able to get it from America. What? That doesn't make any because sense. Because Miller Brewing owns that area, oh. so they have the contract. So you can only get Miller beers or Coors oh Millers. So yeah, you're going well, that's there. That's gross. It is. It's worth because they so have Jameson. My, at my Irish festival, we, I can get Smithix, Harp, Guinness. Oh yeah, my you can't god! Get any of that you only get American beers. It's like what the fuck? Wait a minute! Wait like a minute, guys! Stop the chart! Stop the chart! <laughs> Ginger Ninja saying, "I don't believe that's the real Magitech Mag. It's got to be a is, deep fake." It is me. Yes, what? it is me. It's her. <laughs> She's here. She's real. <laughs> yeah, but they'll have like a Jameson booth, and they'll have like ice cream Jameson, and you know Jameson and everything else. But all the beer is American beer, Miller beer. Okay, hold on one second. If there's the okay, there's an Irish festival that comes in into my section of the woods. Um, y'all are invited if you really want to know where I live, but I'm not gonna do that on stream. Um good idea. So I'm just gonna say backstage, but at this point, um, if you really Back want door. authentic Irish festival flavor, uh that's where it's at. So that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm more Irish than you. Did you know that, Megs? Wait, you're more than a quarter Irish? I'm half Irish. Then why aren't you drinking Irish whiskey? Because I'm living in Canada. <laughs> we don't well, get then, it. Well then, well, then you need to come to America. <laughs> I do need to come to America. Um, living in America. Yeah, living in America. I'll go, Ooh, I'll Dempsey! Go Dempsey, welcome. Hey, Dempsey, <laughs> hello. It's a member stream out of the blue. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I will do that. I will do a proper one. I've got enough members to do it now. More than more than just Zach. So thank you so much for that. For everyone joining. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I, I kind of bullied Zach into joining. So I was like, Zach, Zach, you know, <clears throat> come on, Zach, you know, I've got memberships. Come on. <clears throat> That's what he said. <laughs> so, yeah. Get on my it's member, he blast. said. I'm like, okay. <laughs> one time. But it was supposed to be a secret. But anyway. But see, oh, so, so, so Zach, the real question is, do you have mm. the Irish last name? Mm, yeah, well, I don't. I actually have the Irish last my name. My mom did. My I mom actually does. have the Irish last name, so there. <laughs> what is it? I'm not going to tell you. No. Not in here. She's, like... she's not that drunk. I know. <laughs> I'm, no, look, I'm not, that, I'm not that stupid. I know how to, I know how to handle my alcohol. <laughs> I know. I don't. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. go ahead. go ahead, Gray. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, take over. This no, stream. let's welcome Dempsey to the stream. Dempsey, just... how are you doing? 
Oh, it's been an amazing day. I've been laughing for so long. Uh, Magitech Mags made my day stupendous. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> that was a great stream, wasn't it? I was watching the first like two hours of it before. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was amazing. Well, and it had a lot of really good discussion, and it yes. had something that I miss so much, which was friends debating about something that they love. It was mm. so cool to hear them talk about Star Wars back and forth and to hear them talk about the different whiskeys that they were drinking and how they all experienced it in a very different way. It was it was just very interesting to watch. It's good content. It was a great idea. So yeah, I agree. cheers to you guys on that one. So drink more whiskey. That's the, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize <laughs> that uh, all the logistics. To, I mean, if he mailed all that stuff. Yeah, it was um it it was a lot. So these are these are actual like I don't know, hold on. Glass um mm -hmm. jars. So um unfortunately one of them um cuz he mailed them out, uh, one of them did not make it to me in one piece. So that was a pain to clean out, I'm not going to lie. Um because I had to figure out if more like in the package, if more in the package was broken so i had to take yeah. out individual glass pieces and make sure that everything was okay that was a little um scary but at least one of them it was just one so and i you know we we worked it out and you know unfortunately we had to reveal one of them so that was yeah. you know unfortunate but at the same time i was like oh and it was at least two that i had tried tonight so angels envy already knew there's another one that i already knew of um have already known red breast and uh oh red breasts <laughs> i like bread breasts <laughs> red breast is really good um and uh really so good. it was really funny how it was one of my top three so it was like oh I, so you, you, you marked that ginger you're wrong it, <laughs> drinking tons of whiskey has never resulted in anything wrong sorry mate i disagree <laughs> i just like i get the crazy um can i say asian eyes or sleepy eyes and i start to go slur my words and i start saying oh you're amazing max blair zach you, you are you are so amazing dempsey you too man oh you're amazing I love you guys i love you guys it's so sad isn't it so sad oh my god mr tickle trunk no no he's no. back who we got to bed <laughs> No, no, no! Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep, keep, keep going, Greg. Greg, it's like that was good. good. True. That was, like true. True. Yeah, that was pretty popular in the chat when you brought that up. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> but okay, so the, the fact that he put this is not that he just mailed them to you. This was a blind taste thing. So he put uh, he he put all those he filled all those bottles himself. I'm assuming he. Yeah. Yeah. Set up, he set up the, the order in which you're supposed to drink them based on something, a system yep. in place with numbers. Right. The, the logistics in this are insane for an online <laughs> taste test. The fact that he planned all this out, I mean, yeah, it's uh, I would, red breasts. I would, I would watch out for him. I don't know. <coughs> he, he does have he goes, my... Go to does, Russia, you can find so, red breasts. So y'all, so y'all, he does have my personal address. So all, mm -hmm. all I'm going to say is, it is not, on, it's not available in the black market. That's all I'm going to say. That you know of. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, that wait a know. minute, what? Yeah, oh, wait, wait, what are you? Are you revealing something? Yeah, no, he's, he's on the dark web right now. Right now, bidding on it. <laughs> guys and guys and girls, let's let's bring Dempsey into the conversation. Dempsey, what, what are your thoughts Dempsey. on um, good whiskey or Scotch, Canadian, Japanese, bourbon? What do you go for? Well, I would say that I've spent a lot of time drinking throughout my life, and I never really cared for the high end of it all. I just wanted to get hammered and have a good time. Yeah. So I, I drink a lot of beer, a lot of uh, mixed drinks, um, a lot of Irish car bombs or things oh, like that. I love um, Irish car bombs. Yeah, I mean, a lot. <laughs> I mean, a lot. I probably should have done a couple that. times. But... <laughs> but... Go for it. Sorry. This is Wicked Sassy just popped in. Go for it. Go ahead, Dempsey. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think Grace getting some bruised boob at home right now. <laughs> uh, I have a couple really nice bottles of alcohol in my house that I keep for special occasions. Um, as you can tell by my name, uh, Drunken Poet, that I am quite versed in almost dying from alcohol poisoning. Um, it happens. Oh <laughs> Very Irish last name. 
Tickle I'm not laughing at that, Dempsey, so I'm laughing at Mr. Tickle Trunk. No. Coincidentally, <laughs> Rosie Nipples is my stage name. Oh my god. I was trying to get through that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm done. <laughs> you guys ever watch the Tri Channel? It's those Irish people who do different Tri things. Oh, right. They try like American Texas. Yeah, they do a lot of uh, alcohol tests. So they did like a high grade alcohol and a low grade alcohol to see which one they liked. Most oh. of them like the cheap booze because it tasted better. <laughs> oh, because because a lot of times the cheap booze, a lot of Irish, especially if you're from Ireland, um, a lot of Irish, um, they live in the countryside or whatever. They grew up with a lot of supposed cheaper beer, uh, cheaper booze. So that's mm. what they. That's you know the, the bottom shelf, is, like here in America, is what they grew up with, and mm -hmm. it's it was part of their diet. So it's kind of mm. like that's what they're familiar with. So anything. Mm that's not that is just doesn't work well with yeah, that. So. You, you, it's hard for, for for you to get somebody to um buy you the good stuff when you're 16 in the parking lot yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right i know yeah. i mean i mean i'm not gonna lie i mean yeah <laughs> my Freud. harder for boys nice oh uh, yeah significantly yeah matter of fact I, I can't even imagine max just had to like hang around and be like hey what's up and you're like here's all the drink you can handle yeah. for free. yes i i, I knew been... i knew all the right people in college let's, let's put it that yeah way. they were called boys <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yep, not a lot of networking necessary i i knew i know i knew how to network then i know how to network now so that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> No, you guys um, are insane with your 21. What's with 21 in the states? You guys, look, what is right? That's Zach, crazy. Zach, look, hold on one second. Hold on one second. It was mm. back in the 80s when they decided to change it into mm -hmm. to, um, 21. Mm. And let me tell you, I don't like that. I don't like that amendment at all, or that bill, or whatever it is. I don't. At this point, I'm tired. So just bear with me, y'all. Mm. It's 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 dumb because let me tell you, our men are drafted. At 18, yeah. and they're now they're not allowed to drink. What the mm -hmm. fuck? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna keep it PG after that. <laughs> yeah, 18. Mess. That's the uh, sorry guys. That's the UK. Well, as far as I know, when I used to live there, that was a UK drinking age was 18, and you used to be able to smoke from 16. Well, How crazy a lot of, is that? That's great, changed now. Great. Changed. A lot of a, a lot of the states here, they there wasn't a universal. There wasn't um a, a national drinking age so a lot some okay. states would be like for instance because i live in virginia it could be like drinking age could be um set, uh, 18 but in west virginia it could be 17 so sometimes people on the edge of the border would go over to west virginia and you know whatever okay. they would drink so but the thing is you know it it's <sighs> The reason why it was it was up to the states is because it should be up to the states. It should be up to local standards. It should be up to mm -hmm. what the local people should be about. The, the states are supposed to be the sovereigns sovereignty of the United <laughs> the United States of America. So and not to go into all the the civics part of it, but Congress back in the eighties decided that it was part of the quote unquote interstate commerce clause yes. that they need to regulate drinking. <clears throat> so then everybody all the states had to be under this age group where it was 21 so now it's kind of like well you know we have to be under this interstate commerce clause so it's 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 dumb me and then and then, and then years later they say well the brain doesn't get developed until 20 age 21 God. that's that's a bullshit that's a bullshit thing to to come out of that if our men if our if our men if our men and well, men and too. women men can go to war at 18 mm -hmm. and get drafted at right. 18 and right. and and smokes a pack of cigarettes at 18 get a loan at 18 can buy buy a car at 18 you know, all this other shit going on at 18 you know what they should be able to drink that's all i'm going to say and they're they, going to uh, need to drink the, they're going to need they it the, uh, if you didn't play lawn we'll uh, withhold we'll um, funds for the interstate from you Yep. Yeah, it was a, it, that's what they, it was. It was basically blackmail. It was it was yeah. blackmailing from Congress. Yep. It was, can I ask, it was, it was sorry, guys. Out. Can I ask? Can I ask Shieldwall about this comment from angry Canadian, good friend who's who's also over here in Japan? It's actually better that eighteen-year-old Marines can't drink legally. Too many incidents in Japan because of that. Well, well that's, but that's in Japan. It, it, yeah. Well, because it, it's changed. Because it used to be that whatever the drinking age of the country you were assigned to, if it was legal off base, then you could do that. Yep. But 
The Marines oh, have okay. to put all these extra rules mm -hmm. on it. It, it. So legally, they can drink, but by orders, like a general order or something, the base commander will say, hey, you can't drink until unless you're this rank. Or you can't stay out past nine o'clock at night unless you're a certain rank because yeah. the young guys will just go ape shit and tear stuff up. And one incident, because it used to be back in like the 70s and 80s, like there was all kinds of crazy stuff happening on every weekend. But now the same stuff that used to happen 20 times on a weekend, if it happens mm -hmm. once, there's protest, it's huge. They want Americans gone. Mm -hmm. So they got to really lock it down because you have one misunderstanding with you know somebody yep and next thing you know they want to kick everybody out so they've gotten they've really clamped down on it hard um yep so yeah but yeah the angry canadians right that's uh it's probably a good thing um you, <laughs> because you know they're they're so hyped up and they're they're in training mm -hmm. when they're over there too most of those bases are specifically for jungle training and so they're not permanently stationed there they're only there for like six months so they got them on a really short leash and, you know, and you let them go out and they get all, you know, tore up and everything. So, so, so basically what you say is, um, the bases should, should, it doesn't matter where they are, um, our men and men and women armed forces should apply to 21 age. It, it's, it's what it does. It, okay. it used to not, but now it does. <clears throat> it so let me be... ask you this though, like, and Greg could probably help me with this. What counts as an incident in Japan? Like you don't take your shoes off when you walk into no, a room. No, no, or no. Like you don't bring a <laughs> to someone's house. Is that an incident? Out. Usually, what it is is it's a it's an accusation of rape. Oh uh, wow! Uh, you, uh, wait, wait, wait! Hold on one second. You say grape. Great, great, great! The fruit. Yes. Yep, like the little round fruits that. Just, just say so. Everybody out there, gray. Grape. It's grape. 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 Grapefruit. That's right. Yeah. Yes. So, but yeah, I'm losing my signal for some reason, but don't worry. The um, yeah, we're still good on the stream. We're still good. We're still good. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you you don't say the actual word. You say something similar. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, good. Good yeah, job. Right. <laughs> Here he did. Thanks, you. I appreciate that you did yeah. as well. Uh, just shout out to Jake. Jake Hudson in the chat. Good to see <laughs> Hudson. Sorry, first time to see you. That's awesome. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. Hello. He's a member as well. Is Hello. that right? No way. That was thanks to. Uh, Mr. Tickle Drunk? Or... Yeah, wow. guys, guys will do all kinds of crazy. They'll steal cars. They'll. What? Uh, the Marines? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you, I remember yeah, really? the Navy getting yeah. drunk and doing dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I you... mean, I, I, I guess I guess I'm a little, I don't know. I, I come from a very Marine based uh, mm. family because I have a grandfather. Well, God rest his soul. Um, who was a Marine, um, and I have a Navy dad, so it's really funny just hearing these types of stories because my dad had worked worked as military oh. police on the Norfolk base. Um, oh God, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, so saw. You, so you know what I'm talking about when I'm <laughs> drunken sailors. <laughs> No, actually, yeah, he'd, so he'd, he'd corral mar drunken Marines. Oh, okay. Canadians, right? Like, like breaking into people's houses, brawling in the streets, uh, fights, yeah, um, stealing stuff, property damage. Uh, in Okinawa, they, down by the seawall, they had these like little, they were like outside booths that that vendors had set up, and they were like had plastic around them so that if it rained a yeah. little bit, you could sit in there and you could eat like your ramen, and someone would sell beer and like chicken on a stick, yakitori, and whatever and some marines got really drunk and like lit that whole thing on fire and it burned that whole row of, of businesses oh shit oh, yeah. no yeah. So, yeah they've done some pretty yeah. fucked up things yeah so it's yeah. it's pretty crazy um so they really had to clamp down on it there uh but uh, you know that being said that place a really good time <laughs> when you go out there. <laughs> back in the day yeah yeah uh, even now, if you behave yourself and just go out there, it, it's still a really good time. So, so okay. Well, I mean, I mean Mar I Marines are Marines are hardcore. They like to party hard and they like to they like to work hard. So, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't exactly making good decisions at eighteen myself, so I don't have a whole lot of room to talk. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right. So, what you guys stories? Yeah. What happens yeah. is you send your 18-year-olds to Canada to, to learn to drink hard for the first few times. 
So if, if you want to trust them with us, I guess that's fine. They'll probably be <laughs> yeah, safe Yeah, but they're here, not drinking probably. the proper alcohol to do that. We got plenty of alcohol. It just doesn't taste good. <laughs> it tastes like rubbing alcohol. And when you're 18... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, especially big, if whatever. it's free. Big, if it's, big, if, it's, can't be choosers. if it's if it's free from women at the bar too. So, <laughs> Max, Max, there's a question for you from Ginger Ninja. Um, he says he's from North Carolina originally. Was your dad ever stationed there? No, I I did answer him in the chat. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, it's it's okay. Great. Um, it. It's a um, no, but he was stationed at Norfolk, uh, Virginia uh, Naval Base, which Norfolk. is the which, which is, Norfolk is no the way. biggest. I think the biggest East Coast naval mm -hmm. base for the United States. I, so. It's a place in England too, UK. That's what we mean. Yeah, like I, I think it's like a joint <laughs> base now too. They Beautiful. They're really big on that where they take these bases that are pretty close together and they just make them into one giant one. Yeah, um, and, and, and you don't say you don't say it like Norfolk. It's Norfolk. Norfolk. Yeah, just that's, get, oh, just, that's the just British you know. pronunciation. It's, it's, yeah, Norfolk. It's Norfolk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like the storms that you get in New England are they're, they're nor'easter, not a yeah. north. Easter, it's a nor'easter. Nor'easter, yes. Yeah. She'll, see, she'll, well, yeah. you, you, you get me. <laughs> so. Yeah. Do, do you know what a bubbler is? A bubbler. Yeah. Yeah. I it's think a, so. It's a water fountain. It's what we call water fountains in Wisconsin. Yeah. Bubblers. Yeah. That oh. somebody was from Vermont or something like that, and used, used that terminology, or they were from well, Massachusetts. My my dad my dad um, was joined the Navy. Um, I, I'm not, I can't quite recall the, the timeline, but he was stationed at Norfolk and then he was also stationed in New Orleans. And one of them, um, he had an, actually a, an apartment in New Orleans where they say New Orleans. It's not um, anything different. Oh, Bravo Bowl! Hey! Hey, hey my favorite Urban. whiskey drinker! You guys are I wish you were so huh? that excited when I came on the stream, Max. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Great no, to see but... you, Brahma. How are you doing? Pretty good. Just got done watching a movie with Mad and Yeti and Little Chad and Ooh. everybody for Mad's channel. So, so what was thought the movie? I'd pop in and say yes. hi. Actually, we uh, I don't know that we even recorded this one, but it was the Art of Self Defense, a Riley Stearns movie. Ooh, it was funny. Ooh, don't know. That sounds like don't a good it. movie. It was. It's a very dry humor, but it was funny. It's got Jesse Eisenberg in it. Oh, is that where he learns karate? I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand Jesse Eisenberg, but he was perfect for this uh, this role. It was like it was written for him, so it was fun. But nice. I've only had one one whiskey tonight, even after watching the whiskey stream. So no way. Well oh played, my god, Bramable, what is wrong with you? Well, I knew I was going to have to watch a movie with Mad, so I didn't drink during the whiskey <laughs> stream, and then, well, then I just Bramable, had one Zazerac. You, you need to you need to catch up with me because I'm okay. I'm okay I'm okay right now. Well, I <laughs> there you go. I pour a lot bigger than you do, so I can catch up pretty quick. Probably. <laughs> Brahma, so angry angry Canadian tonight. in the chat is saying that movie's great. By the way, so I haven't seen it. I'll look it up. Thank you. It was good. It was it was interesting. Um, and there's another movie that he brought out last year that has Karen uh, Gillian from Doctor okay. Who and Jumanji, where she like uh, Karen she's. Gillian. She's uh, she's dying, so they clone her, but then they find out that she's not dying, so then she has mm -hmm. to fight to the death with her clone because you can't have two of them running around. So, yeah. See, my Sorry, points are a little bit bigger Dempsey. than yours. Did I, I cut you off then, Dempsey? Or... Sorry about that. Oh, I was just uh, wondering what his poison was tonight. Yeah, me too. Can you show <laughs> us again, Brahma? Yeah. Let's see a picture. Yeah, um, and make a big screen. This one is Sazerac yeah. Rye. I'm getting oh. down to the end of it. But... I have another, so it's fine. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> yes. oh, I don't know that one at all. See, wow. see, see, Brahma, that one's you're... part of the Buffalo Trace uh, distillery line. It's their rye so, so offering. Bra so Brahma is smart. He has a backup to the front front uh, whiskey. So that way, when he has an open Come bottle, on. he has another bottle ready. Yeah. The ones that I like, I have two or three bottles sitting, waiting to go. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, yeah, sure. Well, the weed laws yeah. down here in America are just like well, I'm in a state where it's against the law. Right across the state line, there's like marijuana dispensaries right there, where it's legal mm. now. You know, in Japan, it's still considered the same as um, kind of say the word on heroin. It's a class A in Japan. Can you believe that? If you get caught with it, oh, you're wow. you're in the newspaper. Yeah, yeah, it's a big <laughs> deal. In Japan. What? 
Yep. It's crazy. That was the, yeah, that was the other thing that guys would like, get popped for was drugs. I don't know where they yeah. were getting them from, but they'd be popping hot for them all over the place. I'm like, what the? They had guys yeah. go AWOL and like hiding on the island and shit right? for like yeah. 12 years until they got popped. Because he <laughs> grows like so a, well yeah. here, um, Shieldwell, doesn't yeah. it? He grows easily here. It's got yeah. this great um, climate for it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I heard from a friend. Well, when uh, <laughs> right after World War II, um, you know, the Americans were administering everything, and uh, they had this problem with in the northern part of the country. There were like all these landslides and stuff. This is on mainland Japan, and somebody was like, "Hey, I've got an idea. This plant will will grow roots really well," and so they imported it from uh, Kentucky, and it was, <laughs> hell. and they they planted tons of this stuff up there. And then they, uh, but then the um, Japanese farmers would call the the MPs mm-hmm. and be like, "Hey, all these American soldiers are out here tearing up my crops," and because <laughs> they weren't using it for, you know, to get high, but the American. <laughs> so, yeah, somebody Jeff asked saying me, same things here. Well, Jeff Pearson, low spec. The kids on the <laughs> Kadena Air Base will be will be growing it in Okinawa. Stayed far away from that stuff there. You yeah. know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, change the subject, but I do realize that this is supposed to be a Highlander scre- uh, stream. <laughs> no, we are talking about Highlander. The first we hour, the first hour was nice. Yeah. Then it's the party yeah. after that. I, I, I realized I was like, because I have YouTube on my um, on another screen over here, and I'm like, wait, this is supposed to be a Highlander stream now. It's worded off that way. Then yeah. it was a flag on Canada stream. Then yeah. Uh... Yep. <laughs> in Canada. So you have terrible course. whiskey up there. I'm just. You guys still okay, Zach? Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Yes. Yes. Looking sleepy. These, yeah, these streams, a- like, they start out with a movie review, and I usually keep it to the first hour or so. How it goes, 45 minutes to an hour, and I think it's great that. And I'll put that in the description later. You know, I'll um, I'll time mark it. So after that, it's just a, a chill out and a, a chat and see what comes up. Yeah. But get, what do you think? Is it not? Is it not a good idea? Should I just keep it to the movie and then stop? Fine, like a separate you want. stream. Gray, Gray, it's your you, channel. You get to yeah. you get to do what you feel like is best for what you think you is good. You can cut it when you re-upload. Leave it up as a live stream yeah. and then cut the Highlander part and make a video out of that. Yeah. Just for that. You, 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 you can even cut it there into little little um like like eight to ten minute clips if people have you know really if good take takes on it. Yeah. 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 And that could be part of your videos. You got you go. Zax's shoulders, you got Blair to Blair's beard, you got mags <laughs> on <laughs> here. Yeah, just have mags. mags. Yeah. Well, <laughs> mags right. smile. Try to make fake, fake shoulders. Here we go. Here we go. No matter who's is, uh, just well, looking see, at see, his I, I like though. I like the fact that I'm positioned on top of Zach's here because Ooh, his shoulders too. lift me up. <laughs> uh, oh, you meant something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, zombie. Appreciate it. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> format. Yeah. Brahma's, Brahma's bar reminds me of like a airman's dorm room. <laughs> 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 or your out, yeah, you know, like your average enlisted guy's room after yep. work would look yeah. just like yeah. that. Yeah, guys, be. I, I once watched a guy drink a, a case of beer, twenty four can of beer, and never get up to pee, and he didn't pee himself either. And <laughs> oh my I god, a twenty four, a, tw- a case of twenty four beer. Yeah, case, he crushed a case of beer. This is over the course of like four hours, I think. Um, I can't even crush a twenty four. I can't even. Oh god. Did yeah, any of you guys ever play the game where you take a hundred shots of beer over time? No, you no, no. A hundred no. shots of beer, surprisingly. Like in a, in a re- legit shot yeah, you just yep that shot glass. Dangerous, and you Just keep counting them. Yeah. I mean, you would think since it's just beer, it's not going to do that much because it's such a small quantity that you feel like you're taking at all times. But then by a hundred, you are gone. So, ba- <laughs> so Brahma, does that? Are you talking it's from true. experience? Yeah, in college. <laughs> yeah. That's what we used to do. We would get cheap beer and well, see, we would do back, shots of beer all night. Yeah. Back in my back in my college <laughs> days, games. it was either beer beer pong, which it was originally in the the the, the red solo cups. It was beer. Now they're mm. doing like water because it's it's gross with the beer pong or the pong itself. Zima. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I I survived I survived all that, y'all, and I sur- I could survive other things in the last couple of years because of. <laughs> Well, the fact they're using my, water for my immune fun. my immune system the is immune a little system. stronger than a lot of other people. I'm pretty sure COVID can't live in my bloodstream, so <laughs> yeah, you just keep the alcohol content high enough. Yeah, that's right. 
Um, but what was it? That and then uh, Irish car bombs were like really popular in college for me. Yep. So it was it was fun competing with the boys. What about they didn't, they didn't last? They didn't last. Yeah, the beer bong. The yes. Beer bong. The double. No, 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 no. I, Irish the, the Irish car bombs. No, so no. I'm a, I'm a few years older than you. When I was in college, it was Jägermeister and Goldschlager were the two big things. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that was because the bombs. Irish car bombs, bombs put a beer yeah. and a whiskey, right? Yeah. No, it's 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 Guinness, it's Guinness with a shot glass of Bailey's and Jameson. Okay, and you have, yeah. you have to drop it in and you have to you have to oh, chug okay. it. Jesus. So it's it's no it's Bailey's. Really, oh, it's a, it's mm. really like chocolate. You're, it's like chocolate milk. Right. So you right. just but yeah. you have to, you have to drink it. You have to kind of like drink it all. So it's like a Jaeger bomb. You're you're bombing yeah. something in there. Yep. Yeah. Except the yeah. except Bailey's will start curdling when it comes in contact with other alcohol. So you mm-hmm. got to drink it fast. And you got to yeah. you got to drop it and you got to do it in such a way that it doesn't like spill over or whatever. So you got to drop right. it and then you just got to chug it and just and you got to drink it in a way where the shot glass doesn't hit your teeth. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, kind of like me, a depth let me, charge. Let me, let me, just, right. let, me yeah. just, let me just say, um, the guys couldn't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and where, Ravenwood. Where, where, <laughs> where I am, the uh, the drink is called the Prairie Fire. Have you guys tried that? Is uh, that got like uh, what is, is that a Canadian water? thing? <laughs> tequila, and, tequila and Tabasco. Um, with a little bit of extra hot sauce, if you were unlucky, that was the yeah. that that was the shot. What yeah. kind of? But that's sauce? not alcohol, though, is it? Whatever they had at the bar. What's that? Oh, okay. It was just a <laughs> shot. Oh yeah, no, he was here. The Poriel. He bas- Nerd Poriel. He's not dead. Drunk Nerd Poriel's Poriel. here. Yeah, that was. A- <laughs> I'm sober. There can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon, down- where have you I'm been? Downing- We've been waiting for you. We've been dying I'm to meet you. The soberness of his statement. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon, just remember. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> so oh, here's the- Roman too. Roman Roman's coming in hot. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Amazing. What's going on? What time is it where you are, Roman? He's still doing it up. Well, it is a Friday. So it's two thirty in the morning for me, folks. Woo. Yes, get it going. Thanks. Oh, so you're Thank you, sexy started. star. You, I can't believe you stayed up so late for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, nerd portal's <laughs> coming in hot. He He's is. coming in with a boom. Oh yeah, see, my eleven eleven wish did come true. Oh wow, who wants to live forever? Who wants to live forever? <laughs> forever. <laughs> Thank you, nerd portal. Two dollars. Oh my god, I got to drop another click now. Let's have a quick look. It has to be something crazy, something bonkers. Where are we? But I was going for a minute. No man's put me down yet. You had any training in the martial arts? Have you had any training in the martial arts? You Bravo. love that movie, Grey, with Neil and I. That's your I love jam. it. I love it to death. I know you guys are sick of the uh, the clips, aren't you? But we have a ninja Grey. joining us. Here we go. A ginger ninja. ninja. Hey. Oh my hey. oh my god. Hey Ginger hey Ginger, this is the first time we see each oh, other in stream. It is. It's, uh, am I here? Am I here? What's going yes, on? Yes, you are. Okay. No, oh, you're hey. over there. Ninja. You're over there. I'm in Japan. What are you doing, man? You're over there. <laughs> I'm over there. there. Over there. <laughs> the Yanks are Hello. coming. The Yanks are coming. coming. <laughs> What's going on? Esperage. What's song when I come out in the ring? <laughs> Don't make me cry, says Roman. Hey. Sorry, Roman. So, hey, Jinja, it's Mags. I know we, we've seen each other in chats before Hello. on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, Great Ginger. to see you here. Lovely to see you. I, 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 I would, uh, I, I think that uh, I'm very, uh, maybe <clears throat> not what you're expecting. Uh, not, not, uh, you, you look a lot better than, you know, the, the chat. Ginger Ninja's actually yeah. uh, Vincent van Gogh's uh, great, 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 great grandson. Uh-huh, That's right. Uh-huh. It's true. Yeah, except he has both his ears. Uh, but, uh, yes, well, and now, <laughs> and now, 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 he's a he's a ginger, so he's very rare. So everybody must protect him. Very. I know. Exactly. Stay away from Disney. Yeah. <laughs> We're being targeted fired. right now. And he's got his own uh, comic book. Yes. 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 Or, or novel, <laughs> graphic novel. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All this and talent. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm quite ready for this uh, to be on so stream jealous. with all this greatness around me. I don't know what's going on. 
I feel like I'm in a good place down here at the bottom. Too much cream. Well, you like it on the Ginger, bottom? Ginger, I was, Ginger, 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 I was wrapping up an hour ago. No, two hours ago was it? I was wrapping this up. Like, okay, guys, like, are you okay? Should we keep going or should we should we wrap, wrap yeah. things up? Well, and like everyone's I'm like, still no, trying to, to stay. I'm still trying to figure out how to get this membership back. It won't let me. I, I just uh, <laughs> the Christmas present I never wanted. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Congratulations, bud. Yes, I still can't believe it, mate. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That was Mr. Tickle Trunk, I think, gifting memberships to... He gifted 10. and I thought I don't think there were 10 people watching. Because <laughs> it's my stream. <laughs> and Mags gave five. Mags, oh, Mags yeah, gave five yeah, as well. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's 15 then. Yeah, Mags. That means 15. That's why. That's why it didn't work out. Oh, uh, what do you got there, Blair? <laughs> Blair, let's put you solo. Here we go. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ginger Ninjas. Nice. Graphic novel. Nice. Nice. Can't wait to start working on something new. It's gonna be fun. Good. Yeah. Did you, did you get all those uh, commissions done? I did. I just said the. Uh, there was one uh, that a friend. It, it was. It was like less of a commission. I did it for like a really cheap price to do practice. Uh, so I sent that off him, to him the other day, and now they're all finished. Like all done and sent off. Um, that was the Spider Gwen one. I never drawn Spider Gwen for for most of the commissions. I never drawn any of the characters before, so every single one of them was like a, you know, a new experience. It was uh, it was really fun. So um, I got a couple more coming up now in March and in May, and then my goal is to get over to Dallas for the Fan Expo uh, if they'll let me. So um, mm. yeah, that's my goal for this year to get over there to do one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He did the coolest drawing of the Dicks Division when he was on uh, <laughs> on one of our streams. Did while Comics we were doing that? the stream, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'd have to ask him. But well, while, I gave it to, oh, while sorry, he was ahead. on stream, he actually drew the whole thing from scratch <laughs> of basically avatars of all of us in the Dicks wow. Division. Wow, Brahma, comic. how many Dicks did awesome. you have to draw awesome. to fit in? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There's they were all very Dicks. small. There's so they the could core the five. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There's some. There's course, some. There's some veritable. There's some veritable shrinkage going on. Yeah. My hands were not. Well, Jed was on the stream, so yeah, there was there was. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of shrinkage. Yeah. So micromanaging there. find Jed on the uh, on the drawing, and until Ginger pointed out where he put him, and it was just like a speck. <laughs> you that's that's you what he had said. To pull it up two hundred fifty-five percent yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It was like I was yeah. in the pool. I was in the pool. It was, it was awesome watching him do it while we were all talking. I mean, he's so, right. Uh, yeah. So uh, he's amazing actually, live drawing. He can he can live draw in the middle of a, a war zone, can't you, Ginger? Ah oh, man, that's what the Tokyo Comic Con was, man. It was like right? a war zone, wasn't it? <laughs> Like, just head down, head down the whole time, head down, and just drawing, drawing, drawing nonstop. It was fun, though. Love it. Just what let me shout out Roman. Roman yeah. the Empire, 499 Super Chat. Man, what a great late night panel. This is like a who's who of some of my favorite humans. Yeah. Love you guys. Keep an eye on Blair the Blair. Wizards. <laughs> Keep an eye on that beard. I think yeah. it's going to start moving here anytime Amazing. soon. Amazing. <laughs> and then he follows it up with this. Dick, 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 dick. That's a lot of dicks. <laughs> yep, that's the dicks division. Uh, I mean, it is dicks. it, it is true. It is the dicks division, so it's my it's my favorite Monday. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but yelling at Parkers is probably my favorite dicks division strain. So it's mine too because I prefer the politics over the uh, entertainment. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. entertainment. Oh, sorry. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Brahma. I agree. I agree. Drama. I agree. Uh, yeah. been going long Mags enough. is part of the Vag Guard. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm the. I'm the Vag Guard of the Dicks Division, y'all. So, I pro I protect my boys. That's right. <laughs> and the Pimp Master Donut Queen. Don't forget. I know. I am the Donut Queen. I pimp it out. Oh man, San Miguel Red Horse. Holy crap, that brings back some memories. <laughs> hey, that's a Filipino beer. Oh, I just saw that comment. Yeah, I was like, wow, look at that. 6.9% Brahma for a beer. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's bad. like getting Perminators from Germany when I was in Italy. They're, you know, they come into resealable bottles and they're like, some of those are 8 or 12%. And the, if you don't know that and you're like, ah, oh, I can drink two of these, no problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a big problem. Yeah. Like one of those is like a six pack. Next next Wait, moment, you're shirtless in a karaoke bar singing <laughs> Queen. We are the champions. I know that, but you're 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 you're, you're twirling your shirt around. 
What yeah, a night yeah. that was, Ginger. You've no, got your joking. tie around your head. It's... <laughs> Ray, oh my God. You weren't shirtless. It was those two snack girls we were with. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Wait. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that's a, but that's a very real thing that could easily happen. <laughs> What's strange is about Jap- Japan, yeah, Japanese yeah. beers. Um, okay, you get some normal strength ones, but a lot of them are strong, and it, I don't yeah. understand that because the, um, it's, it's not a – a racial slur it's a fact the japanese can't handle the alcohol most yep. of them the flush yeah they get yeah. drunk after like a half a beer like my wife my wife's yeah, mother a, a whiff of it their face thing. just turns beet red yeah. Yeah. But yeah they don't have the enzyme to break down alcohol right or something right. that's right, right. They don't, right. yeah they're lacking an enzyme go on zax with that being said <laughs> i've seen some i've seen some uh, japanese guys can really pack it away on top of yes that, yeah you do yeah, get yeah, some yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You, of course there's always um, like you can't even gray. tell they're drunk. Cancel like his. <laughs> <laughs> cancel him. So, <laughs> he didn't even say the. He didn't even say the full name of it. So I mean, <laughs> there was nothing he could be canceled for. <laughs> yeah. Plus, although he he did is, say Asian eyes earlier, so that's a problem. But okay. No. <laughs> there he he went with Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Angry Canadian. We need to have it karaoke gray. Let's do it. If only we could all meet up somewhere and do it, yeah. like, you know, live somewhere, not on exactly. stream. Exactly. Only right. if Mags plays the flute live. Bless you, Zax. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shield wall. <laughs> yeah, I have my flute, actually. Can you yeah. play a flute? Well, yeah, oh, she really? showed it on screen. She showed it on screen. Oh, okay, okay. Eventually, right. she has to play it. Do you I'm know not... any Jethro Tull? <laughs> Yep. On one leg. I haven't, I haven't practiced in a while, so it's no. I'm not going to do that live. <laughs> no. Is it, is it like the the flute playing from Anchorman? Is it anything like that? The jazz flute? <laughs> the no, jazz it's just flute. a normal, <laughs> normal flute. But yeah. No. Now, I, have you seen Anchorman? Uh, okay, you gotta watch Anchorman. Yeah, the, the jazz With Will flute part at the bar where he's okay. <laughs> when, yeah. when she brought it out on on the other stream on the drinking stream, <laughs> and then she. Did the motion? I got a pra- Oh, it was great. It's probably yeah. clipped out there like twenty times. It'll be on. <laughs> well, no. a flute is a lot like a mouth organ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. A lot of fingering involved. Yeah, or... exactly. Yep. And statements about like an open holes. I like an open hole. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, you across holes. the top of it. <laughs> if there's if there's donut holes involved, then yes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, but I um I had I actually uh for real guys this is gonna be <laughs> I actually get serious played, now. <laughs> get serious. <laughs> I actually played my first experience with because typically with a flute um there's different um uh, stages of of uh, terms of expertise with a flute mm-hmm. and this is a this is what they call a closed hole flute so that usually is for is stop, it, stop it stop it is funny. stop it stop it <laughs> stop it. Stop it. All right, right there. Too late. All right, Too late. All right, Canadian. Shush. Not a, it's not a meat flute, but that's okay. But um, they, uh, usually, usually, usually when it's closed holes, it, um, it's kind of for like inter, uh, beginners and interme- intermediate people or whatever. But um, in the 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 parts right here is usually uh-huh. o- is usually open, and that's usually <laughs> yeah. Roman, stop it! Oh my god. Yes. But, but usually that um, usually these these go. parts right here because I have to put like my my uh, my finger right on the whole part of it. That's that's a heck of a lot more challenging because you have you don't want the air to come out of it. So yeah, does it, does it sting whenever you pinch that hole? But what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't hear you, Ginger Ninja. I'm Ginger, sorry. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> oh my God. I'm running away. <laughs> It's hot. It's hot here. Uh, Aren't you going to play it? Sorry. Look great. Look, look, look great. I'm already bringing you P- your PJ up to PG to PG 13 or R. <laughs> if only it's I could go to band camp club. with Mag, says Cabidino. <laughs> yeah. Just one time. Just one time at band camp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just one time I actually, Mag never, I actually never went to band camp. Nope. First time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Roman, no worries, mate, of course. I say we're probably gonna wrap up in twenty, so coming up to three hours. So let me know guys if you want to bounce or should we should we stretch it out for another fifteen minutes? That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get a rib shot. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just got here. I'm fine to go as long as you want. Good. Nice one, Brahma. Let's do this. 
I know, Zach's, Zach's did a 12 hour stream on the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers movie. How did you do that, man? Yeah. It was awesome. It was great. Yeah. We had fun. Lot the key is guests. The key is to have guests. lots of guests come through so that you can like That's what you she know, said. Exactly. As many, <laughs> as many guests as you can fit in inside your show, Megs, is how many you should take. That's hundred percent. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. Well well oh. if you watch if you watch the two towers, the extended version in real time, you basically got a twelve hour stream right there as it is. <laughs> you got you're, you're a quarter way there at least. Megs, you're gonna play the flute or what? You're teasing. I me. know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Your fluties. <laughs> yeah, we're blow, <laughs> blow that hole. Um, no, I need to. The problem is, I need to warm it up because it's a metal instrument. Yeah, so I, I need know. To exactly. Yeah. 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 No. Keep keep rubbing that metal instrument. <laughs> yes. Warm it up. Oh my god! You gotta work it out your hands. I mean, the only thing better than you uh, warming up that metal, the only thing better than you warming up that metal instrument is all the girls sucking on the reeds, trying to get off and wet for the uh, saxophone. No, there's no clarinet. reason here. There's no reason here. Probable. I know. Yeah. Oh. This, is, this is blowing across the hole. Yeah, just blow. Right. Don't, don't blow. Just like yeah, tickles. Just tickles a little. <laughs> Oh, man. Just blow the tab, <laughs> and we've oh, scared God. Gray off of his own stream. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I could, I could, I could push it real good. <laughs> Gray's He's, like, you remember that week I was monetized? That was awesome. yes. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh, speaking of speaking of that, that this upcoming uh, Max. I'm dead, um, y'all. Uh, I can't breathe uh, right now. Stream. Yeah, that's gonna get taken down. I can already tell. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> she's got an upcoming stream that she's doing with Lady B, and oh yeah, um, I think oh, Shelby. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, Shelby uh, loves. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be about the Spice Girls movie and whatever oh, other yeah, shenanigans yeah. they're gonna do, and all right. other other girly shit. And I know, yeah. I know, all you guys are like, oh, girly shit, but I'm like, you're gonna show up in the chat. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There, Max. I that chat's I basically be caught up to where you guys were during uh, your earlier. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna be on the big screen for sure. It's gonna be great, Max. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna be like, Lit -lit -lit. yeah, play your flute. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm not. You, no, I need, more, the, I need I need more practice. I'm. Can you I'm do not the feeding the duck song with that? Oh, feeding no. the ducks. <laughs> Shield wall, stop. <laughs> Wait, you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? It doesn't matter. I'm just I'm just assuming it's sexual. No, it's, it's, a, it's a stream yards music. Yeah. It's called Feeding the Ducks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which, which, is, which, a, is, which is also a <laughs> euphemism for a euphemism for, you know. Like imagine you're feeding some ducks with that motion, you know? Like you're sitting on a bench throwing crumbs out. Okay, okay, shield wall, you can stop while you're still ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think she Gray might be feeding and... the ducks right about now. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> it's actually, a really, it's a really good song. I think he's, he's explaining to Mrs. Wakazashi what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... yeah. oh my god, like, this is yeah, listen. An hour ago, I had control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah then the it happened. It happened. happened. It happened. 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 And then, and then Max shows up and she whips yeah. out her flute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Close hold. Whips out her dude. flute and just starts blowing. That's no fair. She doesn't get canceled if she pulls out her flute. I do mine, and you know what? I'm off of YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah really? Exactly. Then they Come accuse on. you of being a drunk. <laughs> oh my uh, god, that's hilarious. That's so funny. No, um, I just, I just haven't had a lot of practice, um, with the, with it because. It's had actually, I used to play it for many years and then I get, you know, fell out of practice for mm -hmm. uh, many reasons. And I only bought this flute because uh, uh, many years ago I had a situation where I had to leave somebody. Um, so I kind of used this opportunity to decide to buy myself a flute and uh, go back to roots that, um, that were me. So, uh, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get myself back into it. Um, I actually am trying to work on Irish music right as we speak. So, um, trying to get myself back into that. So, there's that. Nice. 
I know that was supposed to be serious, but it it came out to me like I left somebody, then I bought a flute. I definitely <laughs> have been to band camp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on me. <laughs> no, no, no. It 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 was a it was a very. Uh, it I'm just a, teasing. I I know I know I know I know. But this is so. This are you gonna actually play it or not? Come on. Tonight? No, little... I can't play it. No, I'm. Oh, just give it a blow. It'll be fine. <sighs> Well, lucky star on it or something, right? <laughs> what did I miss, guys? What did I miss? <laughs> a lot, a lot. Apparently Nothing you want to know lot. about. <laughs> John B. Mind is here. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Good morning, hey, Jay. Jay. Nice to see you, Jay. Hope you're good. Hope you're ganky. Yes. We are all very ganky Ooh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the craziness. It says angry. Yeah, you're right there. Oh, oh man, gosh. this has been awesome. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she got to go to the Games Workshop headquarters. Mm -hmm. Tootle around in there, yeah. Amazing oh, photos yeah. is what yep. she, she's been posting. Incredible stuff. Dude. She must Jealous. have like a professional photographer just follow her around. She mm -hmm. did, yeah. <laughs> all her video, all her pictures are like, you know, got yeah. that glow to it and perfectly yep. set. And Who's this? Jay the... Jay, Jay, Jay the Deep Minded. minded. Yep. Yep. Yes. Bottle kill. Oh, there you go. There you go. Some head soldier. Had some Jay killer takes in the Discord too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's great. She on YouTube. She's um she's setting up a Substack. She's going to be publishing stuff on there. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's on Twitter. She's talking about it. Mm. Does she have a what's her Twitter Twitter handle? Twitter handle. I I think it's still mm -hmm. Jay the Deep Minded. It's Jay the Deep Minded. Yeah. Yep. I think so. yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, I found it. Oh, I, I we follow each other. There we go. There you go. There you go. Amazing, amazing photos, as you say. Great photos. Beautiful landscape yeah. shots. Uh, Iceland, yeah. the UK. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, she's she's always Ooh, kicking okay. in Iceland with her husband. That oh, she's picture, the one that though. put up the the Warhammer pictures. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That All castle. Right, yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she ain't messing around with that. <laughs> Roman is ganky, not ganky. There's no ganky. I'm just saying. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sounds yeah. dirty. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So what is so what is everybody working on? Um, Blair this... to Blair, what are you working oh, on? Sorry. No, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, sorry. I'm going to be on <laughs> with uh, Jacob Ironside on the 17th with Roman. We're going to be talking about Star Trek Six. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could be on there, but I have an appointment that night. But uh, I will be oh. on with I will be on with Jacob uh, talking about Twelve Angry Men with Pops and Cannoli yes. Sasquatch. So that will be oh, fun. Because cool. I love I know I love classic films. So that's one. Oh, of, yeah, it's yeah. yes. a good one. So what, what about you, Dempsey? You uh, you are a music man. Oh, I actually have a couple irons in the fire currently. Um, I'm going to be doing a show about video game music with Angry Canadian. And um, nice. working on a couple things behind the scenes with uh, the White Cloaks and Nerd Porial. And uh, I've got some of my own stuff coming out. And I will be starting a show soon. But there's no uh, announced time on that yet. I'm going to have to upgrade some of my hardware first. But Is it going to include the music from Rygar for the NES? Probably. Oh, I love that. At some point, yes. yes. And Fax Anadu. Yes. They oh, have man. to be there. You're Yep, that's right up my alley. I'm telling you, I'm the old school NES guy. That was my Rygar my had one of the mm. best eight bit nice. soundtracks yes, ever. Yes, yes. Da -da -da -da. Um, in the Castlevania. I'm still yep. a big proponent yeah. of Castlevania. Dun, yep. da -da, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Rygar. Thanks, Zach. Thanks for that. Yeah. Zach has shared out Jay's Substack. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, check it out. Her stuff too. I found on Twitter. Just like, I mean, it's the deep minded so it is what it is exactly what she says she is she has some just amazing thoughts that she puts on onto twitter and twitter is such a heaping trash fire that when you find somebody who's putting quality quality thoughts and, and thoughtful photos and comments out there um you have to give her a follow for sure so it's actually yeah. deep minded it's not like jack handy deep thoughts <laughs> no. no, although I do appreciate that. So, yeah. Yeah. hey, you don't, Zach. So you don't like any of the thoughts that I put out there? Gee, thanks. Uh, no. Thanks. <laughs> you don't get to do that because this is you were attacking Can Canadians earlier, and I'm not going to let you. Flip I that. wasn't connect. I wasn't. 
wasn't attacking y'all. Jeez Louise. Stop being so just damn your, sensitive. Just there. your nasty blended whiskeys. I know. Like, <laughs> well, uh, probably you can back me up. Aren't they being nasty and sensitive up there? I mean, seriously. Actually, I, I drink Crown for probably a decade before I discovered actual good whiskey. <laughs> and then made the switch. But yeah, <laughs> Crown was my drink for a very, very long time. Crown, Crown was on not the rocks, my drink for a long non-stop. time. Y'all, y'all are weird. Stop. <laughs> Try some Crown. Maybe you like it. It's rye. It's not corn. If you want, well, I'll ask a guy who put some corn in it for you. Try the try the higher end crowns. Hmm. They've got a little bit more flavor. They're not as plain as just Crown. There's special or is it special reserve? And there's a Queen Select or something like that. There's a few of them. But it comes in a velvet bag. What's classier yeah. than, com- than whiskey that comes in a velvet bag that you can then use for dice? Exactly. That's what the entire yeah, yeah, country yeah. does. That's where we put our dice. Yep. I want to see the Max, Max flute attack. Or weed? Special attack with a flute. Yes. Boom! Wait, wait, I, got, I have it with the case. You goddamn Canadians. Oh, goddamn Canadians. <laughs> you northerners. Oh, my God. Here you go, Zach. I'm a northerner, oh. too, Zach. Oh, Thank God. Hey, oh, God. Hey, oh. I've got a couple of crown bags. Wow. The whole bag collection them. there, buddy. You're a millionaire. So, <laughs> Sorry, bro. So, uh, are you going to put anything special in those, Brahma? <laughs> no, they just stay in a drawer. I put golf <laughs> balls in them for golf season and uh, attach them to my golf bag. <laughs> yes. and swap yeah, them Jay, out. Jay is correct on that. She, if, you, if she wants deep thoughts on dirt. <laughs> Donuts. Oh. Six comes out of nowhere and attacks me. What's that? My velvet bag got crunchy way too soon. Oh. <laughs> oh. Stands up like a sock. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Wow. I've been trying to show Six my velvet bag for years, and she just doesn't want to see it. And and you know what? It just got it just got too soaked. It lost its a lost its a velvetiness. I thought you promised that one to me, Zax. (laughs) Oh well, great. Well, you all get a turn. Don't worry. I think the word you're looking for is he last. I knew that because I came on the stream. I just say, Ginger, aren't you glad you came on the stream? Yeah, I can. I gotta turn it to uh, Zax's sax now. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> bucket list is finished. There it is. Brahma uses the Crown Royal bags to collect bull's milk. There we go, Brahma. Yep. What, if, what about what about what about blue alien milk? Seven hundred fifty milliliters per bag. What, if, what about what about blue alien milk? <laughs> blue alien. Not the blue alien titty uh, milk. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I can do that too, Zax. Got to give it to him raw, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give, give, give me the meat. Give, give me, roll. give it to me, Rolf. Yeah, those... Oh, um, your your bar, your barmy is leaving. So good night. Okay. Oh, good night, yeah. good good night, night. mate. Good Thanks night. for watching. Thanks good for dropping man. in, and thank you for good the night. super chats and membership. I'd leave it there, chief. Yep. Look at that Max is smashed, and she's still better at reading the chat than all of us. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Max. I've been drinking like my pro. water. I'm not smashed. I'm I'm perfectly capable. Shield wall. You don't know yeah. me. That's the trick. Keep water. I'm trying to catch you up with uh, Mags and Brahma. I'm on the. Uh, what is it now? <sighs> I've forgotten the word. See, Bra- buff- Brahma understands me. I talked to him about whiskey, and he's like, you know, he and I are understanding of each other with this stuff. <laughs> Y'all are amateurs. Drinking. If you're drinking fifty percent alcohol, you better have some water mixed in. If yeah. you're gonna be on a stream, <laughs> come for Highlander, stay for Max's flute. Says <laughs> oh, we'll circle back to Highlander. <laughs> That's, we, we need to, are we coming in the back door, Brahma? Uh, no, I've, I've got something ready for Highlander <laughs> for the end. Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> back door, man. Oh, um, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind me asking, uh, uh, Gray, oh, Shieldwall, Zax, do you have anything going on uh, that you're working on? Zax, Shieldwall, go for it. Oh, I'm working on why YouTube is taking away, cut off my comments on one of my videos. That's kind of annoying. I don't know what that. Yeah, about. guys, did you see that? Super YouTube weird. automatically, I guess, um, mm-hmm. disabled comments on Zax's latest video. I was asking, like, you know, what happened with that? He was like, it wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Not me. It's Definitely someone- not me. At Which video? Drink Canadian whiskey is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just I mean, Megan review. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Did it get copyright struck or something? Nothing or? like that. No. No. Like why is you didn't it even show clips from it? Did you? You you went showing clips from the actual movie? 
Oh, I'm not monetized because they keep saying that I have reused content, even though I don't anymore. But they don't. Too much amaranth. They, they don't check. <laughs> it's gone. It's all gone. Everything like that's off my channel. It's yeah, all it's, gone. It's, but, uh, even Gina Carano's axe. He took it all everything. off. I was gutted, but you know he did everything like they said, and he's still he still not well, being they don't monetized. Check. They don't actually look. So no, you got to like, get a woman to review it. They come back in like hours and say. Uh, sorry, reuse content. There's no way you could have actually reviewed anything. And I did a video appeal, and it has no views on it. And they said, "Sorry, we d we you didn't give us enough info in your video, but you didn't watch the video. Didn't even so... watch it. No. It's yeah, terrible. I remember you saying something about that, mm -hmm. and it was just it's terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, because yeah, it is what it is. I guess. Yeah. Take care, um, somebody like the quartering or somebody like that who has a a contact to. Mm -hmm. mentioned it right. the somebody person. who's got a partner yeah, yeah. Blair that's a good yeah. idea Blair if he gets you know I mean Zach you know, come on you know a lot of bigger channels now get, get people to shout it out uh, I'll shout yeah. you out <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might do a Twitter thing at some point again um, it got them to answer me at oh. least but they you know yeah <clears throat> who am I it was just a what do you call it it was an automatic or automated answer wasn't it it didn't really mean anything oh, okay oh, bye Ginger. Ginger. Oh, Ginger. Ginger. Oh. Ginger. I thought did he was he leaving for real? I think he's he's left with Angry Canadian. They're off together to a cook oh. dinner for their wives. Oh. Go Ginger, go Ginger. Oh. Go. I think Good Ginger's there. No, that was a mistake. He's coming back. I think. Okay, okay. Because yeah. I was like, what the freak? Okay. Okay. Walden, do you have anything coming up? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't have a channel or anything. I just. I bum around on other people's streams like this. If they, if they yeah, but Shield Wall, shout out. Sherry. Good stream. Good stream that you Sherry. go on. Go for it. Hi, Sherry. Oh. uh... Yeah. Well, I, I stream <laughs> sometimes uh, with uh, Roman and Blair on Thursdays. Wait, why did you make me all big? That's what anyway, he said. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he got uh, excited, ooh, mate. Thursdays, excited. Um, and it's a good time. He's been drinking uh, that uh, Canadian whiskey. <laughs> but it's a really good time. Uh, I like coming on the streams. Uh, I like um, sometimes I'll, I'll stream with the Flaccids. Like, they've. They've had me on one or two times. Oh, yeah. Oh, great fun. Great, time great fun. And, of yeah, course, they're, uh, they're good, good, good guys. guys. I think this is the second or third one. I can't keep track of them all just because it's so exciting when it happens and I forget. But I was I was on a stream with Zach's and it changed my life. So, <laughs> 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 yeah. So, wow. um, yeah. no, it's great. It's great to, to be on these streams and. Like, cause you know, I like lighten it up in the chat and stuff, but sometimes it's easier to just do it here and yeah, um, yeah. you know, with the voice and whatever. So I don't have to misspell stuff and take an hour to type it out, but it's great. <laughs> um, I met a lot of great people and this all started before the pandemic. I, I didn't make comment on much. I, I didn't have like social media at all. And then you're locked inside for a year and a half. And then mm -hmm. next thing you know, you're slowly kind of, yeah. mm -hmm you know work your way into it and next thing you know you're on you're on streams with all kinds of cool people and talking about stuff and, and... <laughs> you know you. It, it's 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 so it's so funny that you say that shield wall because that's kind of how, how it happened with me like i discovered a lot of y'all through you know discovering or uh leaving uh was it? it was after the last jedi and mm -hmm. then then if that was 2019 and then it was 2020 and then it, you know everything happened then but it's kind of like i just started discovering stuff and then you know things opened up for me and just it's amazing because i've been on you know i didn't start commenting until like a year after that after 2020 and then it was just yeah from there it's just yeah yeah i mean i didn't even have an account to log into so i was just like watching it on my xbox so i couldn't even comment if i wanted to and then wow. right Right. Yeah, and then eventually I got it, and then I was like, "All right, I'll start making comments," and I started watching people. And but I've been watching like Nerdrotic and Geeks and Gamers since 2018, maybe something yeah. like that. You know, yeah. just not commenting. But I, I, but that one movie is the I think is the break point for all of this because everything was just kind of okay, and then that TLJ. happened. Yeah, TLJ, yeah, TLJ, titty milk thing, and you know, and it just so people got pissed about it and they started going online and, and like this whole community coalesced around that that movie and how shit it was yeah and then and then they opened up uh the star wars land or whatever at disney so i started watching a lot of Whoa. content creators because i wanted to find out about that like hey it looks cool what's it gonna be like and then you're like wait this is it you know mm -hmm. and, and yep. they they do 
Chewbacca dirty in every movie he's in now. Um, <laughs> yeah, good you know, point. Yeah, they like. Yeah, Leia like just Ray. walked right past him. Yeah. Poor Chewie. Yeah. Poor Chewie. Yeah. And then and then he's been on the on the Millennium Falcon how many years? And mm-hmm. Han Han gave it up or whatever it was, and now he's a deadbeat dad. But anyway, so they they get back, and the first thing that Ray wants to do is jump in the in the left seat. Now, hell no, get the hell out of there. That's Chewie's yep. seat. He's the captain now. <laughs> yeah, at least the yeah. EU, at least the EU had a moon crush him. I mean, yeah, that was a worthy way to go out at least. It, it just it was yeah, it's, it's just been yeah. horrible trash after horrible trash, and then, but look at how big people's channels have grown. Mm-hmm. Um, look at all the the content that's out there to be made by mm-hmm. people, and it's all because Hollywood is just effing up one after the other after the other mm-hmm. i mean if i was in charge of those guys they'd all be fired to the last person like get yep. the fuck out it, we need a shit. we need a perch a lot of times <laughs> yeah, it just, so it, it's it's Sorry, been a long okay. time since you know somebody's been able, I, I bet they never done that <laughs> but in the military if you mess up like that people will kick your door and literally flip your desk and be like get the hell out of here yep well, no, back it, in the old yep. days anyway now they won't but yeah. you can't hurt your feelings now now, right. you, now, yeah. now you have, we have to accept all pronouns. Yeah. Yeah. Have to? Yeah. Good luck with that. I accept <laughs> beep, bop, and boop. That's about it. Beep, bop, and boop is fine. Wait, look, Brahma, I don't like it either, but that's what it is. Our military. Yay! Yeah. Like, in, when I, like when I came in, I mean, Blair will back me up on this. If you messed up the hospital corners or the corners on your bed, they would they would tornado that <laughs> thing into the, into the stratosphere. Yes. Like, it yes. would literally hit the ceiling. That's how high they would throw it, and the, the bed shit everywhere. And then you had about five minutes to clean it up and make your bed perfect again. Yep. Oh my now a days they don't even do that stuff. It's just like, oh, <clears throat> don't hurt their feelings. And I get it. Sometimes God. that type of training might not be effective for people, but do you guys really train in high heel shoes now? Is that a real thing or was that fake? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that, what that was was an ROTC unit, which means that they were. They're Black not even thing. really military people, right? And they're in college, and they're they're trying to like tow that whole college line thing so they didn't move them out of there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I would have told them hell no. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? But the, yeah. people are different now, and there's that power dynamic when you're a young person in in school. You're afraid that your future is going to be gone if if you know you mess up, so you you just tow the line. Shield wall. Romans say, "Nice thing about being retired, I don't have to accept this shite anymore." Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, towards the end, though, I think Roman will back me up on this. Towards the end, both him and me were in positions <coughs> to where we could put a kibosh on this shit. Like they came into my office and talked about that kind of stuff right before I retired. I'm telling them to get the hell out of there. <laughs> we're not doing it <laughs> unless uh, you know what I mean. Like if like this bottom swell stuff where the young kids want to do stuff. Like, nah, that ain't happening. You know. Well, thank you for your service. Yeah, oh, yeah. no problem. It yeah, Shield, Shieldwall and Roman are both. Yeah, they're uh, and Blair, thank Blair you. to Blair. Yeah, Blair. Yeah. yeah, I saw those pictures yep. back when he was all young. He was killing it. Probably, yeah, he probably had women all over. Thank you for well, your service. Here is regulation shit, now. Speaking of service, here we go. Check this out. Are you an assassin? I'm a soldier. You're an errand boy. <laughs> I'm a soldier. I love that. I love that fucking yeah, line. Boy, so good. But, uh, yeah. Ginger, what are you doing? Trying to return my membership and they charged me 200 yen for it. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's, that's what you get. That's what you get. Motherfuckers. Six is saying, I thought you were wrapping up. I thought we were two six, yeah. but it's still no. going in there. We're going raw six. We're going raw. No yeah, wrapping exactly. up this thing. If you want the link, the uh, let Give me, me know. Me uh, so Ginger, what what's uh, a, what the what are you working on there, dude? You you've had a yes. comic come out. Ginger, and everything. Uh, what are you what? working on? Oh jeez, it's been like one thing after another. Uh, right now, I'm actually working with a couple of people on the Twitch chat. Uh, we are doing. Oh. Um, uh, sorry, it's called respect. Uh, uh, sorry, respect for Tolkien. Uh, we're doing like this hashtag thing. We're trying to get that to go, you know, viral. Uh, so I'm doing a bunch of illustrations for that. Um, Lord of the Rings related. So this is one of. Oh, uh, that looks gorgeous! Oh, wow. Yeah, can I, that one today can I buy that? You you can yes. They're going to be up for purchase. Uh, this is another one <gasps> of them in the great halls. 
Oh, that's beautiful. And these are all these are these two are acrylic ink, and then I did a watercolor one last night of of Gandalf against the Balrog. I, oh, that looks gorgeous. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these, probably about another five, six more. Um, and then we're going to be putting up these, posting these, like maybe two or three a week. Okay. And then, you know, on the 21st, try to make it all go viral, you know, have some fun. Fight, you know, fight with the talents that we got. You know what I mean? Six says she'll take the link and uh, probably extend this another 40 minutes. I sent her one already. <laughs> I guess great. Whether or not great money, six is coming. <laughs> six is coming. Oh my so, yeah, God, yeah, go for it. Did you do it, Zach? Said. Thank you. I did, it's yes, good. It's one. good. Um, what time is it now? I've got I've got another uh, 30 minutes before Mrs. W finishes teaching. So, yeah, that's great. We've got another 30 minutes. Oh, You're welcome to come I on. thought we were at minus eight minutes. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best but laid plans of mice and men. 12 hours. Yep. Right. But that, but that's that, those are beautiful oh, uh, uh, pieces of artwork, Ginger. And then, yeah, yeah. I, really good. I, yeah. I want it. So, are they They're are they going to be like bids? Or are they going to be like a what? Are, what? Are, what? You know, are you going to have like several? Like, if you're going to sell them and then you're going to ship them out, or like how how is this going to work? Oh well, just like this is the first time I've talked about uh, <laughs> selling them, but uh, I I would like what I do for these size. I've got like a set price for them, okay. um, but I don't know how I'm going to go about doing it. If there's going to be some kind of campaign with it, if or but mm. uh, basically it's kind of like first come first serve, I guess. So I, what I usually do is whenever I put them, whenever I put them up on Instagram or Facebook, I'll put them with a price with it, and I tell people to contact me via via DM or what have you, and then, you know, this one itself, this probably goes for like about I don't know how much one this goes for, it's probably about about a hundred and fifty two hundred dollar range, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And then Mags will offer a used flute. <laughs> oh, oh, stop yeah. it! Just, just don't. No, I'm not a band, say it. a band. <laughs> the same, don't clean it. <laughs> <laughs> use flute, really? How about a little blow like, as well? You can buy them the in the vending machines here in Japan. Like the oh my God, God, you guys! Oh my! Speaking uh, of that, we get sex bots in the look, chat. Sex bots just come right. I already them got them who's, who's summoning these up? I oh summoned them God, and Ginger I shot them down. Oh, <laughs> Rama ball oh man, and Ginger pretty red. <laughs> Like those red breasts. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> rosy nipples. <laughs> ah, oh, rosy gosh. Nipples. No, but, uh, yeah, so, but seriously, though, like, if, if people want to purchase them, they just contact me, DM, and then I'll, uh, yeah, and then I'll send them out from my way. Um, shipping not included, sorry. But uh, mm. shipping is actually not too bad from here. Anywhere from, I just shipped to the States a, a pretty big parcel, and it only cost about uh, thirty dollars to send, so it wasn't too bad. But um, you know, if you're interested, just drop me a line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long answer to a short question. Artists <laughs> hate talking about money. I hate. I like. It's so mm. difficult to talk about money with your work because they're like little children, and there's no really. They don't really. It's like putting a price on them. It's like, it's completely abstract, and you just want them, everybody to have them, but at the same time, you want to. It's it's a weird thing. So. Yeah, but I've, I've got like a yeah. I should put your price list up on Ginger on your Twitter Twitter thing, like you know your commission yeah. list, or do you not fancy yeah. doing that? Yeah. Well, uh, I guess. Uh, well, the problem is like, you know, I, I guess it would have to be by top image. I don't know if you could do that or not. Just pin it. Yeah, like, pin it to the. Just start. But I don't know how that works with. Yeah. Time spent. Put a dollar oh. amount on it. Say this yeah, took I, two I and a half hours. It costs size this. wise, you know, little. Well, this, 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 this. That's the problem, though, like uh, with, with mm. time. Because sometimes you can just like 30 minutes come out with a piece that people, that looks just like amazing. Or you could spend like five days and it's like the okay, same thing. Pretend so you're a mechanic yeah. and say it took two and a half hours. Then. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. Yeah. So, hey, I, I'm round up. Hey, what's up, Six? So it's it's kind of like... Hi, Six. Hi. I see my entourage led the way in here. Uh, the bots. Oh, yep. oh, yes, they did. Oh, yep. Yeah, I had to nuke him. Sorry. They heralded her. her Why did you move me so far away? Bit devoted. Bread to die. Hey. Uh, uh, Zach, I have control. So thanks for inviting me. And just as you're wrapping up, story of my YouTube career. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Goodbye. Hey, We're going on there you go, Zach. Shut sandwich. Down. Sandwich for Zach's. <laughs> sandwich. Hey. Whoop, whoop. That's better. Dioteni hana. Dioteni hana. Do you know that expression? Uh, 
Oh my god, Roman and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Basically, and uh, that's how it goes too. <laughs> Seven thousand. You can add another like zero to that. It would, it would probably. Zero. Yeah, Roman. you just gotta play it on screen Roman, first. Roman, you are married. Leave it alone. <laughs> Where are you gonna stick in that flute, Max? <laughs> I'm not sticking it anywhere. Where has it? <laughs> it? She's a flute Six, six. six how are you? Great to see you. Thanks for dropping in. I really appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you. Are you good? Are you Genki? Uh, Genki. Yeah, are you well? Are you fine? Is that what Genki means? Yeah. Have you actually told them what Genki okay. means? The real Americans, no. what does Genki mean to you? Oh, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure six is fine. <laughs> are you raggy? <laughs> so fine. Yeah. Genki, Genki to me means when, like, if you put a puzzle piece in and it doesn't quite fit. Like Genki. Like Genki. Yeah, Genki. 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 Is Genki? Genki. Oh. Genki sounds a little bit racist, though. If you see it, yeah. It's the way the Jap- Japanese ask, Genki. how are you? Genki does oh, yeah. go. Yeah, I'm good. I guess yeah. I'm Genki, then. I'm good. If you say Genk to me, that, that kind of means like League of Legends. Like you got jumped by three other players. And- yeah, <laughs> steal, a, steal oh, a kill. Wow. Yep. <laughs> uh, Sherry says energy. It can mean that too. Full of energy, full of um, power, full of the the chi, the energy chi. So it's I like, how are you? Them. Are you energetic today? Are you feeling sexual? Are you feeling good? <laughs> are you feeling <laughs> horny? Wait, wait. You're gonna make you horny, baby. Horny, baby. Yeah. 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 I, I, I may be a little bit drunk just saying that. Do, do, you, do, you, do you want me to whip out my flute? Oh. <laughs> oh there you go. <laughs> I've got a clarinet I could whip out. Zombie box, oh, thanks, mate. Zombie, take it go. easy. Oh, six, that's one of them. We should do a duet. Ah, yeah. and I that's one of them. You have to soak together. the reed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would make bank flags. <laughs> nice, Brahma. I thought I was coming onto a stream where it was all going to be like, hey, well, let's talk intellectual about Highlander and movies oh. and everything. And <laughs> yes. It, oh, that ship sailed long ago, my friend. Have you guys about Highlander? Every time I've, I've jumped in and been able to listen, I haven't heard one word about Highlander. We are all yeah. well, well past our teens, but we act. 13 at best. Yeah. I mean, We're like that's, gremlins. That's, that's, that's the sun typical. goes down. Yeah. Our maturity yeah. level yeah. goes uh, Some, back. You don't, you some, don't give us food or night. water. You give us yeah. a little bit of alcohol. Yeah, and, uh, alcohol. Yeah, somebody we just go for the next three hours. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest wind instrument stream ever, says Roman. You're right there, yeah. there's, there's a lot of blowing going on. <laughs> or is it the best? And sucking. It might be the best. Oh, yeah. dream. Wait till I pull out my baritone sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what to say. Just let me check. Um, Monetization is still on. No way. Not that it makes anything <laughs> difference to me. I make a, I make one cent or two cents for every video. There you go. Just let you know. I bet the age restrictions <laughs> on though. <laughs> two cents more than I make. <laughs> I mean, when I brought right. out my my flute, I'm sure their age restriction came. <laughs> Well, well, you, you don't were rubbing it like this. Keys, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. 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 Yeah, this I mean, isn't are they going to blow it or you're not? <laughs> Should yeah, it's, that time, Zach, it's that time Zach, of the night, guys Zach, and girls. Zach, is, this, is this your dream? <laughs> like, it could well, be. No, this, this is Zach's dream. Zach's dream. Oh, <laughs> finished too soon, yeah. Zach. He finished too soon again. Come on. Oh, dear. Uh, too oh, soon for you. Is that why her boat was shaking? <laughs> yeah, there, but there's no way this is going to get age restricted. You just got to market educational. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Well, my like channel's set for, for um, what do you call it? Not for kids, anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. But that, that's different, right isn't it, then? to <laughs> age restriction, I think. Is that right? Is, is it a different level? Yeah. I don't really know very much about yeah. YouTube. I think you have to verify that you're 18, which when you say verify, you just click yes, I'm 18. Okay. I mean, yeah. you can do you can do that. doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like the porn sites. Yep, I'm 18. Yeah, exactly. Or like you, you go you go to like a like a like a like a like a like a, like a brewery or something like that. Like, are you 18? Like, I can just put in a, a date. Come on. 
I was holding yeah. my breath, waiting to hear what Mags was going to say. You just go to a, and I was like, what? What, Mags? Yeah, yeah, what do you right. go yeah. to? Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. that place, do you want to, you know, the uh, Thanks. show? The massage parlor? <laughs> Nobody yeah, was, was saying anything. Nobody let her know yeah. she's about to admit something. <laughs> I was, I was so born like, April 5th, 1905. I'm legal to watch this site. <laughs> yep. yeah. yeah, I know people that do that. They scroll just the thing scroll. down as far back as it'll, it'll go and then put that date in. You know people who do that, or you do that? No, I don't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, find well healthy. That's it. That's Genki. It's like a, a word for all all seasons and stuff. It's basically their way of saying, "How are you, Genki Deska?" Mm, Genki Des. So, that's it. We so went Genki, all the way Genki from... is basically groovy. Genki. Yeah, <laughs> groovy baby. I think yeah. it's asking for consent. And then Greg gets you to say yes, I'm I'm good. And then it's you can't take it back. Yeah. Are you ganky? Chigao. Chigao. Okay. Are you still ganky? Are you still ganky? Yeah. Are you still ganky? <laughs> <laughs> I do that because I'm old, says Roman. Oh mate, this oh, has yeah, been amazing. I don't, I don't want to finish Cheers. it, but we're gonna wrap up in about ten minutes. So finish? anybody wants to shout something out, this is a time to do it. Mag so since everybody it, else except for me and six. Oh, go ahead, Dempsey. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say Mags was talking about her flute. I think we could go back to that for a little bit. Yeah, let's go back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one more time. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whip out my flute, Dempsey, just for you. Just, oh, talk. Come on. just talk about it for another thirty eight <laughs> seconds, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that how long it takes, Ginger? <laughs> uh well <We're> you know. <laughs> Just to let guys, you know, let you know, um, I will whip out my wacky zashi for a membership. Just say it. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) We're all members already. Everyone's a member. (laughs) Even people not watching. (laughs) Jade the deep-minded and lovely Sherry somehow dodged the gifts. Oh, 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 gosh. How did did we do that? I want to know. That was thanks to Mags and Mr. Tickle Drunk. Thank you so Mm -hmm. much for that. Thank you. Yep. That's awesome. So what, what, about is what did what did Mr. Chuckle Chuck make? A baby? Ten subs. He gave ten subs. He gifted ten oh, subs, and there was all, oh. there was like nine people watching, and Max yeah. as well gifted five, so we got fifteen subs. Yeah. yeah. Ginger's not happy. Ginger can't. When did you get subs? Uh, 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 memberships. Uh, oh, sorry, memberships. Come on. A membership thing. When did you get? Yeah. When? How long have you had memberships? Uh, like since Christmas week. time, yeah. a week. Christmas, mm-hmm. I got I got one k, and then I got monetized about a week later, and then I set up memberships, and they passed it. Maybe when was it, Zach's A few days ago, and Zach's was the first member six. What a star! He I has my had member. my back all the time. He's my wingman. So Zach's is literally like Atlas. He's like holding up. Six, stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> Six is a member too. Thank you. Wouldn't oh you like God. to be a member At too? Zach, weren't, uh, weren't you his uh, first sub too? I don't think I was his first sub, no, but. Um, <laughs> Zach is uh, everyone's first sub. I know, exactly. I'm everywhere, yeah. I want to be, I want to be Six's first member. Six, this is for you. I don't know um, if you like this movie or not, but here we go. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> Thank you. Zach says a lot of people's first member, though, with those fertility masks on the <laughs> wall behind him. <laughs> yep. He has no work. choice but to get, get in early and get in deep. That's right. <laughs> get back to Canada before you have to pay child support. Yeah, but Zax can't really get in that deep because I don't know if any of you know know this, but Zax's nickname is Dumpy. Six. Oh. Really? Yeah. I thought it was Peggy. Peggy. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Where are we? Three hours twenty-one. Please mark it, no. ladies and gentlemen. Zax's nickname <laughs> revealed by Six live. Uh. Clip it, y'all. Clip it. Six. I mean, you didn't complain though, so that's all right. I didn't complain. I mean, it still felt good. Yeah, there you go. See? <laughs> that's it, how you it, use it, gentlemen. Nobody was wants it? it in their cervix. Am I right, Mags? Yeah. Is it, was, it, was, it, was it fluffy? I feel you there. Was, feel it, you was, there. It, was, yeah. it, was it fluffy? Yeah, he could, he it, needs to do some manscaping. Or, or, okay. or was or was it was it very syrupy? <laughs> very what? Syrupy. Oh my god. Oh, I'm clipping the fuck out of this. Okay. <laughs> <Canadian> dick. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> He's Canadian. What can I say? Yeah. I thought That's it was a Sandy. Jesus. Stop maple syrup. I can't say the things I'm thinking, so I don't know what to do. What do here. I do? I don't, just don't know what to say. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> Gray is now bringing up his own comments on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so he get in. He's run, run says Robin, run. run. <laughs> see, see how this goes? This is just going to be a taste of that, of that Spice Girls stream. That's what she said, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Tastes when like lady, syrup. When la Lady Bellfire, uh, Shelby, and, and I start talking about girly shit in the 90s, yes, we will. That's Guys, exactly. just, to, just to be serious, just for a minute, a um, li little bit drunk, so I've got to say this, but it's not about monetization, it's not about subs, it's about YouTube has led me to you, you on the panel, you in the chat, and like I will never, never forget that. You've made me feel um, welcome, you made me feel like social, you know, a, a social life during Christmas. You made me remember what Christmas is all about, and that is so cool. So thanks again, I really appreciate it, and thank you for your support. Oh, we brilliant. we love we love you, Gray. Uh, I love you. My, yep. I love. I mean, after yeah. World War II, I never thought I would be friends with a uh, Japanese man. But <laughs> you turning Japanese? I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, Mr. Deep oh, Mining pulled at his trombone. Jay, All right. Jay, uh, Jay, Jay, we uh, we need to get Mr. Deep Mining and Six and me to do a you know. <laughs> Uh, threesome? <laughs> yes. so, uh, me on the clarinet, Jay on the trombone, and Mags on the flute. Is, is that called a <laughs> Jay's a, phallic, a tromboner? Phallic brass band stream. Sounds good to me. <laughs> That'd be like what's a circle. What's the name of your group? The Thruples? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blair knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I just snorted my uh, my board in there, but my nose. <laughs> Dempsey, Dempsey, man, you still here? You're good. You're Genki. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I've been amazing. This has been so much fun. My face hurts. I've been laughing so hard. <laughs> hey Dempsey, are you ready for another donut stream tomorrow? If we if Damn we will. Right. <laughs> yeah. Damn right. Time That's to make so the much donuts. Fun. Oh yeah, right. gotta need Every those morning, donuts, you know. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I, I have a lot of fun bouncing from stream to stream. You guys have been amazing to me. I, I don't even know why I'm on here. You guys rock. You're like a I'm YouTuber. I'm a fan of every one of you people. <laughs> Dempsey, I, I like, enjoy, oh, go ahead, sorry. Where's you, you've put out your EP, but nothing since then. Oh, I've been working on a ton of stuff. It's all going to end up coming out at the same time. That's what she said. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, De so Dempsey, you need you. You've been mostly quiet. Like, tell tell everybody what you do. Like, for I'm just going to get behind six. Well, this we talk about this. Yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, 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 oh watch out, six! Watch out behind you! Behind you! Oh God! Woo! Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't work that way. It's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Zach. You're getting a, a scalp tingle. massage by Ginger. Ooh, I like that. That's all right. What are you reaching for, Brahmable? Careful. Oh. I'm with Brahma. I'm with Brahma. Well, Buffalo Trace. Boy. Yeah, Buffalo Trace. Wild turkey. Buffalo Trace is the best. I only have uh, Angel's Envy with me, so. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That wasn't me. Oh. That wasn't me. Yeah, at least you didn't drop the food. It's like that. It's like the beat from. Oh man, what's that one where the guy is the trailer? Uh, that, it, this it, one it, didn't fall. <laughs> it was an empty glass. Good. Uh, Gray's been trying to wrap up for two and a half hate hours. I have now. to kick you out at this point. You know how like, uh, every other minute he's saying, "No, it's nine. It's it's uh, we've been three four, three twenty five. Yep. Uh, like one minute yep. later, it's like, oh, we're at three twenty six. So uh, oh, he's got three minutes and forty no thirty seven seconds until but, he has to get off. But seriously, what, Kent. So, so what? What Dempsey? What do you you need to talk talk about what you do? Uh, I yeah. write music. <laughs> And it, the, the way that I write music is more like composing than it is playing. Um, but I spend a tremendous amount of time playing music. You know, I'm also a drummer and I'm a poet and, and I write, I'm writing a book right now and there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on. But my main duty is a father and husband. Duty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> father and husband's more important to me than pretty much any of the other stuff that I do. And then friends come directly after that, which is all of you guys. I've been trying to spend as much of my energy as I can to try to spread the love to as far as I can. Spread it. That's right. Spread it. I thought I was a son to you. I thought that was a son to you. <laughs> <laughs> <Didn't see. laughs> 
But yeah, I've been, oh, I've been working Reading. on things that are outside my comfort zone. Like I did a score for a, a reading of a story and it was very different than working on a song. Um, it was so wild to go through that whole experience. And uh, I suggest stepping out of your comfort zone at mm. least every now and then. That, that way it'll help you grow as a person. Mm-hmm. Are you there, man? So. I, I, I always personally, I love like when I see Dempsey, he's recently started coming, like see him in the chat in my YouTube streams and uh, the questions that you throw out there and the comments and everything, priceless, man. They're great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great yeah. point, yeah. Ginger. Yeah. Great point. That's always a joy. Thank you. I mean, if, you ever, if you ever no. want to come on, I'll, I'll throw out the, the invite. But not to the other uh, people on here. Just, just. You, don't want to, you, don't, you don't want me to. You don't want me to whip out my flute for you. I, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on my drawing if you did. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'd start drawing a flute all of a sudden. It would like make an appearance to it. Ginger, <laughs> shout <laughs> out. Sorry, Ginger, shout out your your Sunday. Well, Japanese time. It's Sunday night, isn't it? Live stream. If people want tomorrow? to join. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's tomorrow night, uh, yeah. Japan time, um, nine o'clock uh, Japan time at night. So about what eight o'clock eastern time in the morning in the, in the morning US, yeah the state yeah. side uh i don't know about the canadians do you guys actually use clocks or watches over there no we dials we just sundials. pee in the snow and that's how we tell always, time yeah, <laughs> exactly. yeah. moose is telling what time it is right? Right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> i thought but, it was uh, yeah. i thought it was that the smell of the bacon you know whatever yeah. whatever it's cooked yeah. you know oh <laughs> nice Extra bacon. Also, day. shield wall as well. I'm gonna want to throw out shield wall down there. It, actually, every all you guys throw, Zach's are all out there and stuff as well. I appreciate everybody who's always over there at the streams. But uh, yeah, tomorrow night, my time. Tomorrow morning, your guys' time. If you're in the states, yeah. So if you want to come check that out, that'd be great. Oh, cool. That's a awesome. fun show. Awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's well, a great all show. the guys on the panel, are the ones that make it fun. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just talk about art stuff, and then they drop all of their comic and entertainment knowledge and i'm just i'm the i'm the kimo really over there yeah I'm trying to learn uh i'm on salty nerd tomorrow at noon oh yeah Woo! Woo-hoo. i'm starting is a that new first, show. Zach, is that first time to be on salty nerd or not mm-hmm. yeah okay cool that's a big channel now isn't it i remember like when they were small they're big now that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> oh god yes <laughs> It's all your Done fault, it again. man. Done it again. <laughs> Did you say you're starting a new channel or a new show? Is that what you new said? New show. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, on the Rumble oh, side. Oh. I, Well, we have the bourbon and boarding that we're doing on Saturday nights. But I am forcing my 13-year-old daughter oh. on the Rumble oh. to yeah. listen <laughs> to Careful my now. music. <laughs> she's going to listen to my music from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So Crazy. she's going to get a full dose of grunge. And nice. yeah. Um, yeah. we're going to get her reactions because on well, the Rumble cool. side, She'll I don't think you. we're going to get copyright struck. Right. So uh, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing it on YouTube because, A, I want to grow the Rumble side far more than I want to do the YouTube, honestly. But yeah. I also think uh, that we can get away with it over there. And I think it'll be fun because I've made her listen to my music for most of her life, but I don't think she's ever actually paid attention. So I'm just going to go through and what we're going to do is kind of like carpet bombing. It's going to be like four or five videos get released in a day, you know, four or five different songs. Wow. And we're going to do 70 or 80 songs over the next few weeks and try to try to really get the viewership up over there. Plus, I think Rumble needs something that's not politics. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So kind that's of kind of the plan is to. Good. And, I, and I hope that, it'll do well. I think I think locals, you know, I know on locals and even though it's it's Rumble too, but locals slash Rumble, they're trying to get gaming streams up. So yeah, I've I'm, been doing a little bit of that. Yeah. I'm. I am. Yeah. Not. To, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead, Brahma. Sorry. Oh no. Go ahead. You're doing problem, what, what song are you going to start off with? Like, uh, uh, Lightning Crashes by Live. There you go. Yes. Okay. The first Ooh. rock band I t-shirt I ever song. bought. Yes. That was Just, one of the first albums I bought once I started working yeah. at age 15 or whatever it was. It was Green Day, Dookie, Live mm-hmm. Throwing Copper, and yeah. The Offspring uh, Smash were the first yeah. three albums I bought. Ugh. So that's kind of my high school timeline was 
I was heavy into the grunge because that's what was going on when I was in high school. Mm. So, so I imagine oh. we're about the same age then, huh? I'm 41. Okay, I'm 44. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Born in 81. I saw live with Blind Melon. Oh my gosh, Brahma, you're as old you're as old as my oldest brother. We could you could be like my oldest brother. <laughs> Maybe he is. Go, Blair, what were you saying? Blair, like go for it, mate. I saw, I saw live Blind Melon, Public Image Limited, and Big yes. Audio Dynamite 2 oh my together. God. Live what opened was... up for everybody because they were like brand new at the time. Where where was this at? <clears throat> DC. Out of those bands, live really was the most accomplished wow. by the end of their career. Well, I mean, yeah. they're still technically going, but yeah. Live has been a fantastic band over the years. Guys, I don't know them. I'm, I'm ashamed to say. I Whoa. saw Puppet Image Limited live in, in England. They were fucking amazing, but I don't yeah. know Live. Oh, my God. Oh, check them out. Live yeah, is great. a fantastic Nice one. Band. Thanks, for the, uh, thanks for the heads up. Throwing Copper, you can listen to yep. the album from first song to last. Yep. How about uh, Candlebox? amazing like albums. Them? Candle yeah, box. I saw Candlebox two or three times oh, um, like back in the '90s, and yeah, I've got a, I've got a whole bunch of stuff for. Her. I'm gonna try to go with some of the more deep picks. I mean, Lightning Crash. I, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with kind of the lighter songs, like Lightning mm -hmm. Crashes, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and then we're gonna build into <clears> some <throat> of the some of the crazier stuff. Get her into a little bit of Pantera. What about Barry Manilow? Yeah. The end of it. yeah. Yes. Man, I saw no, you came and nine, you made No Barry Manilow, big. but I, I I, have made her listen to The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald uh, oh, there you go. by Gordon Lightfoot thousands yeah. of times. So did, she already she knows like that it? one real well. <laughs> she likes the story type songs like that. So, okay. yeah. Um, she likes Gordon Lightfoot well enough. I mean, Candy. Like I've I've got pretty eclectic taste. I got uh, music ended for me in about two thousand three. I mean, play, uh, after play that, I just stopped caring. <laughs> but play some ministry for her. she'll love that. There yeah, you go. yeah. What about some silver chair? A silver chair, frog stomp. Yeah. yeah. Six. I want to uh, meet you in the Copa. Space hog in the meantime Copa, is on the list. Audio slaves. Yeah, audio slaves. Face the war. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, yeah. what about like any tool? Uh, tool? We'll probably do a little bit of tool. Um, it was green jelly, but she's there. also thirteen. So I mean, oh, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. specific songs. I don't want to expose nah, her I to. Can a, totally, totally I mean, understand that. technically, I'm pretty sure she already knows Cardi B's WAP. So oh, I mean, it's not exposing to, yeah. her to anything, yeah. but it's not being yeah. exposed to her by her father. So it's a little right. bit different. Oh yeah, that yeah. Okay, there. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet like, kids, I'm, Jay. I'm not Jay says Brahma. Brahma, you're just a young guy, says Jay. And Roman saying, You're just a baby. And Jay saying, <laughs> I'm with you, Roman. These guys are just sweet kids. Oh, That's so that. sweet. Yeah. I've got an eighteen year old and a thirteen year old. I may be young, but I got started young, so <laughs> I've got a twenty one year old mate. Yeah. Twenty one, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yep. You start yeah. you got started with the flute. Yep. That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got six. married at 21 and we had uh, a honeymoon baby so I've never had you know any time past 21 wow. where way to ruin your honeymoon dad. <laughs> yeah. Brahma Brahma just just a shout out Jeff again yeah. Jeff is still in the chat Jeff's still watching he's saying like he'd given up on hard rock metal until he went down the Japanese rock mm. Japanese heavy rock rabbit hole there's some great like Japanese heavy rock music out there seriously you'd be surprised yeah. hey I got a hot take for you Baby metal is one of the best bands I've heard in a really long time. Ooh, I'm, I'm sexy serious. The as band heck. themselves, dude. The band is the band so itself talented. is sick. Yeah, yes. really, yeah, really good. Really good. Yeah. They can play. Yeah. They fucking play so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to the uh, Hard Rock in Tokyo, and uh, they had a band come in there, and they were just doing covers, but and they were amazing. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, when was that? It was a long time ago. All the <laughs> background what, noise just disappeared. One of, one Is that of the gray? Best, <laughs> that's gray. Yeah. One okay. of the best uh, concerts. Well, the last concert that I went to was this. Uh, it's a very small venue in Tokyo when I was up there, and there was a, a, a like '80s, '90s, well, eight, like '80s metal band like that. That's their style called Electric Eel Shock. Insanely awesome concert. Yeah, like the, the the show was amazing. Their drummer plays with four drumsticks, two in each hand the same time and he has a gigantic sock wrapped around his you know cock 
Oh. <laughs> That's the electric eel. Red it's hot chili crazy. pepper style. It's huh? a crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy ass show. And the guys are really, really talented. Uh, I was like, I was blown away. But yeah, there was Cavatino was... asked when I will introduce my daughter to Guns N' Roses. <laughs> oh, their, oh, their mother has a Guns N' Roses uh, tattoo on her calf. Hmm. Oh, that's she cool. knows them. Uh, I, I, my, my daughter, who's seven, she, uh, she, she put in on her own, like, oh, heavy metal. She wanted to listen to heavy metal, like music. And then Guns N' Roses came on, and she's like, ooh, I like this. It was Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's got a future. <laughs> she really likes uh, one of her favorite albums is Fleetwood Mac. Um, uh, rumors, yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's that. good. Yeah. I saw them a few years ago. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, oh, uh, one of the singers McVie. passed away recently. Yeah, yeah, Christy McVie yeah. died just a few weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so sad. I think the last concert I went to was the Backstreet Boys. That's <sighs> what I went to was uh, Local H, which had like one major hit, Bound for the Floor, <laughs> right? Yeah, and Soul right. Asylum. And it was fantastic. Soul Asylum is a fantastic 90s band. I saw Highland a couple years ago, that German Northern European band. Nice. Check those out on YouTube. It's, it's, cra it's crazy. What's their name again? <laughs> Highland. H E. Like, like, uh, like the movie you guys are supposed to be covering? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not saying Hyman? Uh, you no, sure? You're not saying like, Hyman? They play, like, uh, they play like neo pagan music and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, yeah it's really, they got like lutes and lyres and really kind of crazy stuff uh, like That's animal cool. bone headdresses. Oh, and, I know who you're talking about. I listen to those guys yeah. all the time. That's how yeah. you pronounce the name. Yeah, it's I got a little kind of thingy, a little bit. Yeah. Um, they just came out with a new album, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recently, yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Uh, a lot of their music was used in uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, yeah. And mm. one of their guys, they get to sing on their tracks a bunch. Um, he. Did you he say brings... animal bone headdresses? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Quite like that. This is more yeah. like little pieces. Like, you know? <laughs> like, like goat's teeth outfit. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like the, making the... it hang down in front of her face. Yeah, mm -hmm. the female um, vocalist. Oh, dude, she's got an amazing yeah. voice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you've seen a, a video game called Senua's Sacrifice, they did mm -hmm. the music for that too, um, with the singing and stuff. And it's no way. Yeah, no. yeah, it's real crazy. Um, you know, kind of like uh, Northman kind of vibes to it, right? Mm -hmm. Which was a great movie. I love. Yeah. <laughs> how how what's the correct pronunciation of the the band's name again? Highland. It, Highland, okay. Yeah, I had it. It's, way it's like off. <laughs> I, it might be more like a Highland or, or uh -huh. yeah, more of a land or something. Yeah. Okay. It's more because it's very you know it. Uh, it's like they're from Sweden or Norway or Iceland or something. They're That's... From, she's from Denmark. One of them's from Norway. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's the like the whole Norse video. thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe That's a little what bit I was of northern playing. Germany put in there. Yeah. That's what I was playing the whole time when I was doing these guys. The whole time oh, I had on, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the whole discovery going on. Yeah. yeah, not Led Zeppelin. Ah, not this time. <laughs> Peak yeah, <point>. <laughs> metal, metal. Come on now. Led Zeppelin was pretty metal back at the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Immigrant song. And they hated to be called metal. They hated to be called metal too. They always were a a blues band. They said. Yeah, they were when exactly. The, yeah. They started out as a blues yeah. band, and when the Levy breaks, that, that's super blues right there. She, Sorry, guys, if you listen to their early, early stuff, you can find it on YouTube, Robert Plant's early mm -hmm. stuff. It's really blues. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, a, they're a, a very different <laughs> different band um, yeah. in what they wind up being uh, from the beginning. Uh, yeah. The Who, those guys are awesome. Um, oh, lot yes. of stuff there. My daughter's 12. She would listen to some, like, the 80s music. She goes, I don't like this 1900s music. <laughs> Make it a sound like fucking banjo music from yeah. yeah. Like, shit, kid. Yeah. Exactly. See, Deliverance. The one, the daughter that I'm doing this the show with, um, when she was maybe what six or seven years old, I introduced her to Psycho Stick. Beer is good. Yes. And <laughs> yes. She loved it. So I, I, I hold 
I hold out great hope for her that she will actually like <laughs> most of this because yeah, yeah, yeah. that was yeah. that was a metal song that was just goofy as hell. Right. But yeah, I'd be driving her to school and she'd be like, "Put on put on beer is good." And we'd be pulling up and it's blasting out of the uh, out of the car. As <laughs> she's getting out of the car. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. That stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, on that note, on that note, did, did you ever hear? This is a British band, or so maybe not a British dance band back in the, when I was young. So they were called the Shaman, the Shaman, yeah. And they had a they had a song called Ebenezer Good. Okay, it sounds like yeah, fair enough. But when you hear the chorus, it goes, "E's a good, E's a good." He's Ebenezer Good. It's like E's a good, E's a good. There you go. It sounds like a soccer yeah. chant. You know what E's are, don't yeah. you? Uh, it's just me. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I don't know. Yeah, you lost his <laughs> shot. <Shadis> and Ebenezer. <laughs> well, you Disco mentioned Biscuits. Pantera. Uh, what, what song would you introduce to her, uh, or would you use to introduce her to Pantera? Uh, either Cemetery Gates or This Love. Nice, nice. I, say, I, I know um, Hollow was one of the first songs I ever played for my son <laughs> when I introduced him to that. Yeah. Domination might be a good one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's your favorite from them? Um, <laughs> I don't know that we can say it on YouTube. Um, oh, okay. Self deletion one note part one. Spell it out. I'll say it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so mine would probably be regular people can see. I don't know. There's just something about that song. It just always got me pumped up. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Pantera, uh, was probably my first exposure to actual, like, metal. I mean, I listened mm. to Metallica and Megadeth, but Pantera is a step up from that. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> the private chat. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Helmet. 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 Helmet, yeah. hell yeah. Helmet, yeah. <laughs> Clutch. Oh my god. Clutch what am I missing? What am I missing? From, uh, just down the street from me. <laughs> really? I'm in Colorado, so Clutch is from Pueblo. So oh, that's awesome. uh, Supergrass is on the list. Supergrass. For... Hell yeah. Yeah. Should well, I light a doobie? Yeah. Or, or are we like, really <laughs> there we <go>. rapping? <laughs> Pass the duty on the left hand side. side. Yeah, I remember when that song came out. <laughs> That's a musical youth, youth man. Jesus, yeah. I'm old. Yeah. Well, when I uh, <laughs> when I was stationed in England, I kind of got into like techno and stuff, like Chemical Brothers and. Oh yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah, Chemical Brothers. Yep. They're great. Like yeah. Orbital, things like that. Mm -hmm. it's a little weird. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Yep. And then the four months I spent in Iceland, that's when Daft Punk hit big. Uh, uh, yeah, my kids Basement love Jax, Daft Punk. Um, uh, Bloodhound Jax. Gang. Bloodhound Gang, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, Bloodhound Gang. Uh, trying to think of what are some other ones. Um, Mojo with uh, with Lady. Man, that's such a good song. Um, uh, By Kenny Kenny Rogers, um, Lady. No, no, no. It's it's oh. Mojo, and it's called Lady. Um, it's a great song. Uh, there's also the uh, Superman Lovers, that uh, Starlight. That's a fucking awesome song. There's so many good ones. Daft Punk oh, yeah. did uh, the one that was like, I'm up all night to get some, right? Yeah, now. yeah, that's later. Mm -hmm. their, their first big and hit around the world. So, harder, so faster, there is harder. a Russian band called Ruskaja. Mm -hmm. They are a metal ska band that covers that song. And it is the funniest thing you'll ever hear. The guy's got like the thickest Russian accent you can imagine. And he's like, I'm up all night to get some. <laughs> She's up all night to get some. About, uh, some. I'm up all night to get lucky. How about uh, Biting Elbows? They're the ones that did the uh, music video that inspired that movie Hardcore Henry. And the, the oh, music yeah. video is for, it's called Bad Motherfucker is the name of the, it's the name of the song. I'm not cursing. That's the name of the song. And uh, it's really the, the video, music video for It's Good. And it's actually a pretty decent song too. Uh, so it's pretty good, and they've got a prequel to that. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a decent song too. Um, Who's I Gary's it. back door? Yeah, Jared Roddick <laughs> probably knows something about that. Jerry, is it Jerry's <laughs> back door? No, it's, it's, 
<laughs> oh, Mags is awake now. Mags, no. it's you. It's you. No, it's a, it's a, it's a joke with a pop Gary from Pop Culture Minefield. His back door. Ah, okay. so yeah, but who, whose account is it? Yeah. I have no idea. So, I, th- it, this is this is a new account. So I'm trying to figure out who it is. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. probably Mr. Grant Gregory. So <laughs> let's get down to brass tacks, Mags. Are you? Are you? What? Are you what did out? you just say? Shield wall? That sounds like brass, brass tacks. That's okay, you know. I was going to get... say is that that sounded very flutish of you. Yeah. What? Well, brass tacks. Loudest. Oh, that's you know. Loudest. It's when you're ready to make it happen. Anyway. Um, <laughs> More of a scene. <laughs> are you going to make gonna play, it happen? You're play us, yeah, exactly. You're going to play us out with the flute. No, I'm well, that'd be a good idea. Why not? We yeah, that'd be awesome because we're going to wrap up soon. So, guys, yeah. you've all shouted, you've all shouted yeah. things out, yeah. As far as as yeah. far as I know, yeah. anything. I so. If anyone uh, have missed, like do it now, six. do it now. Six is yeah, the only one is, left. Yeah. What do you got going on? Six. Six. Being a How about you? <laughs> oh, I got nothing going Batman. on until Sunday night, late night culture. Are you coming on this week? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm off this yeah. weekend, so I can. We need some estrogen. It's it's been. Very male. <laughs> very, very, very sausage fest like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it is not a good thing. Yeah, you got to have a mix. It's like a fruit salad. <laughs> I'll be the I'll be the cantaloupe, the melon. Not a toss salad. Yeah. Six, thank you for coming on tonight. Thank like, you. Last minute, like no notice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, Brahman, I think ready? That, that channel's going to do good. I think. Those, I uh, think it'll be reaction, fun. Yeah, those reaction channels usually do pretty well. And if, if you can get a kid involved, yeah. Mm. Ooh, it, it's Zach? typically uh, oh, crazy, people. but yes. Yeah. No way. Yeah, Zach. <laughs> Dirty minded old man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, are we ready to, that. So, Zach? Are we ready One to bring more it time. to the What have you got coming up, Zach? It'll be tomorrow. like a circle jerk. Tomorrow. Never. He had tomorrow, healthy nerd at noon, then possibly late at night with um, the flaccids. Oh, yes. I don't know if that's, that's right. I love those not, shows. I love them. That's our random uh, random show where we hang out with the chat and uh, talk about uh, whatever. So it's usually fun. People show up. But it's a good time. It, it's a blast. And, uh, that, that it's a wonderful. blast. It's a great yeah, stream. Yeah, it's huge. Huge fun. Oh, I have a question. Brandon, the anime guys, yeah. you can't believe we're still hey, going. Brandon, Brandon, how you doing? Brandon? <laughs> hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. I have a question Send him for a Zach. Can you make him big again? Yes. Yes, they're making big. I mean, he's, he's six. Oh, oh. He's already huge. If I, I make know. him any bigger, he'll break the screen. He, he refuses to flex because they won't fit on the screen. Six, um, I've been trying to get him to uh, get a, a tank stream going, and he needs a weird tank. A tank stream? <laughs> I want to do that, <gasps> but I want to, I need to have Max yes. here, too. Yes, yes white exactly. Peter? I'm yes. wearing a white shirt right now. Let's do it right now. <laughs> okay, Six, um, if you're going to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> That's what yeah, he said. Prove, prove that. Don't tell me with a good time. <laughs> How long ago did you shave, Zach? Yeah, uh, two hours ago. Yeah, yesterday? <laughs> yesterday evening, though. I feel like, like Zach is the kind of guy who like shaves, and then five hours later, he's like... I am. It's That's like me, on. Zach. Next day, next day, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. My daughter says I look like a homeless guy if I don't shave for a day. Come on now. Okay, now I'm wet. Just straight up. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. I got a thing for chest right? hair. Ooh. Well, I'm your Wait, guy. I, should, I shouldn't be I've that tall while, while I'm saying that. Yeah. Uh, do it. Do it now. Uh, don't, don't be Andy. Yeah. Oh, God. You're gonna be yeah. I'll be back, Jones. <laughs> Guys, it's a shame Why to wrap this up. Have that picture? There's 14 watching still. It's a shame to wrap it up. But we're gonna wrap it up, don't we? Because like everyone looks tired. Blair looks tired. Zach looks Why? tired. Why do you? Gigi's okay because he's in Japan. <laughs> it's three in the morning here. So. You're Max is gone. Max circle? has lost it. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, enough. I'm, I'm, I'm awake. It's just I've, I've been up like um, this is, it'll be almost like 24. <laughs> It'll be almost 24 hours in a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> that you've yeah. been awake? Yes. Yeah. Oh, girl, the good stuff is just coming. Oh, That's yeah. What she said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're, about, you're about to get a fever and then get the third or fourth wind. Oh, God. Yeah. No, I am going to knock myself out. Like, I want Benadryl and melatonin in me, and I'm gone. But then you'll be that. fine. Oh, Max, you'll be that. fine. Remember. Yeah. It's Remember. better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> Awesome.
some sugar on me. Ooh. You need Ooh. some love. What a great thing. Love that album. <laughs> or some sugar on the cherry pie. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Oh. Brown face, sweet surprise. Oh. Yeah, we, no, we did, we did a tank top stream too. once by accident. Really? What? Mm -hmm. Because I was where I was. Can I get the anyway, link to that? It. Yeah, where, where, where's this link? <laughs> it was I was before doing, you his, I was doing his show, but I was mowing the lawn. So I came inside just in time for the show. Shut and then up. Mac, Wait. Then Max, then Max saw I was wearing a tank top. And so he actually left and came back to put a tank top on. So this is on Max's channel. Yeah. About how long ago? <laughs> Whenever I was mowing the lawn in the summer. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's... Through him. Mowing the lawn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, mowing the lawn. <laughs> Ginger <laughs> jaw. What's up, Brandon? Was this a live stream? Look at, look at, look at, look at six. She's like, I'm going to look this up in the live <laughs> I don't have to work till Monday night. Yeah. Oh, so you you got all weekend to look for it, right. <laughs> or to enjoy it, <laughs> or to find it and just use it. Well, he, yeah. only has, he only has three live streams up. Really? Oh. Oh. Nice. Guys, before we finish, um, well, I have a clip actually of Ginger down. Ninja. Speaking of Ginger Ninja, I've got a clip of him. He's um, he's the one in the white. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was back in my uh, Hollywood days. Um, <laughs> until I was right. B2'd. Like two weeks ago. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, All right. Okay. Since, Are we good? Are we Genki? Yes. Are they Almost. Genki? I am. Thank I you so much. Like, um, well, anyone who wants Ronald. to drop, you can drop. But when I finish the live stream, I'll still be here in the studio. And then Mrs. Bucky's actually going to make some dinner. Ronald I got to bring it back, back around to Highlander. Oh, yeah. yeah there we go. That's what we're Brown, talking about now, right? Patience, Highlander. You have done well, but oh, it will take oh, time. Nice. There are generations being born and dying. You're at one with all living things. Each man's thoughts and dreams are yours to know. You have power beyond imagination. Use it well, my friend. Don't lose your head. That nice. was very oh, nice. Good job. I think my ovaries exploded. That was like <laughs> Um, I'm going to need you to say that again, but just a little bit more slower, please. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you have the beast in your sights? The, beast, yeah. the beast in your sights. Yes. Beast in your sights? Do you have the beast in your sights? Brahma Bull's milk. Absolutely. I'm missing money. From the Brahma Bull himself. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I'll take your word as he on as he as he coolly smokes his cigarette. <laughs> so cool, so cool. Brahma makes smoking look cool. I want to go I know, and light does. up his yeah. cigarette. Yeah. He does. I can I just say before we finish? Do you um do you have fag machines in England? We do. We call them fags. Just gonna say that on that note. Wacky's that cheese. Tea house. Please subscribe.